Exactly. And now, and now, the moment you've all been patiently waiting for. Uh, Today's Opie and Anthony show starts now. This is the Opie and Anthony Channel, XM 105, Sirius 206. And now, a show the likes of which America's never seen. So appalling, so offensive. Yes, so entertaining. It's not your normal show. Beam from satellites in space down to you every single day. It's the Opie and Anthony show with Opie. We're experts and we already know this is going to be great radio, so shut the fuck up. And Anthony... I live in a big house, I make a lot of money, and I fuck attractive girls. And little Jimmy. I don't even like in our opening, it sounds like a little... What? We did dang over there, they don't listen to dang over there. Stop with that shit. And now, here they are. <laughs> Why, why, why am I introducing these buffoons? I'm William Shatner, goddammit. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Palaverishes. Yes. Palaverishes. Hi, everyone. Morning, 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 morning. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm trying to find out, you know, we're preparing for the show and whatnot. What not? And one of the stories today, and I don't know anything about it, because I just see the headline here, and now I'm trying to find it. Woman who grew up flight steward thought it was her boyfriend. How do uh, we even know that? 
That means the guy complained that some woman was groping him? Well, if it's a flight steward, I could see that happening. They traditionally don't like being groped by women. Oh. You you, you know? Oh. You know the uh, the flight steward story? Uh, A little bit of it. All right, because I I can't find it yet. Uh, Yeah, it's in, uh, you got it in your pile there. But uh, apparently this happened uh, a few months ago. Some drunken 25-year-old teacher was uh, on a flight and apparently got so wasted that the story goes that she, uh, the official story is that she thought the flight attendant was her boyfriend. Uh-huh. So she started grabbing at his crotch and telling him <laughs> that he could touch her everywhere. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's all right there. Catherine yeah. and she's, Goldberg. She's she, yeah, she is pretty oh, cute. Nice. So why did the guy complain? Why, is he, uh, a gay guy? Of course. Well, I could only imagine that would be the so only reason. So gay guys reason. complain? Flight stewards I, I would assume uh, gay guys want to be touched and groped by women, too. No. <laughs> how, how would you like if a guy was grabbing you? Because women are so awesome. That's the awesome. same thing. I just assume women are so awesome. You wouldn't tell day. the police? <laughs> right. No. <laughs> Terrible Stupid stuff. of me to think that women are so awesome that even gay guys wouldn't mind oh, fucking yeah. having their cocks grabbed. You would think. Is she a limey? Uh, I don't know. Uh, she was on a flight that was headed to South Africa. Wait, I think oh. she was going to like Johannesburg. Or but something. she's oh, drunk and she's just... Have her clip removed. <laughs> <laughs> she's playing grab. Grab ass. Grab yeah. Ass it says, uh, nice. let's see. She made a sexual suggestion to a flight attendant trying to uh, look after her because she was so drunk. Uh, and, quote, at one point sat on his lap and grabbed hold of his genitals through his trousers. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. That's awesome. What a great oh, chick. What a great flight. I hope she gets like freaking frequent flyer miles out of it, or <laughs> her elite status gets upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy! Well, so, so you gotta assume the guy was gay. Yeah, you gotta assume because even a, even if it's a straight guy and, and he's he's not gonna you know play around or whatever, you're he's not, not gonna, gonna you're yeah. not gonna run to the media and, no. and, and feel like you were no. violated. I don't think I've ever seen a heterosexual uh, flight attendant. Yeah, it's a little rough. I huh? really don't. And they're bitches. Guys are hell. usually. The uh, the gay. Are the ones lost? I've seen are dicks. The the one that are straight guys yeah. are kind of like fucking have something to prove. Like the real well, alpha type guys. Well, if you have if you have something to prove, get off the fucking airplane and go do something else. It's like yeah. a male nurse, though. Those guys. It's like you, you take a traditionally female job for years and years, and then you step into it, and they, you know, oh, I wanna I wanna be able to do this. Yeah. And then you do it. It's like look, yeah, that's a great picture of a prime example. Of a flight attendant. They might have gotten more more masculine since uh, security became a concern. Like, you want somebody who's... Mm-hmm. Like, I like when I see guys as flight attendants. A now. burly... You like a Fuck burly yeah, man. yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I want a guy whose muscles I can see rippling when he hands me my crackers. That guy looks familiar. I think... I've seen him on a flight. I think Rich Voss uh, tweeted recently that these flight attendants, too, they're just all assholes now. Do you know that, Jimmy? Because you've been uh, you've been flying a hell of a lot more than me. They, I've noticed that they're fairly bad on, on Continental. The customer service has been terrible. Um, What's their problem? I don't know. They know that... I think that they know you're in a position... They're untouchable. They're untouchable. Yeah. You can't fucking even argue with them anymore without the threat of... Uh, Getting pulled off the flight. Well, you don't want to argue with them. You want your drink and your stupid, cheap fucking, you know, meal. I swear that guy looks familiar. You're guy. kidding. That's the guy that, uh, That's the guy that, quit that drank famously. the beer. And, oh, okay. No wonder. And, and, and popped the shoe. like, I thought I thought I thought I saw him on a flight. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Probably saw him in a fucking daisy chain somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other side of a glory hole peeking through. Hello. What was his story again? He quit by drinking a beer and then he pulled the chute, right? Slid down the emergency yeah. chute. Yeah. yeah. That guy. <laughs> Jumped in his Jeep and drove home. <laughs> and you know what? I fucking love that guy. Yeah, but didn't they make him pay for like, G's, the, the cost man. of the, yeah. the door? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he got a book out of it. I Did think he really? It, yeah. Yeah, he's way ahead. What are the What's the name he's of the way book? Ahead. The slide. <laughs> more yeah. than just the slide. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I forgot it was more than just. Right? <laughs> that uh, stupid catch book. Oh, I hate that thing. God, thank God we didn't interview them. <laughs> that guy. He wasn't uh, bad. David Tyree well, was it? <laughs> you interviewed him. That's right. Yep. God's not on his side, man. No, oh, God no. tricked him. God he's tricked no him. Tebow. Sam and Erock. <laughs> Sam and Erock got uh, to interview him. Yeah, I think he has a book. Grabs beer, activates slide to make escape. That guy. All right, so, yeah, I saw that woman who gro- who groped flight steward thought it was her boyfriend. And I'm just amazed that we know that. Yeah, they're calling it an alcohol, um, an alcohol-induced illusion. <laughs> illusion. <laughs> 
I love all that legalese. I wish I can get away with shit like that. Just like grabbing titties and just call it an alcohol induced illusion. I thought, illusion it, I thought it was my chick. That's nice. <laughs> we don't know anything about the guy. We're just assuming uh, he has to be gay, right? No, um, this is the only... <laughs> I mean, there's a few different stories uh, about it, but it's only uh, back in the news again because I think the sentencing came down for mm-hmm. her. Because so, this story is a few months old. But uh. Uh, from what I read, all I know is that she was, uh, she was somehow imagining this was her boyfriend with whom she was interacting. They make no reference as to whether or not the, uh. Uh, the, the sexual orientation of the flight attendant. But I got to imagine that on a flight, like if some, if, if this girl is so drunken that she needs flight attendants to make, like, to look, look after her and take care of her, yeah. I'm sure she's disturbing other people on the plane, and this guy probably didn't have a choice but to report the situation. Very pixie looking. Well, she's, uh, yeah, she's kind of cute, you know? Yeah, she's yeah. not a slob. I think most guys would let the slob grab. I'm gonna pinch grab those cocks. <laughs> got those chipmunk cheeks. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, it's too early. Too early. Too early. Chipmunk. Too early for that. It's too early for that. Oh, God, that's great. Who won the football last night? I went to bed early. Giants lost again, I guess, huh? Yeah, they got blown away. Giants fucking suck. That's three in a row they lost. Once Big again, fall apart. Giants <laughs> fall apart second half of the season. Yeah. What the hell's going on with these guys? I know the Saints are a tough team, but fuck. And Philly lost too, right? My Eagles. Cowboys, my Cowboys in sole possession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eagles uh, got their ass kicked too. That was uh, that was a couple of days ago now, though. Sundar. Yep. You hear about Mike uh, Francesa? <laughs> yeah. yeah, apparently uh, not the one that uh, calls this show. No. <laughs> Is that uh, the same guy? He equal, slipped. Equally as filthy. He slipped. Huh? He slipped. That's yeah, yeah. an easy slip. It to is me. an easy slip. <laughs> it is still fun though, man, yeah. to hear the word cunt on the radio. Tax Regular cunts. radio. Yeah. Do we have the tax cunts? Tax I, cunts. The greatest uh, slip of uh the tongue ever. Mm. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah. Rex the key component in what the president huh? insists is a job Good stimulus month. program. Ohio, a strong Ohio. Republican state, is hurting economically. Economic and as NBC wide. David Gregory reports tonight, the president took his message right to a powerful Ohio Republican who is not convinced the tax cuts are the answer. <laughs> well, I don't think tax cuts are the answer, to tell you the truth. We all know he has he had a, a tough time talking when he was doing the news, but he also just ran out of air. Tax cuts. You can see he's running out of air. He does. It's it must be hard to talk like that. Have that ability, ability, ability. What was wrong with his mouth? I don't it's, know. It's a certain type of lisp. Yeah, that's is a, it? That people just don't get over. It's that little oh, 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 thing. Oh, oh, their, oh, L, oh, their L's oh, are in the back of their throat instead oh, of where the tongue meets the front of the teeth. So, and you end up like like this. Oh, so what is he trying like, to keep his tongue down in the back? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. That is weird. You, so, that you can't just go, oh. Because an L is, you, you know, you jam your tip of your tongue into the back of your upper teeth. Oh, 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 How do you know that? Oh. I just, just do speech. it. Yeah, you just do it. I just oh, do it. How do you oh, know that, oh, though? Oh, oh. But he goes like, like, like. So just lift oh, your stupid oh, tongue oh, up. Oh, I know. Think he has a small tongue? What the hell? Maybe is that a small tongue? Maybe his little... Horrible cunnilingus. Yeah, maybe his little itsy-butsy tongue doesn't reach. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, sweetheart. Let me get a piece of that clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> he has to open his mouth around the clit and then, like, Push her ass up into yeah, his yeah. palate. <laughs> I, I hope you'll like this. I am not very proficient at conolinga. Conolinga. <laughs> Eating pussy. You think the tongue's just too short and it can't hit those teeth? His tongue oh, is too yeah. short. That's great. Uh, the poor guy. Oh, no. I bet he's got dry teeth, too. Can't lick them. I put crust on the outside of my teeth so my breath is fresh. <laughs> oh, crust. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's got to be a horrible film. Man. I have such a problem licking assholes, too, especially <laughs> the deep ones. I can barely penetrate. <laughs> the old brown eye. Very difficult to get in there. Tongue that bung. <laughs> uh, his little tongue. Yeah, I don't know why people can't just fucking... Like, lisps are the weirdest thing to me. Well, and it's, it's like, don't, just don't do that. And it's fine to have a lisp, but he was on TV when we only had three channels. Yeah. That was the best guy that to was read it. our news. Yeah. He wasn't doing anything special. Sorry mm. to all the Tom Brokaw fans out there, but the guy was just reading news like everyone else. He had that journalistic integrity. No, he that didn't. Nobody. I think it was the last of the anchors that had journalistic integrity. Yeah, but they still just read you the news. 
No, he actually, what he was it? brought up in that day and age right, name, of like Mike Wallace and everybody that actually went out and got the stories in their youth, went to like war zones and did things. Not just these guys that read teleprompters or stuff, something. Um, but but the fact that he couldn't speak is really fucked up. Don't bullshit me with your look. Small coffee. Look, small to coffee, large coffee. Small again. coffee fits into a large cup. No, it right doesn't. You had some in there. I'm not I, falling for this again. You sure? <laughs> no, not today. It's an inside Oops. bit. Sorry. I, uh, There's nothing to anyone. Uh, what do you mean integrity? Having trouble getting past those abia. <laughs> it's a. Uh, <laughs> What do you yeah. mean by integrity? He would go out and get his own stories? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, do do his own reporting, write his own shit. He'd be in the, a hotel with a little typewriter in some faraway land. He didn't editorialize too much. No. No, but, you know, he wrote his own shit back in, you know, the day. Speaking of cunts. Tax cunts. Oh, no. This Bill O'Reilly, man. You don't like Bill? God damn it. I, I told I you before the show, too. Like... Even if he's saying something I would I would possibly agree with, he's such a cunt. Yeah. He's just a pompous asshole. A smug douchebag. He's schmommy, dude. <laughs> you know what, dude? He thinks he's really, you know, he knows his shit don't stink, dude. He's got the schmommy attitude. Schmarmy. Uh, yeah, go fuck Craig. yourself. You got to say something, just say it. <laughs> what? He's so un he's so unlikable, but he's got he's Bobby. got yeah and Bobby and he's and, and he's got the biggest audience as far yeah. as that new shit goes. Yep, I I watched him for the first time last night in a while. I flip around and holy fuck, he's didn't an change asshole. your opinion of him. No, he he comes across like he knows literally way more than anyone else. He does, including like, uh... the president of the United States. I know you're not a big Obama fan. No, I'm not. But he fucking just. He he believes he knows more than everyone alive. Maybe he does. Fuck no. <laughs> He's smart. Bill O'Reilly is the smartest man in town. He's an asshole. He's got a book out about Lincoln's assassination or something, and and I, I hear they won't even put it in the um, in uh, what's the, the uh, Ford's Theater. Ford's Theater in Washington, where Lincoln was assassinated. Well, they have like a gift shop there or some shit, and they have they oh. sell Lincoln stuff. Right. And uh, he tried to have his book put in there, and even they're saying, "Oh, we don't quite agree with everything in there." Oh wow, really? Yeah, they think he might have embellished a few things. Well, what what is he saying differently? Does anyone know? Uh, that he fell off the balcony and how hit the, his head. And how, <laughs> yeah. the, and how the fuck would Bill O'Reilly know? I don't know. That's a hundred and thirty eighteen. I don't know. You're sixty. I forgot the year now. Eighteen sixty something. Sixty eight. I think it was, it was right after the war, right? 65? 68. That's I'm going 68. I think it was 65. I'm going 68. I'm saying 65. Fuck. You're going to be right on this? Was it 65? So I'm going to go 68. I would ask Siri. But, I, think he, uh, I think he bled until... I think he bled until... He bled until 1868. So we might uh, <laughs> both be right on this one. You ever go to the Fourth Theater in the middle of the ghetto? <laughs> is it in the middle oh, of the ghetto? Oh, 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 oh. What state yeah. is that in? People still getting shot over Down there. Down there in D.C. Oh. D.C., the District of Columbia. The war ended in 65. Yeah, I thought he was like the last casualty of the Civil War. He died in... 68, thank you. The what? answer is 65. I'm Fuck! sorry, yeah, Opie. The answer is 65. I knew it wasn't long but after he did, uh, the war ended. He did bleed until 68. So yes. He was right. He did. That, he on that nasty pillow. Yeah, he bled a slow, slow death. Uh, oh. Sam's on uh, on the mic, so I do want to ask him. I did ask him off air. Why are you bringing me stuff I know about? Mm. This is all stuff I know You're about. You're supposed to know about it. Those like CDs. Herman Cain's accuser. I know about this. I'm, I'm giving you information to share with the listeners. You're, You're not bringing anything new to Opie. But yeah, I know already, all this stuff. I'm not supposed to be informing you of things. Yes, You're you supposed are. to be informed. It's old hat. Yeah. <laughs> but why are you bringing me stuff I just know about already? So that way you can inform the listeners of it. They and know I can about give you this stuff. We well, all know about this yeah. stuff. Well, that way you can make jokes about it then, maybe. I just care about the audio from The Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> I, I want to hear that. It's, it's there. About his new show. Nice. And Crying Occupy Guy about I'll find the library. That. Oh, that's uh. Oh, you got that? I'll, we I'll, gotta get that. I'll find it. That fucking fag. Wait, is it the Toronto guy? <laughs> uh, is it? Yeah, yeah. See, that's I, him. I know about this too, Sam. Toronto you cry baby. Well, that way you we can share. We all know about this. You guys can share what you like with the listeners. That guy, I, I, I saw the video. Someone tweeted it uh, last night, and I watched it about three times, and just thought of people in Cairo watching their friends' heads explode mm -hmm. and getting brains on their shoulder. And dragging their dead pals off the street, 
and this kid's crying because they shut down his dumb library. And then, <laughs> where I'm at with this, this is what makes it tough for me to get behind this oh. shit. You know what? Me, and look, Steve O's in the furry hat crying behind him. Oh my God, that does look like Steve O. <laughs> if, if me and you were circles, you know, you know how part of our circles would touch. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm in agreement with you here. Yep. You're way over here, though, like, fuck all of them. I and know. I'm like, fuck, get rid of these idiots, and maybe this could become something. This is so done. This Occupy thing is done. It's mm. over. They, oh, it's they not... gotta move on to something else. <laughs> no? <laughs> it's not. I think it is, Chipster. Chippa. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, want a, I know. you want the answer to the, uh, the Lincoln <laughs> thing that's in Bill O'Reilly's book? Ah, yeah. Let's uh, talk to Jeff in Massachusetts. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Hi, Jeffy. Uh, yeah, it, the book has a lot of uh, historical inaccuracies. Like, he makes references to the Oval Office, and that wasn't even built during President uh, Lincoln's presidency. Oh. And there's a few other ones, and they, he just didn't do a good job fact-finding. Uh, and I think he had a couple other guys help him write the book, so that, that's why it's not going to be put in, like, the gift shops and all that, all that crap. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? Yeah, but then we got a, a guy <laughs> named what I said. Dan in New Hampshire saying that it is uh, in the in the gift shop. Really? Because I heard it wasn't. I would go with you over Dan because I, yeah. I I don't know Dan. He's, I, he I, put, I, yeah, go ahead. He put out another book, Factor Words. He's just an asshole. And it's first of all, it's by Bill O'Reilly and the O'Reilly Factor staff, which means he had nothing oh, to do with it. Interns wrote it, and it's literally just. A list. It's a book full of words that he's used as vocabulary words. Oh, cool! On the factor. What do you mean? Oh, Are they God. real words? Yeah, like truculent, eager to fight, pugnacious. Truculent. That means that you got to get your truck back from someone. No, it doesn't. It's like the it's best of the Delantis. dictionary. <laughs> truculent. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> he's putting out a dictionary with his no, name on it. Like a best of. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. What's the it? best of a dictionary. Right, yeah, it's yeah. The best of. What's the next one? Uh. Chuffiness, rough or surly behavior. Surly, bulketeer, a person who overlooks. That's like the, that's like the, right above the balcony. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a person who overlooks meritorious behavior. What a pompous <laughs> idiot! And, and you lose to Dan Libby from what New happened? Hampshire. He, what happened? He's now uh, he is now linking. The source that says that the book is being sold. Oh no! Is being sold. Ooh, linking. You've never gone Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> You've never gone to the Ford Theater. You would love that no. shit. You love history. I know, especially Civil War history. And uh, what I remember is the area wasn't that nice. No, it was a little creepy. Or Probably maybe it wasn't it, maybe... nice back then either. If they're presidents being shot. Well, it's a, it's a walking city, so I, I think I walked there, so maybe the walk was m worse than the actual area it was in. Now I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I remember it was a little shady, though. I would wear a stovepipe hat <laughs> and walk around like Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln. With that stupid L in his name. It always threw me as a kid. People... Anyway, so Mike Francesa. Yes. The C word got out on his broadcast yesterday. Ooh. Um... Nothing exciting to talk about in that game. Titans over the Buccaneers. They stay in the wild card hunt. Uh, in the wild, uh, wild card hunt. <laughs> Finally had a good game rushing. He wild had hard cunt. 23 for 190. <laughs> wild hard cunt. And then you hear dead air because then his engineer was trying to you know save his ass. Trying to dump. Yeah, he's not going to get in trouble for that. Because they probably, I bet a lot of time went by before he hit the dump. Oh, sure. Like, it was like, is that, should I, should yeah. I, ah, I better. Yeah. And he missed it. And this is the real Mike Francesa, not the guy that calls our show, but you could hear it's the same, imp it's the same voice pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Um, nothing exciting to talk about in that game. Titans over the Buccaneers. They stay in the wild hard cunt, uh, in the wild, uh, wild card hunt. <laughs> Finally had a good game rushing. He had <laughs> I it out. 23 for 190. It's hilarious. And there is to something dump. to talk about in that game. Isn't that the game where the black cock made the TV? Oh my the gosh. black cock. Did you see that? No. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. I, and the guy had to apologize. But if you're going to have a camera in the locker room, fuck, you know, you got to pay attention. Yeah. They're interviewing mm. somebody. Is it coming through a hole? <laughs> <laughs> a second glory hole joke of the day. <laughs> they never have enough. No. They're interviewing somebody and behind them is a big black cock. Damn, that's what you don't want it. I, I don't. You have it there, uh, Sam. 
Oh, Sam's just fucking. Maybe I have it. But he's just diddling the keyboard to no avail. Let me see. In 2008, another penis in locker room story. Oh, no. Huh? Go figure that one out. Penises. Is... in locker rooms. Huh? Uh, Where is it? TV state. Oh. Uh, oh, come on. Copywritten. I thought material. I tweeted it yesterday. Maybe I didn't. Who's got it? Who's got this shit? This video was just taken offline. No, this guy, uh, it's being taken offline everywhere, but this guy made his own little fucking thing. Mm. His little, thing. He made a little thing. I thought I had it yesterday. I don't know. Someone else have it? It's classic, though. Big black cock in the background. <laughs> was it big? Was it swinging? Well, well, if it's bigger than your own, you would have to say it's big. That's true. It's bigger than mine. Yeah. And the woman... Uh, that, that soft? Would, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Swinging soft. Yeah. Yeah, swinging that's, fucking soft. That's impressive. You know this thing can do some fucking damage. It's impressive, especially with the pressure and knowing that a camera's on it. Is that it? <laughs> I can't. What happened? Oh, I didn't see it. God what happened? Damn it! I had it yesterday. I thought I fucking. Where's that big? Boy? What happened? Cock. <laughs> How we get that cock? Back? Oh, Sam. Well, Eric sent me this one. Eric sent you that? I didn't see a penis. No, he covered it's it up at the very it. beginning, right as the Fox logo moves away. Where? Oh, I see oh, a little. Come on. Wow. Wow. That Jesus is huge, Christ. though. <laughs> Now, that's not the video I saw. And what is that bald guy looking at? Is he looking at his cock? <laughs> He's looking right at He's it. He's probably ah. staring at that big cock. He's like, probably sees God it hanging out that there. Gig. The sure. head of his dick is closer to his knee than Holy it is to his fucking fuck. balls. Yeah, he what probably the fuck sees is that, that about? big cock out there. How does he not just grab it? What? <laughs> just hold it and go like, look, look, look. <laughs> Shake it all about. That's uh, perpetuating the stereotype. Yeah. Mm. Just grabs that cock. <laughs> Squeezes it angrily. Yeah, wow. Big snake. Is that the clip, though? Because all it does no, is come no, back from no. I, the I, logo. For, you, unless I'm, you freeze frame it, you can't even see it. I'm really frustrated because I did have it. I thought I tweeted it last night. I don't see it on my timeline. I don't know what. Is it a completely different clip? Or yeah, is it yeah, that yeah, clip yeah. yeah. A, oh, okay. It's a close-up of a guy being interviewed, and, and the whole left side of the screen is his big <laughs> dick for about five seconds. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. We apologize for the cock. But it's really hard to find, but this one guy captured it before everyone started you know, getting rid of it. It made a little uh, little little flash video. Ah. Oh. It's a little flash. And no one is fucking tweeting it's me with flash. this shit. Fucking tweet me, you assholes. What are you waiting for? Tweet. This might be it. How did that get into our vernacular? Stupid tweet. Well, we have to say tweet all the time. Right, How often see. did you say tweet before Twitter? Well, every time I saw a bird. Bird. Yeah. Not that. You just Singing look at it. All right, here we go. go tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> you were yelling at a bird in the tree? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that's it? Uh, Bobby in CT on Twitter. Go to his Twitter. He's got it. He just tweeted it. Thank you. It's, that's how you get followers, motherfucker. Bobby in CT should get a lot of followers today. All right. Here it is. Let's see. It's just... Uh-oh. What does it say? <laughs> oh, Bobby just got a free plug. I just have, I, I have it. Oh, you found it. Oh, Look at this, though. Bobby that. fucking sends this to me, and it says, This video contains content from Fox, who has blocked it on copyright grounds. Whoops. So don't follow Bobby. Hey, Sam, you want to maybe tip the monitor up a little bit? Oh, he's bit the worst, and, isn't he? And turn it maybe a little. Not, 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 it's pointing at not the ground, can't Sam. See it Sam the only two cares. of us have to be able no. to see it. And I have to see it, too, and he only cares about his own monitor and I know. God, Sam. You're not in the good. living room watching TV. <laughs> Turn it. <laughs> Terrible. It's a place of business. By the way, Deadspin has it. Deadspin's a pretty good website. I kind of yeah. enjoy it a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. Better explaining why we didn't get that yeah, uh, thing swinging around back there. The but you know, it's always that's the story of our season so far. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's got a cock. He has to know. Yeah, come on. Of course. They're probably Let's fucking around with everyone. Uh, Let it rip. See how long it goes. Let's see how long that cock's on TV. And, you know, you don't blame it on the rest, but, man, they got a big part. Do you think that big was a big part? Is right. That they had gotten the measurement. Man, it looked like at least a measurement. Man, a measurement, you know, at least uh, let us get, get everything it. going. I mean, he put his shorts on. That's, that's story of fucking hilarious. So Isn't that great? Yeah. I love that shit. Fucking hilarious. Snuffleupagus hanging there. It's just big. What? 
Damn. So dark. The guys don't comment on it or anything? No, everyone makes believe this shit doesn't happen. It's I don't understand there. that. You mm. got to say something like, holy crap, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? Wish I had a cock like that. <laughs> <laughs> it says Tampa Bay Fox affiliate. Airs unidentified buccaneer locker room dong. <laughs> that's the headline. Dong. Dong. <laughs> dong. I, don't, I think that's funnier than Pud. <laughs> Pud is old school. Yeah. Pud is like wow. just a shitty white dick. <laughs> hey, yeah. A dong is, I guess, Fucking, a black dick, right? Yeah. You Pud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think Pud is flattering when you say that. No. <laughs> Suck my Pud. Yeah. No chick wants to hear that. No. Oh, that's great. Go to Deadspin. They still have it. I mean, they're trying to get rid of that fucking video. They don't want anyone to see it. Oh, yeah. But it's funny. Once again, Mike Francesa. Um, nothing exciting to talk about in that game. Titans over the Buccaneers. They stay in the wild, hard cunt, uh, in the wild, uh, wild card hunt. Finally had a good game rushing. He had 23 for 190. I love panicky Pete Dump Guy. That's mm. great. What? Like, what? There's cunt, 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 and... Uh, why does he have an audience? He dumps out. Uh, I don't know. I think People it's seem to not uh, like history. him, but, but he has a big audience. He's got history. And he's talking him. about what they want to hear about, and you yeah. can leave him on in the post office or wherever. He's just, he can stay on. He's mindless sports banter. Look, we're miserable like Mike Francesa, but if you yeah. listen to our voices, you can't tell. No. He just goes... By the way, I'm not miserable. I was just saying that for the radio, idiots. Yeah. I fucking love what I do. We're a little miserable. I just wish we could do it for a cool company, that's all. <laughs> wish we could do it at <laughs> Sorry, 3 Sam. p.m. too would be nice. <laughs> would you do afternoons again if you could? I think I'd go back to afternoons if I could. You want to do three? Yeah. You could do three. Do three to three Tell the bosses we're going to start doing three. Oh, when? Wow. Tomorrow. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it. Like, at three, I'd be like, oh, if we're doing mornings, it would be over already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got to start at seven, then your whole night goes all haywire. No, I kinda, like that, too, though. It's kind of good. I always like the fact that at seven o'clock, I could go out, do shit, get to sleep at whatever hour, and still be cool at 3 p.m., you know? Yeah. It's like, for some reason, your recharge factor is a lot easier to, to deal with mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have to be anywhere till three. Yeah, but I don't do much when we did afternoons. Like, I would never do my mortgage or any any stuff I do in the morning now. It's like... You do I, your mortgage every morning? Yes, I do. I go to the <laughs> bank, and I'm like, I, I, I say, why is there a T in that word? <laughs> yes. No, but I mean it's bank business and things that you don't want to do. It's like, I can do them after work, but yeah. I couldn't get up and do them. But since I'm on my way home, I can do them. I would waste a lot of time because uh, I was probably, you know, I was sleeping. Until three or yeah. two or whatever the fuck it was. So yeah, I probably cut a big chunk of my day out. The yeah. traffic you hit. Well, I do now anyway. Too. I fucking sleep from yesterday, uh, I, eleven a.m. To I was asleep at eleven in the morning until five thirty p.m. That's unbelievable. That's that's not a nap. It was, it's a whole fucking you, night. You missed sleep. a great day. I know. It was. It, we hit another record. But then I went out. I it went out to dinner, walking around, walking out to dinner in the city. It was right. fucking nice at night, even. And and you know. You still don't believe in that global warming, that. huh? Uh, it's getting a little a little shaky out there. Right? I was actually talking to none other mm -hmm. than Fred Norris in the elevator mm -hmm. on the way Whoa! up today of dropping. the Howard Stern We're not supposed show. to like each other. Whoa! And what are you uh, doing? and he was commenting on the fact that he doing? loves global warming. If you want to uh, voice any complaints, you could tell Fred Norris that I heard him say, fuck the polar bears. <laughs> because he, he said this global warming shit is great. I, I've seen Fred box. I, I bet you he would love to box a polar bear. He probably would. Fred's a jolly guy in the morning. He's a good guy. He's like a happy, fun guy in the morning. Fred. Fred's He's a, a good really... elevator ride. I don't mind him in the elevator. We, we Some a... people have bad elevator ride. Uh, we took a cab together. He's a very nice man. He is. You know who's They'd a bad elevator Fred. ride? Who? Boy Gary. Oh. Why? Fucking let it go, you cunt. I like <laughs> Gary, we, Enough already. He's another pleasant this elevator cunt ride. Gets in the elevator with a bunch of people and says hi to everyone and doesn't say hi to me. I get it. Take another elevator, you fuck. I, Holy shit. I've never had a problem with Ba Ba Boogie. Uh, go away. What happened? What's I don't know. I even tried when his stupid book was out. I think there's. But uh... the weird thing is, I'm already in the elevator, and then he comes in the elevator. He'll say hi to people, then he has his back to me. 
and he fucking doesn't say hi. I'm sure if you made he the goes first out of his move. way to make sure he doesn't say hi. Sure, if you made the first what move, what fucking everything year be, is this? Be fine. Me and Fred walk around together. We we you we holding had, hands. We hold hands. Taking yes. warm showers. Yes. <laughs> when did this happen? Huh? It happens a lot. I think Holy there's still fuck. some animosity. You know. You gotta just say hi to him. Last time I saw Howard, we we both said hi to each other. But you know, so he says Ooh. hi. <laughs> I've never seen him. In oh, all it's the rare. Time. In all the days I've come into this motherfucking building, it's rare you see him. But he, he even says hi. He he said he he has said hi to Jimmy a bunch. I hear rumor he's growing the Opie beard. Uh, well, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I might rip him off. Ooh, I invented beards. Mm. I audition characters as he's on his way out the elevator. <laughs> I'm like, hey, can I do your show too? <laughs> Just in case things don't work out. <laughs> ah, oh, Chip. <laughs> but, oh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> but Fred's a good elevator ride. Robin's a good elevator ride. Artie was a good elevator ride. Uh, who else? And all the other guys. Yeah. Sal. So, someone's saying, Opie, ever think it's you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, like maybe he said maybe no. maybe he said hi to you one time and you didn't hear it. No, and then no, he no. thought you didn't want to say hi. To that, that, I mean, and that's fair enough. Sure, I think it's me. No, this goes back to I, I, uh, this goes way back. Trust me, I've had many years to figure some shit out, and yeah, I, I do think it's me. That's that's fine. But the other people have gotten through the you know the bullshit that we went through uh, over the years, right? I don't think you've. Um... I don't think you've given the other people as much shit as you've given Gary well, over he's the a, years. He's a douchebag. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> See, That's now that thing. could because, be that could be because because he was a spy for Howard all those years, and then he would like he would he would strike up conversation with me, and Anne, it was all fake. Well, and every time during we, those war warring years, and every time we did get in trouble with Howard, it was because of this idiot was fucking calling uh, Howard. Do you know we actually all have the a, fucking a, time a tourism exchange with Vietnam now, Opie. All right, so we can go to Vietnam now and and check out the tunnels look, and, that were used in the war. When the war ends, yeah, you gotta kind of you my, know my embrace Japan. My point is, then just take another elevator. <laughs> Don't make it uncomfortable for me. But why and, and hold yourself. on to those moments? Because he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> no, see, well, that's why see you that guys, again? Yeah. Could, <laughs> he really is. We wouldn't have a, we wouldn't have a, a truce with Vietnam <laughs> if our diplomats were going ah those slopes, <laughs> dude. <laughs> it would be no truce. The fact is, yeah. Now that we're getting into this, half the trouble we got in in with Howard was yeah. because of Gary. Yeah, but, Howard never heard half the shit we did. But that was but this during fucking the, the uh, tattletale had to run and, and tell Howard every fucking time. But the war's over. Well, it was I'm during just, the war, and, and I'm I'm willing to accept that. All right, Don't so, get in my fucking elevator. But one it's of my all... elevator at that point. I'm in it first. Wouldn't one of our Go, guys the have six come other back? elevators ready to go upstairs? Take one of those. Wouldn't somebody from the, from the O&A side would have come back and told this show everything, right. too? I, mean, just, it, I don't, it, I don't it, mind that, because it's part of that. Like It you know, goes both ways. you got to be loyal we, to whoever you're with. We had some hiring. shit that we, we pulled shenanigans, they pulled shenanigans. And that's what I'm getting at. And we both pulled shenanigans, shenanigans so it's, but it's over it, now. So yeah. if he gets in the elevator. Uh, you know, like he put the, out like, a good book. Kevin from Connecticut's pointing out how the Jews forgave those Nazis. You gotta let it go. <laughs> I think that's true. No? Yeah, true. Almost positive. He thought that actually he, happened. He's the last holdout. He really is, because even I bet he says that about you. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Come ever? on, whatever. You're not gonna just say hi one day? I did. That's what I'm getting at. No, me and Fred piss next to each other and have a nice conversation. We do walk you hold each other's together. wieners. We certainly is Fred do, big man. down there? He's got a large dong. I bet he does. <laughs> does he have a putt or a dong? He's got. Fred's a got dong. a cock. <laughs> He's got a cock. He's got a dong. It's too peaceful to not have a uh, cock. Nobody's that mellow with a small dick. Mm. Oh God! <laughs> God, I mean, enough. Yeah. To to make it known, you don't want to say hi, but you get on the same elevator. It's like I then wait it out. Are you when you see him coming? Do you do you hit that closed door well, button? Ask Kenny. <laughs> when we see him coming up the uh, sidewalk, I'll go. Let's sit a few minutes. And really? And I'll let him take his own stupid elevator. Well, you should get in the elevator. I would never let someone get in the elevator well, for get me. I'm the elevator no, kid. I hop right in. <laughs> Bing, boom, up, ding. I like the no pressure of being able to just, like, I don't care who's in the uh, building I, in the uh, elevator. I it's no stress anymore. Exactly. As long as they're not fat. Yeah. Huh? As long as they're not fat, I don't care who's in oh, my elevator. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
Oh, he looked I at Eric. I didn't say anything. But you looked I know. at the sex man. The people, they That's actually good. won't let him on the same limo. As, uh, uh, the same limo. The same, oh, I was going to say the same oh, elevator as oh, Howard's limo because he's fat. Oh. But Sam's head got in my way. Move so I can communicate you're with right. Eric. You're Thank right. you. You're you right. hear the elevator sigh when he walks up. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, the elevator's rooting for like Whichever elevator gets the limo considers itself lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Eric. I don't mean, I'm just teasing saying you're heavy. Uh, more than a car. I'm getting beat up by what? A, a hater. Is it really your elevator? Yeah, if I'm in it. For First, yes, it is. You think you, it is? You it, guys yes. should be yes. commended how polite and cordial you are. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Yes. We, me, <laughs> me and Kenny laugh with uh, Ron. Ronnie, all the fucking time. We, I take up. I take the elevator up with him more than anyone. We just uh, uh, fucking yeah. joke and have a good time. I like what Fezzi said about it. He actually said, uh, "I like being alone in the elevator. It's like first class. <laughs> it's like being in first class in the elevator. And it is when when that door shuts and no one stepped in with you. Right. It's like ah, you could just." Ah, when did Fezzi say smiling. that? 2007? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, wait, what Holy happened? Shit. Oh, wait, now what you happened? Know, you know what happened shit. there? <laughs> what what <laughs> happened? I don't know what happened. What happened? I'll tell what you what happened. I don't understand. Some shit. Some shit just had a big spoon put in it <laughs> and, and moved in a what? circular what? motion. <laughs> Fuck. Is what is what just what, happened? What happened? God damn it! What Another happened? fucking month <laughs> of, oh, of, shit. of shit now. What happened? I, I need to understand. You now. implied oh, what? Shit. That 2007 <laughs> was when Fez might have said something. Oh, That's insane. God what damn happened? I pointed out that it was very funny that he pointed that he said that mm. that an elevator when you're alone in it. It's like being in first class. And so play it back. Five. I laughed at the line. I thought it was oh, funny. Oh, boy. 2007 was almost five years ago. Oh, oh what? No. Almost five. A month from now? Oh. It'll be five years ago. Oh. So, so what should I have said? That will have put us in the other building, wouldn't it? What should oh, I have said? Oh, yeah. Yes. What should I have said? You probably so shouldn't learn. have said anything. <laughs> we were watching our language on yes. K-Rock. And... Oh, God. Oh, shit. Well, there's two people in the building Opie's going to be uncomfortable in the elevator yeah. with. I didn't do shit. <laughs> she did. I didn't do shit that time. Oh, that time my you definitely did. Yeah, Lord. 2007 comment for sure. Oh, that's that was kind of unnecessary. That's going to cause some problems. Just out of I nowhere. Bet. What? This afternoon. I mean, uh, it's just yeah. yeah. What happened? That's going to leave a mark. I'm going to start saying that like they do in those yeah. movies. Mm -hmm. that's a good phrase. I know. So where are we at? <laughs> oh, we're good with uh, Howard's crew, except for Gary. Well, no. Oh. I think you're not good with Gary. Now you're saying we, and you're going to make uncomfortable <laughs> elevator rides for Anthony <laughs> right after. <laughs> you're saying we are not good with Gary oh. and Anthony. God. He just said he was fine with everybody. Well, right after North American Scum, you're just going to hear some some shit. Yeah. It's going to be a rough one. What happened? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's good. We're all happy. No. Oh, you just boy. Like a, what, what happened? Dastardly shot. That was dastardly. Huh? Um, I mean, you just took a venomous, dastardly shot. Uh, who? Very surprising. Mr. Fez Watley. I like, I like how <laughs> Sam just has this... Horrible yelling Gary picture up on the computer. I wanted Obi to feel like he was arguing with in the him. elevator. <laughs> in the elevator, <laughs> hey, I... I'm not saying hi to you. Uh, Jesus, I didn't do shit, man. That time Fuck. you did. Well, definitely did. Yeah. You want to hear about uh, the Occupy guy? Or you want I to take certainly a break? do. What do you want to do? Occupy yeah. first. I kind of want to hear Occupy guy. Why can't we break? Why do we, oh, have, to, why do we have to talk for an hour and a half? Oh straight? my god, now that you is can't true. Be that's less time to do when you get back. <laughs> the more we talk, Jimmy's... the less time after break. <laughs> Jimmy thinks like I do. Yeah. If we talk until 6.51, we're back by 6.54. That's oh, better than being back at 6.53. Yeah, yeah, that is true. We'll be back at 7.01. <laughs> back tomorrow. Right, Fatso? <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. The venomous There's There is another elevator villain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're just counting elevator villains now? Yes. Oh, he comes to work trying to make enemies. <laughs> I've got too many friends. Job well done. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting along with most people these days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you did until this break. Yeah. yeah but it's like, oh, yes. Yeah, you forget that this microphone is goes out there. Right. <laughs> but, th I mean, it's been enough years. Gary, just fucking chill the fuck out, man. Well, That's coming from me. Yelling at you. Maybe he's saying that, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I tried. You I did? Said, yeah, but when his book came out, I was like, you know what? This is a good time to maybe say, hey, I'll fucking what? read the book Where first did this of all. Happen? 
In the elevator, I, he knows because oh. he interviewed uh, Jimmy or Jimmy interviewed. Boy. How did interview, that go? I interviewed him for Raw Dog and for even the Comedy Channel. Not not to blow up your spot, but I thought it was on the radio where Gary even said, "Yeah, even Opie said nice things about." Oh, uh, maybe book. he did. I don't remember. What was oh, the interaction after the book interaction? Have you been in the elevator with him since you complimented his book? I haven't even book? thought of him since. But he hasn't Until been in the elevator. All of a sudden, he pops in the elevator. Okay, and he has. He's already in a bad mood because I'm in the elevator with has him. He, oh, has he? Has he? Has he snubbed you since you complimented his book? No. No. Okay. <laughs> the answer was no. So, so you're on so good it sounds terms. like everything was, your yeah. last interaction was smoothed positive. over. <laughs> I'm good at feeling when, sh- when things are tense. You know. Yeah, I know. Kind of, I know. Lived my whole so it life sounds that like way. everything was smoothed over until <laughs> you yelled now. into the mic that he's a dick. <laughs> no, he said douchebag and asshole. Oh, right. oh. And cunt. Thank you. Oh, did a I lot hear? of genital descriptions. All right, I'm good. All right, I'm good with him then. No, he's oh. not good with you though. No, it's all good then. Everything's good. <laughs> Just insulting him and Fez. And I didn't fatso. insult Fez. And fatso. I mean, he said fatso. We all get a little fatso over we there. We all say shit, and then you try to remember when that was said. That's all I was That's going true. for. You think 2007 is when he said that quote? Why do you think? Oh, why do you think God. that specific quote was said in 2007? Oh no. <laughs> You why? guys don't even. Well, you got. You don't even understand. Don't what you're say doing. I, why. What Fest are you talks, doing? We, we guess, we say, Fest talks yeah. a lot. What are you doing? I don't understand why you would credit that quote to oh, 2007. Gosh. I was asking because I didn't know when it was said. I don't know. It could have been 2009. I don't know. I don't want to be part. Certainly, of this certainly fallout. not after 2009. <laughs> Jeez. The fallout that's going to come down because of this. It's a horrible thing. <sighs> Such a terrible I'm just trying to thing. figure out. I know somewhere between 07 and 09. I know oh, that much. Oh, oh I But it was definitely not after 2000. Oh, absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> what? It's just horrible. It's Love horrible. Love those guys. <laughs> Love them. Love them. It's horrible. Yeah. Shouldn't have said that. So we're good, right? With who? Uh, I think we're In all general, good with everybody. I think we're good. Fatso. Yeah. Eric? Douchebag, not talky. Yeah, mute no. fatso and douchebag. <laughs> We're good with everybody. Everybody's good. Uh, God. <laughs> I'm just sick of going through the same shit every day. Then you got the fat fuck that, that hates us but makes believe he doesn't, but then he does. It's like, well, do you hate us today? What's your deal? The, the, the guys I won't talk to in the building. Um, I, I wasn't talking to that guy Larry Flick for a while because he. Well, he said he referenced us on the air, and he never, came, he never came over and said he was wrong. And it kind of annoyed me. Mm. But I was, like, blatantly rude to him and not talking to him. But the, yeah. I like the other guy, the black dude I like. I don't know his name, but on the elevator, he's Keith. a pleasant man. What's that? Keith. Yeah, he's a nice dude. I say hi to everybody. So I, I did. Care. There's one guy. The only guy. In the whole building. I won't say hi to is that guy. The old guy. I, the way we talk about who has no, it. no, no. Wait, wait, who don't you say hi to? This is way better than my bullshit. I will never speak to... Um, Who's the, uh, Alex Bennett? He's the one guy oh, I won't say hello that to. <laughs> no, I, I even you know what? I even give him the head nod. No, I won't no. give him the head nod. Going back and forth to the bathroom or something. No. I won't give him even that. Nah, no. he's no. the only guy I won't be courteous. I won't go out. About, I won't be rude to him. Like I wouldn't slam a door in his face. Yeah, that's probably where I stand. But I would. I would never right. even give him a courteous hello. No. But there's someone I despise in this building that oh. I would never even fucking give a head nod to. I hope it's who I think it is. What? I hope it's who I think. It's E-Rock. Oh. No. Wait, 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 let me get wait, someone you despise. Everyone's in a bad spot now. Despise. I know. Are, are you going oh, to say the who it is? One? Well, I can say the obvious, but is it the one we think? I don't know. Who do you think? Yeah, the one he, everyone hates. He has no, sh- no, no, no. He has a show. I don't know. No, no, he doesn't oh. have a show. No. He's not a... Management? I'm I just going to say, that that fucking Australian cunt that ratted us out. Oh, yeah, Mark. Go fuck yourself. Mark, the, the engineer you guy, whatever he was. shit. I've never the forgotten. Fucker. What is he? What when is he, he come, anyway? comes by and nods, go fuck yourself. The guy was trying to... Uh, put he was us working in. with Dave Herman. Oh. When Dave Herman... Okay. And he was wiretapping us. us. The fucking guy was wiretapping us, and we could yeah. say it because it came out in the court, the court case. Yeah, he and was, now he works here, and he and he makes believe we don't know. He was or, all or, smiley, or he's hoping we don't know. I guess as he was uh, recording us when we thought the mics were off. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, that oh, that fuck, motherfucker yeah, right. go fuck his mother. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Pharrell. <laughs> Uh, no, no, this guy... no, even Pharrell, I could give a shit. He's 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 a douchebag. <laughs> but this he's guy, a mute fat douchebag. But... <laughs> this guy came across like he was our pal, you know, and yeah. and he would come in and all that, and then we find out that he was secretly wiretapping us. We should have sued his yeah, fucking fuck ass. Fuck him. Yeah. 
and 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 they weren't allowed to use the tapes in uh, in the case. Dig it up, dig it up. It's illegal. Give a shit about him. Illegal shit. Yeah, that is. I'm, I'm good with Pharrell. Are you? Just good. Just good. If I if I was in the elevator with him, <laughs> I wouldn't talk to him. I'd call him a douchebag. <laughs> oh, I know. Fuck him. <laughs> I knew Fuck it. Pharrell. I, knew it. <laughs> I, I saw Scott. I'll say this. I saw him at the whole time. Remember we did the uh, football thing at the Hard Rock? <laughs> Shut up. He was very nice when I last time I saw was him. Was he? Stuff. Yeah. What, what? <laughs> Good for you. I knew it. Good for Pharrell. Well, cause, oh, Iraq? Yeah, I saw him a few days ago, and he, he said hi, and he goes, how bad did they hate me today? And I said, they never mention you, ever. Yeah. Until today. So now you can go back to him. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I guess we just don't. <laughs> a lot of these guys just show their true colors. They're shining through. Yeah, they used to be rah rah, and then all of a sudden they get a chance to like fucking you know uh, beat the shit out of us to maybe get in better with someone else. And yeah, they, and they always go for it. <laughs> Mark that Australian fuck. Oh yeah, that's how. Uh, oh, Sam's yeah. making the mad at list. So far we have douchebag, twat, fatso, mute, and Mark that Australian fuck. And Pharrell. Yeah. I'm not Pharrell, mad. Pharrell, shake it up. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not mad at it. It's yeah, a collective list. I'm not mad at E-Rock. At all. No. <laughs> so take Fatso off the list. You call him Fatso. <laughs> yeah, but he is. That's endearing. Oh. Yeah. How about he, he doesn't right? give a fuck. He's fat, so why don't yeah. I? Yeah. You know, <laughs> Obviously. So we, so we take advantage of it. If he okay. cared, he wouldn't be an eating machine. Right. <laughs> on bad terms with. That means it's on either side. I'm so. not on bad terms. E-Rock, are we on bad terms? No. No. What Let's up? pull back a wall here. For me, oh it's only that fucking one guy. The only one I don't like. Yeah. Let me yeah. think. He, one, he always two. walks by and just glares in here. I, I don't like him just because uh, I know that he went and complained up to upper management because we were making fun of him yeah. when he had started it. That yeah. was my only issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, don't, and he, don't talk shit about me and then get mad when I'm better at it. And he used to do this edgy shit, so right. he should understand this crap. If he, if he had come to me one time and said, all right, look, that was kind of stupid. I attacked you guys the first day. I would never <laughs> have a bad thing to say about him. I'm no really one easy. would do that, though. Mm-hmm. But you know what I mean? Yeah. So... That's the one person I just will never speak to. I'm going to count now. Oh. One. Fuck. Main guy, too, unfortunately, which is going to be not good in the end. One. On the bad terms list? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. One. So put main guy. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> we need more names uh, for the list. At least code names. Four that instantly put me in a bad mood if I see him. Four that instantly put. Oh yeah, okay. Main guy, <laughs> main guy, guy who's gonna who's gonna put out his stupid email Christmas card soon, <laughs> and that's gonna put you in a bad. Oh, mood. will it? <laughs> For how oh, long? will it? Will you respond? Long? Thank you, Mar- many to no you. No raises, list. no bonuses, no nothing, no mm-hmm. Christmas parties, no nothing. But it, this pompous ass will will ha- will put out a Christmas card for the entire. Company. How long will you be in a bad mood for after the Christmas card? That one drives me nuts. This year, I think I'm going to tweet it so everyone else can (laughs) feel my pain. So who's the four? Why wouldn't there be Christmas bonuses once in a while? That really is shitty. Like, once in a while, a Christmas bonus for your fucking crew? If you, but if you did care about, you know, your your staff, then fucking actually have a a Christmas card you could give them. But to mass email something? (laughs) Ugh! Ugh! I think bonuses would be nice for people. Bonuses went away years ago. For, Did they really? For everybody. I mean, everyone that's listening to us. For oh, everybody. Wow, okay. When was the last time we had a Christmas party? I think the last <laughs> bonus was that first year when they gave us the MiFi. Mm. That was it. And I know the last Christmas it. party Tom Chiasana was at, <laughs> at the K-Rock Christmas party. Yeah. So that was, uh, we've been off regular radio for, I don't know, three years maybe now? Oh, uh, yes! So probably four years was the last time we had a Christmas party. Jesus. And Christmas parties at, in radio were just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Big parties, a lot of drunks. I don't yeah. think most of the staff got invited to the K-Rock Christmas party. Half the sales girls would come around and just so. blow you in the bathroom. What? I uh, wish what? I what happened then? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Who's the other three guys that instantly put you in a bad mood? You can use code names. I, I've I've pretty much said it. I'm gonna guess okay. Twat, the one that what, Twat main guy. <laughs> Wait, who's Twat again? A B. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the one you don't like, Jimmy. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm yes, with you on that twat. one. And Mark, I'm with Dan on that big fucking. Time. Wait, wait, wait. That's Mark, the Australian fuck. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't know him. Uh, you'd, you'd know him if you saw him. Scott, okay. Scott Farrell, I don't, I don't respect him anymore whatsoever. 
but I'm all right. I'm just good. Shut up. I'm just good. A minute ago, you were good with him, and then you had to come out and say, I don't respect him. Yeah, you're giving mixed messages. I'll tell you why, because the last I knew, we we were good. I'll tell you why. The last time I knew, we were good with Scott Farrell. We all worked at NEW together, and everything yep. was fucking cool. You know, we all kind of went our own ways, unfortunately, because we blew up everyone's fucking spot. Yeah. And then the first chance he got to trash us, he did to try to get in better with Howard. And I, and I, and at the time, I'm like, I don't remember doing anything bad to this fucking guy. Last I knew, we were all very fucking cool. We all knew the same people. You know, I I don't know what we could have possibly done to that guy that he decided to aggressively attack us. We did nothing, and and that's why he's a fuck. And it's all because he's he he has a shallow fucking you know self worth, and he and he felt this was his way of getting in better with Howard. And guess what? Howard in the end doesn't fucking look at that shit. Mm -hmm. He laughs at people like that. All right, but him you're good. But I'm I'm just good with. Yeah, uh, but that's when I turned with him. I'm like, I could never be friends with this guy. He doesn't. Who, he doesn't know who the fuck he is. But he doesn't put you in a bad mood. Nah, I feel sorry. Elevator, for him. you'd be all right. Yeah, that's the litmus test. Is the elevator, elevator ride? Yeah, yeah. I, I just got one one guy that Aust- Australian fuck. That's it. Is, huh? uh, the one guy that if he got in the elevator, I'd walk right the fuck off. Wow. I'd be like that. But, nope, ain't riding up with you. I think if you were in the elevator with Pharrell at first, you'd be okay. And then while you were in there, you'd be thinking about him. And by the time you got out, oh. you'd be all pissed. I would. I, I, if he opened his mouth, I would just say, don't even talk. <laughs> don't even talk to me. So you'd be okay with Pharrell in an elevator as long as it's a silent elevator ride. Yes. Okay. It would have to be silent, uncomfortable elevator ride. <laughs> you should okay. do like an elevator joke or something. That always alleviates the tension. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Love that. The job has its ups and downs. <laughs> Terrible. It's a good one. Gets everybody laughing. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, this guy got his <laughs> face. He glares at me. I know. This guy actually got a Christmas bonus. You think he's joking? He's I don't nice. think anyone gets Christmas bonuses anymore. Yes. No, nah, those let me, things let me are say. a thing of the past. Jeff, what do you got? Did you really get a Christmas bonus? I did this morning. It was a shitty bonus, but it was one nonetheless. A whole 180 bucks, and after taxes, is 100 bucks. You know what? Hundred dollars. You know what? I swear to you, if if that asshole down the hall gave me a hundred dollar bill, I, it would make me a bit happy. It wouldn't you put you in a bad mood. Because in the end, it's a hundred dollars. You could take your lady out for a little fucking dinner. That's nice. Hey, take your fun That's nice. boxy lady out. <laughs> A little dinner here for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Where do you eat? I don't go to establishment for less than five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? Because in the end, Jeff, it's the thought. That's it. You're not really thinking of your employees when you send out a mass email that covers Hanukkah and Christmas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Catholics and Jews, oh. and uh, and anyone in Ramadan. Here you go. Right. Smile. LOL. Yeah. Send. Right. Kwanzaa. Yeah, hey, if I, I just wanted to tell Sam too that I get paid twice as much as he does. <laughs> sit on my ass and do nothing all day. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, Sam really is a fucking lump. Mm-hmm. That's not what the point of that was. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's what that was. You're kind no. of, you're kind of a lump. Yeah. You're just talking about you're being... a shitster. I didn't do shit today, and all of a sudden oh I'm in, God, in a world starring. of hurt now. He was talking about being that I was underpaid, not that I was a lump. Oh. Have to... He just said he gets paid twice. At... Never mind. I need yeah. dark sunglasses now just so I can get to the elevator today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> started <laughs> saying uncomfortable. nasty things about people again like you do from time to time. Yeah. You know, at some point, Opie, you got to open that door and walk these hallways. <laughs> I, love, I love honesty. That was <laughs> yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Good song. Uh, what, what was your favorite one, Sam? I'm not going to tell you what my favorite one was. I know what your favorite I'll one is, trouble. and that's why I'm fucking calling you out now. Tell everyone what your favorite okay. one was. In my favorite one because... Don't lie. I won't. Because <laughs> okay. you're not no. lying, All right. so I won't lie. But because of the uh, uh, out-of-nowhereness, uh, <laughs> the shock of it all, just the unnecessariness, was the question of if the quote that Anthony credited to Fez had been said in 2007. <laughs> yes. yes, that... Uh, just, just out of nowhere. There was no <laughs> no call for that one. Yeah. And totally unnecessary. I'm just trying to snap him out of it. I Fez, know. Fez is taking everything. If you want to know the truth, everything way too seriously. You're just trying oh, to spice no. things up to oh, give him yeah, you know, I'm just an trying to or... snap him out of it. I gotcha. Oh, no. This is all stupid in the end. Oh, it really just is. goofing around. 
Except for Mark, that Australian fuck. He, yeah, <laughs> fuck him. No, I'm not trying to fuck fucking him. wake him up. He's a cunt. No, I, I, that's unforgivable. Yeah. yeah, that's a bad one. Never. That's, yeah, because, I that's the bad. That's egregious. Yeah, yeah. You know, we were scared shitless back then, man. We were in a, the middle of a multi-million dollar lawsuit. I mean, first he, one of our careers. He was he was suing the company, but then he dragged us into it. So we had responsibility there, and all of a sudden we find out that this guy. Was wiretapping us. When you get, I tell you, wiretapping Sam. When you Marvel. get your first lawsuit and it's for ten million dollars, was it ten million? Yeah, it, it makes you go like, ha, ah, oh, yeah, ha. You know, was you, the company covering your legal expenses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. That's well, nice. back then they used to do that type of thing. They oh, yeah. That's another thing they don't do that anymore. What? Oh, it was like a, a miraculous place. Yeah, back, yeah. back in those days, we have to Radio watch our amazing. own asses now. Yeah. But when you see that Good fucking lawsuit and go like, oh, uh, whew. Because <sighs> you never I know what about a, these. <laughs> you never know what, what a jury will do. You yeah. just don't know. It never goes that no, far. Of course they, not, but... they threw it out, as a matter of fact. Yeah. You know, I mean, the guy at the time who was doing mornings, you know, we couldn't help it that his wife, his ex-wife befriended us and was yeah. telling us about lawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yard sales, I mean. Yeah, she got on the air with us. And... That, that could be one of my favorite things ever. Oh, it was fantastic. She may have <laughs> she may have imbibed a bit of alcohol. I don't know. I don't and know. been chatting it up about know. a yard sale she was having. It was fantastic. And stuff, and stuff that this guy cherished. This yes. is the, the was morning now going to be on the front front lawn for people to buy. Yeah, on the station you were sale. on? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why yeah. would oh. she start fights with the people? You're supposed to start He was doing the morning show, and she was calling us in the afternoons. <laughs> were you friends with him or no? No. Oh, no. Oh, you were. The whole place hated no. us. You want a fucko list, man. And when you get the, when you get the ex-wife calling, oh, <laughs> talking God. about her yard sale that she's having yeah. and what she's selling of the morning guys. <laughs> wow, that was some great radio. And he had great <laughs> shit, too. Gold records that were signed yeah, and old yeah. leather jackets that he cherished. Did she sell them all? I don't know what ended up happening with that whole thing. Yeah. Wow. And you guys were the cool show, so you basically created an environment where you were like, listen, the entire station is shit except for us. Right. And all the listeners. We told yeah. all in New York that. Yeah. yeah. It worked. Yeah. Oh, it it did. fucking did. We were... This hated, place is easy compared despised. to that place. This place is easy. Well, we, used, you, we used to go to work. There was not one <laughs> friendly face. They all hated us. I don't even know how we were yep. able to do radio in that environment. Well, you were unapologetically trying to... And we had no audience. No one gave a shit about us yet. No. No one cared. <laughs> For months, no you're, one gave a shit. You were just like, fuck it. So the audience fucking basically didn't care, and then the mm -hmm. whole staff hated us openly. <laughs> it was rough. You just Except for Scott other. Muni, man. I'll say it. I'll say it until I fucking retire. That guy was the real deal. That guy was the real deal. He even <laughs> sat outside the studio to listen to our first break, and then walked down the hall and said, said to our boss at the time, like, ah, these guys are going to be all right. Remember that? Yeah, Ed? yeah. He was a legend in this business, but the rest of the douchebags. <laughs> Sitting in his office as he droned on about John Lennon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, when was he on? What, what, ta what hours? At that point, they were only giving him like... 1909? No, no, I mean oh. the hours of the day. <laughs> at that point, they were giving him like an hour. He was at the end. Oh, yeah. he's just... Of his uh, life and his career, unfortunately. But we would sit in his office, and he would go, Oh, yeah, this is a Keith Moon stick he gave me one time. It's just yeah, laying around. An empty whiskey bottle, huh? I drank this with Jim Moore. And it, the shit he had in his office, I'm oh. making it up uh, on the spot. He knew all those guys, though. He yeah. would pull out, I, can't, I wish I could remember. He would pull out letters like, ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, Paul McCartney wrote me this as a thank you note. Wow. All those people I hung with, and now it's just Earl. Right. <laughs> oh, I don't even like riding the elevator with him. <laughs> How old was he when he died, Muni? Not that old, but he he had a drinking. Oh, I he's hate a drinker. Earl. Oh, <laughs> I remember, uh, what was it? Would it be uh, which way? Which way goes south? Sixth or Seventh Avenue? Seventh Avenue South. Seventh Avenue was it? Seventh? Yeah, Seventh Avenue. He's barreling out of the garage the wrong way with his car. <laughs> that guy Jesus. fucking ruled, man. Those guys, like, who are those? Like, there's cousin Brucey is one of those guys that's just like, even though he was like like more classic rock than like you know like you know rock yeah. and roll. There's a couple of those guys around that were fucking just like those legendary. Dudes. I like those dudes. I just said nothing. Bruce, but Bruce, Bruce is cool. He's a great guy. He's come on the show and he he shows he has a little edge. And he I always with it. I always hated that <laughs> 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 fucking Earl. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all lighting up. Uh, I like anyone that knew the Beatles. It's rare to find those guys anymore. True. Yeah. Yeah. Not many. I knew. I met them, but mm. you didn't meet the Beatles. Mm, I did. 
What? So stupid. Were you uh, the fifth Beatle? <laughs> no, it's just boom. Uh, uh, I mean, Paul jam on guitar. It was just boom. <laughs> just boom. Yeah. Ah, oh, people are still getting bonuses out there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Congratulations, man. That's cool. That means your boss <laughs> shows a little fucking heart. Even if it's a, a small little bonus. Cares. Just like, a dumb little yes. thing. Or a gift certificate somewhere. Like just anything. Something extra for the holidays. It's like knowing that everybody's taking it in the shitter. Right. Yeah. Stupid fat Oprah comes around and, and they, they, they close the place Boy. for her and, and spend thousands <laughs> and thousands, <laughs> tens fat of Oprah thousands of dollars. List. Put stupid fat Oprah. <laughs> she takes care list. of her employees, too. Fucking Elo walked me around that, that facility, and he showed me photos of their fucking company trips. Mm. And it's a smaller company than here, but Harpo takes care of their people, man. Yep. Yeah. She brings them on a cruise for two weeks. That's nice. Jerks everybody off. Oh, God. I mean, I'm making that up. Fantastic. But the amount of money they, they spend when she comes once a year, or yeah. used to. For elevator insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I could take... bring her up the freight elevator, but besides that. I could take Jess out to about 15 dinners for 100 bucks. Oh, yeah, man. Know, man. That would be nice. Yeah. That poor girl. Oh, boy, she is she making even... an error? I know. She doesn't even realize she what's out she's there. She's got it good. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you... fucking wrestling photos and oh, signed chairs. Does she gong? have to sit there while you watch that fucking inane wrestling? Monday night. Just yeah. last night. And does she enjoy this? Or does she look at you like, oh. She's probably, God. she's probably, she's on her laptop not facing Sam so he can't see. Yeah. That she's in her secret email. Um, <laughs> it's GRL number four BLK. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't think so. <laughs> no, you don't I think doubt so? it. <laughs> I mean, mm. you want to hear about Birdman's bonus? Birdman? Birdman, is this real? Time, buddy. But you get a bunch yeah, of feet or something. Wheat. What's going on? Hey, listen, my wife gets a, a $25,000 bonus. What? What does she do? She sucks the boss's cock. Oh, no. <laughs> that was bad. That wasn't. No, no, she's a human resource director. So she is. Not, fuck cares. Won't she bring her money? <laughs> but you really... This you, guy's a catch. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. She really brings that kind of it's bonus. It's out there, Jeff. But wait, now, since we don't know you or your wife, what does she make a year? She makes like 130 so that's a, a 5%. And you think she's 20, having an affair with the boss? 20%. No, she's busting balls, but she makes a fucking nice bonus. That's a big bonus for 130000 a year. Yeah. $25,000 bonus is a lot, man. Jimmy, she used to work for this other company, a dot-com company. She used to get like 50 60 sometimes. 50, wow. Now. I think that was big money. I get like $5. I think we should. <laughs> this guy. $5. He's $5. getting like $5. What do you do, man? I'm a, I own a construction company. I was going to oh, say yeah. that. Nice. I swear. Fucking you sound nice. like every guy that I've ever met on any job yeah. site. <laughs> Five dollars. Hey, fucking, you know, you nice. these Mexicans, oh, you pick them here. up, they don't even know what a fucking two-by-four is. Nice, right? All right, guys. Take care, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. All what right. is a fair bonus, I guess? What, what percentage of your salary do you think? Like, in 100. This Jesus. Well, <laughs> At this point, people would take 1%. I'm fuck. like, I'm wondering what's... Holy fuck, you'd take 1%. You'd appreciate that. You'd go, holy crap, Something. they're actually thinking about me around yeah. the holidays. Five dollars. I haven't had a, bon like a, 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 a job like that in so long. I don't know what percentage is... Remember the bonus... Remember yeah, the people bonus. really look forward to that. Oh, it was great. Christmas tips. We still we in the tip industry, you like anything with tips you give big like my garage guys. We talk oh, about that every year. Right, that's coming around. I avoid them. I just oh, I just boy. I just don't do my car until like uh January eighth. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Sorry boys, I was away. You missed your big tip. You I told tip. I told Kenny this morning everyone is extra nice in my building because yeah. Christmas bonus time. Sure. You got to tip like I can tip and by my the way, mailman and stuff. Why do you tip the mailman? Oh, it's his job. Kenny, how much did I have to spend last mailman? year? $50. There comes Kenny. Kenny he knows, knows. cuz I he does all the paperwork. Yes, GH. How much? Well, GH, you should be commended cuz you like to spread the holiday cheer. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't talked about this in a year, uh, but the uh, the pamphlet, <laughs> the book, it's a it's almost a book at this point. Is it has arrived? And basically, it's everyone that works in the building and what they do. Yeah, but GH, <laughs> I've learned from you, it's better to give than to receive. <laughs> how many? How many? Envelopes Your case, last misery. Year? Yes, yeah. a bullet. <laughs> Safe to say, forty envelopes last year. Yes, it's in the high thirties. High thirties. Yes, e envelopes with cash in every Fuck single yeah, one man. of them. Yeah. For people I've never seen, I don't know what they do in the building, but they'll tell you. When I first started working in the city and parking here, yeah. the parking lot gave me a Christmas card around November, and I was like, oh, that's so nice. Thank <laughs> right. you. And then I opened it, and all the names were in there, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. 
And then it took me like a day to realize, oh, that's so I can give them money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's yeah. not a Christmas card. No. No, and you shouldn't, no. be, forced, for you shouldn't be forced to do it. Jim's a big tipper, too. He likes to spread it around. Oh. This year, no. Where? AIDS? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I, give them, I, I, give them, uh, I give them each a brand new $5 bill. Oh, $5. I actually, I actually, <laughs> I'll actually dollars. do this in front of their, their face with it. Like where you take it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I sir. Stiffen it Here out it is. And I scrape it under their chin. Here you go, boy. There you go. <laughs> Spend it all in one place. <laughs> Uh, by, by the way, I was talking about uh, building expenses about a month or so ago, and I said um, it's about $2,500 a month for maintenance charges. Yeah. Okay? And someone goes, wow, that's a pretty cheap mortgage. No, dopes. Oh, boy. That's throwaway money that I'll never see again. It has nothing to do with my mortgage. That's, that's on what top I, of your mortgage. That's what I have to pay just to, to live in the building. To have them uh, keep the place gussied up. Yeah. Right. But someone yeah. got confused and go, wow, that's your mortgage? Why are you bitching? I'm bitching because it's $2,500 so guys could open the door and maybe uh, you know bring a package up to my door every once in a I'm while. I'm bitching because I'm cool. I'll say nice. you are. Bitching. Surfing bitchin'. USA or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Surfing <laughs> USA. <laughs> How much money is that, Kenny? 40 envelopes, let's say. 400 40 bucks. envelopes. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're bitching about your mailman. Who cares? I wish well, I had that. I have to tip the mailman. I garbage tip guys, the garbage guys, and that's it. Right? Uh, yeah, how much do you give them? Um, how much do you give a garbage guy? Fifty bucks? Ah, uh, yeah, you give them fifty. I'm going to be good to my garage guys. I don't usually give them dollars when I get my car, so I'll tip them really well. Yeah, it yeah, gh. Don't worry, it is the, the season. Got to tip the garage guys, yeah. right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got to oh, tip the fucking parking oh, guys. Oh, believe me, they all get the celebrity tip. So the Escalade comes I, up. Lickety split. I yeah. tip the garage guys well because yeah. I don't want yeah. my lug nuts unloosened. And you don't want them fucking leaving your battery drain? Like, you don't want them no. leaving your lights on? Hey, oh, Mr. Yeah. Guy that don't throw the tips. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Battery Drain. <laughs> charge the battery. I, I tip the deli guys that get your breakfast in the morning. Oh, why? That's good. Yeah. Uh, I guess I know why, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that way they don't come in the sandwich. Because <laughs> yeah, it's not my money, it's yours. <laughs> yeah, you're really throwing around everybody's cash all up. <laughs> I went, where are we uh, are on bad terms list? Yeah, you got douchebag. Who's douchebag, though? Uh, that would be... Come on. That's uh, who you started. That was who you started. You started a, there's a the photo guy yelling right yeah. there. The guy yelling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember? You <laughs> called him douchebag. <laughs> I want one of those serious sweatshirts off the record. How about that as a bonus? The serious, the guys oh. get sweatshirts. Don't stop, no. fucking maniac. He's in the building, by the way. One of these days. No stop way. Really? Paul Anka, yeah. Paul Anka. I would never wear that sweatshirt. No. I've worn it. I've no. Worn it. I have mine. I'd, I'd wear, wear that. It. You yeah. wouldn't wear that. It's a plain yeah, one. I like it. Wear. I like the look. Yeah, because it. it's just plain. It's Very like one of those collegiate looking. Uh, and the hood is big, which I need. Yeah, yeah. you do yeah. to hide that Giant fucking head. Stupid washwoman hair. <laughs> fucking awful kizzy hair. <laughs> you should be spitting in Sandy Duncan's drink. <laughs> fucking creep. Could have just left it at the hood. Uh, no, nah, but yeah. I wanted to really keep going with it. Uh, the other people are twat. Yeah, yeah I don't like twat. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> this was how he was. This is not me. No, I don't, I'm not on bad terms with mute. I would, oh. Bad terms means it's one or the other. What and let mean? me tell you something. After today, I would assume you are. You are on bad terms, terms with. I'm not on bad terms. The person with who anyone. you referred to as mute. Uh, mark that Australian fuck. Oh, I'm on bad terms. Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, Pharrell. She is. The main guy. Main guy. And stupid fat Oprah. <laughs> Well, that was just a reference point. Oh. I know, but you call their stupid like, I, fat. Open. Well, yeah, you know the company has money when they when they do things like that for someone that's not really doesn't give a fuck about the company. That's true. And then you got people that really give a fuck about this place and work hard day in and day out, and they get nothing. In the Who end. are they? But as soon as <laughs> Oprah comes around, they'll close up the place and spend tens of thousands of fucking dollars on her. I got, by the way, a text. Oh. And uh, one week pay. For Xmas bonus. I guess that's the standard. One week? Yeah. So $5. I didn't know that. $5. <clears throat> One week. Wow. But even if it's not a week's oh, salary, they should, give, they should give something here because the company's doing okay. I have stock. It's not doing... Dude, it was a nickel... At yeah. one point, fifteen cents. Now it's a uh, dollar seventy nine. It's been bouncing yep. up. It's like it's come on, man. It's, yeah. it's it's and the economy stinks. It's not like the economy's going great. Yeah. Mm. So they're, I, I think they're doing well. I, I, I wish it would be. I wish it was different. But I now know in my heart it'll never be different. Unfortunately. Yeah. 
Oh. Makes it easier to to live with, I guess. But mm. yeah, but that's the beauty, you oh. guys. When you get lemons, <laughs> you always make lemonade. Yeah, we that's try. True. And whenever you talk, there's a lot of lemons. <laughs> milk, milk, lemonade around the corner. Fudges made. Yeah. That's right. Stick your yeah. finger in the hole. Out comes a tootsie roll. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Let me get in there where they put Still the fudge. fudge. Oh, oh, Uncle Jesus. Paul. Let me get in there and make I the fudge know. soft. Why that's still funny. <laughs> it is. Yeah, give me some lemonade <laughs> milk. That's not funny, though. That's, yeah, it is. It's gross. We put some Earl where the fudge comes out. Earl. <laughs> make it come out smoother. Around the corner, fudge is made. <laughs> and it feels good when you put your wiener in it. <laughs> <laughs> is that Bernie Fine? Or, of course. Uh, well, okay. it could be any of them. All right. This or is point, it Curly? I'm confused. Curly. <laughs> Bernie Fine, the feds are getting involved with the Syracuse thing. Uh, yeah. And his wife she couldn't keep her mouth shut. Oh, we what got a oh, mouth. Yeah. We never played that yesterday. You Why want to play that? Sperm yeah. bank keep her mouth shut? <laughs> <laughs> we never played it. We got it right here. We have audio Smack of the ball peen hammer. We have audio of her? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got to hear that. We had Dr. J in uh, yesterday, so it kind of messed us up a little bit. And Copeland saying he should have only uh, made one Godfather. We got a lot of stuff we haven't played. Two Godfathers. The third one was a two. Disgrace. Yeah, the third one sucked the. The second part he two says is... it should have only been one, but Why? two is awesome. Two yeah, gets better and better. Two one best picture. What's the matter with him? He told TMZ there should have been one. Yeah, this is a quickie. We'll, He's we'll just trying to be before. outrageous. But part three before was break terrible. we could do this really yeah. quick because everyone loves so. the Godfather movies, right? Or oh yeah, they, they made like three at all. No, no. <laughs> they made them do it. They said they were going to get Travolta. They. They kind of said, we're going to do it with or without you, and he just did want the legacy totally destroyed, so he did what he could with it. Why would he put his daughter in it? She sucked. I know. She Travolta? was a horrendous actor. Who are they going to... I don't know. Else. Travolta. But, but uh, what's his name? Uh, yes. Robert Duvall purposely priced himself out. Didn't yeah. want to do it. Yeah. Here's what he said. Coppola, how you doing tonight, sir? How you doing tonight? It's an honor, sir. I have one question for you. What do you think of Saddam loving the Godfather like he did? I mean, a world leader, all kinds of weird guys like that. <laughs> love, love the Godfather, sir. Would you ever pick up? Would you ever pick up the Corleone story again? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's done. The 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 masterpiece is, is over with part three. Should have only been one. Yeah. Who's this fucking journalistic yeah, they're fucking... The, they're the TMZ assholes. Oh, is that who it is? Yeah, they're all trying to be stars now. Should have just been one. You watch TMZ? No. Uh, occasionally, yeah, very rarely. Harvey Levin with his on. stupid fucking drink and his drink. dumb straw. Everybody's laughing. You know, just a real man running the oh, office. Yeah. I would not I would ah, never partake yeah. in anything that shithead did. I only watch it uh, when uh, it's, it's less of a hassle to watch a shit show than it is to change the channel <laughs> on Time Warner. Cable. Mm. <laughs> Fucking guide. C click, click, freeze. Click, click, click. Jump five spaces ahead. Click, click, freeze. You don't I have Time hate Warner. It. Uh, Compound West. What? Compound West has Time Warner. What? The Compound oh, East. Oh, I see. Because I can't get yeah. fucking Fios at Compound West. You don't have Fios in your building? No. I, I have Fios in my building. Holy I shit. I wish. They're Amazing. holding, uh, holding well, me hostage. I would hostage. know. I still have Time Warner. You haven't uh, made this switch over. <laughs> no. Oh, no. You, you would be... There's a fucking <laughs> promised land of amazing television. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. The HD channel fucking... Uh, Guy, it's great. Oh, the, gu the guide on Time Warner is like when fucking cable first started. It sucks. Why are you putting Harvey Levin on our list? Oh, because you just, he's been on the show before, but now you say you don't want anything to do with him with his stupid fucking drink. Yeah. <laughs> well, he only did our show once. I think twice. We weren't nice to him either. Called in twice. We were nice. No, we weren't. No? I don't think we were particularly nice to him now. I'm glad we weren't. I think Opie was nice to him. Were we anti-Semitic? Hopefully. Might have been no. Hopefully. <laughs> because I think he's a bit of a bottom feeder and he, he treated he him is. as such. He is. He's not yeah. contributing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, dear Mark. I called him out saying, look, you're different than those other shows. Like, you're you're attacking celebrities. And then he had to try to say he's really not. And Stop. With his oh my, sippy I, cup. And I, I thought... It, I thought the honesty of TMZ was pretty cool when it first started. But then when he said, no, that's not what we're trying to do here. I'm like, all right. Yes, it have is. fun with Stop your stupid it. show. Stop it. Just, just uh, you know, own what you are. It's a tool. <sighs> are we good? Of, We're speak, good. Speaking of own, yeah. stupid fat Oprah is still on the list. Uh oh. I, I don't even know her. I just I just see how the company drops everything for someone like that, and she she could care 
but is it couldn't care less or care less? She, I uh, technically, I she couldn't care less. She couldn't care couldn't. less. She, you, she either one knows acceptable. place exists. I know. I but if you that. couldn't care less, that well, means that there's no way you could possibly care less. Than I you could do. care less. Well, so could I. That's good. <laughs> and we all know what you're trying to say. So stop fucking I know. calling people out when they don't say you couldn't care less, right? I don't call them out. I'll just ask, does that mean that you could or couldn't? Well, <laughs> oh, Jimmy. I love it. Are we done with our burning bridges segment of the program? I know. It's like burning embers. I love no, I, it's, no, it's not. not. I love I was able to drag you guys into this world. Yeah. And admitted a little little something something. Jimmy admitted a little Hate something something. Fuck. I just uh, hope really old wound. old wound. But you wanted to go to break. A half hour ago, and you yeah, wouldn't have true. burnt any bridges. No. Yeah. Bridge intact. Whatever. It's just Thank stupid God. at this point. The whole thing? Yeah, it's just stupid. I thought it was a great What do you hate the most on that list right there? Oh, that's a great question. Okay. Australian fuck. Mark the Australian fuck. Take him out of it, because he's you know, the most... he was a long shot when this segment started, but yeah. I think I might be with you, man. Because that's real shit right <laughs> Right, there. that's the most egregious sort that's of... That's real... Stop stealing my word from before. Yes, you did. It you my stole head. it. Yeah, he's the first time Sam thought egregious. He thought it was Greg spelled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he was off the list, it would have to be. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah, feel yeah, sorry for him. More him. than the one that attacked us the first day. Who attacked us the first day? Twat. Oh, twat. All right. He's just yeah, a, you know what? He's just a grump. Yeah, you know why? Because that twat didn't know us from a hole in the wall and okay. fuck him. Fair Pharrell enough. like like went from being a friend, mm -hmm. you know, okay. to being a an ass fuck. Ants Italian is coming out. Hey, yeah, uh, Ants all about loyalty. <laughs> yeah, that loyalty is important. Hey, Mingy, <laughs> I feel sorry for him. He felt like yeah. he needed to do that. Yeah, pretty sad. Should have like just uh, realized you had some talent there. I'm sorry, I said that. He is talented, you know. But really, yeah, he is. <laughs> I, I never understood one thing he said when he used to call into the show. Hey, what did you think about the games yesterday? What? What? What was the score? Oh God. Just go around in circles with that fucking guy. I don't get it. <laughs> Whoa, he's full of energy. Who cares? Yeah, we used to go to breakfast with him. We have had the same agent. And then all of a sudden, like, out of nowhere, I'm like, what are you doing? What the yeah. fuck are you doing? Fuck him. Fuck him in his ass. All right, we got warrior shit to play after the break. Yeah. Warrior. We got Herman Kane shit. We got the uh, Occupy Toronto guy. Yeah, yeah. I gotta I, I, I'll that. be honest. I have not heard this. He should stick his head in gravy, wash it off with the bubble gum, oh, and send it to the Navy. Are we doing some music this show, too? No, no, not that. Burning embers? We, or, uh, we don't have time for that. SFP. SFP? Sick fucking puppies. Is that what that stands for? What does that oh, stand yeah, for? Sick fucking puppies. Sick <laughs> <laughs> puppies. We also got Bernie Fine's wife. Brutal. Hey, I'm warning you. Brutal. Keep your mouth shut, lady. I'm warning you. You want to sing a song to break? <laughs> no, it's just too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, here's the song. <laughs> McGoobies this weekend. <laughs> In Baltimore. <laughs> Five shows happening. <laughs> and there won't be no more. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. I sing my thing. Great plug. <laughs> I lost my temper when I got my bonus, and I, I guess I said a few things I shouldn't have. Bonus? How did you get a bonus? I cut out bonuses this year. Yeah, and thanks for telling us. I've gotten a Christmas bonus every year but this one. If you don't want to give bonuses, fine. But when people count on them as part of their salary, oh, what you did is just plain sucks. Thank you, Russ. It's on. Yeah. Which, what? Why? Where? Sure. Why? Why? Who? Bull last. We have problems. Shake it up. Sh -sh -sh Shake it up. Shake it up. You're listening to the. You're listening to the. Yo, P. And Anthony channel. On Sirius XM. On the ice roads of Alaska. Oh, hey, man, thank you so much for picking me up. There's <laughs> <laughs> someone is playing a deadly game. I got to tell you, man, most people wouldn't have stopped for a stranger. The good Lord puts different things in one's path every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? There's always things happening around me ever since those young, not good things, you know. 
<laughs> oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared of the dark, too, but I go out there. Prepare for the thrill ride of a lifetime. We die! <laughs> 40,000 Americans a year die on the highways of America. <laughs> the trucker. I'm the funniest guy I know. <laughs> Coming up on the next episode of The Spectacular Suicide, the notorious villain, Anger Man, is hurling helpless children from the windows of the Little Leper's Orphanage to the streets below. Who can stop this deranged, diabolical, demented mastermind? Nobody, nobody can stop me. I'm invincible. Come, come here, little Timmy. Would you like to see? Would you like to see if you can fly? <laughs> Come on, stupid door. I'm kicking you. Now open. Oh, wait. Doorknob. Stop it right there, anger man. Sewer. Suicide. That's right. Hey. Hey, right where you are. Don't come any closer. Or I'll, or I'll throw another hopeless child to the streets below. This ends right now, Anger Man. Leave those children alone, or I'll. Or you'll. Wh- what? What? Uh, what? Uh, what? Okay, okay, bye. That's what I thought. Up, up, and away! Oh, crap, I forgot. I can't fly! Ouch! My leg! By us. By us. 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 Turn statement. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm unstoppable. Stay tuned for another episode of The Spectacular Suicide, where Police Commissioner Vic Dumb calls upon suicide to stop another diabolical villain. Who's that old guy over there? Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, with the creepy old guy stare. <laughs> Uncle Paul, now he's coming over here, slowly limping down the hall. It's too late now, cause here comes Uncle Paul. Make a big boy love you. In today's episode, Uncle Paul remembers babysitting a young Opie. You remember, I used to babysit you. I'd poke my you-know-what through the crib and you'd grab it. He was a little blue-eyed Gregorio. He was the cutest one. Yeah, I had, I told you, they, him and his brother would play the game. The, the peeny flip. I said, go ahead, flip your peeny. Um, 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 um. Sure. And his mother would take pictures. Take pictures when he was in the tub. Yeah, and then the court said she had to leave, so she went with a Jewish fella. I kiss his shoulders real tender. And I say, this is what happens. The man puts it in. I'm going to fertilize you. I'm going to show you how we start life. Push back a little bit. Come on, eat your ice cream and push back. Show Uncle Paul you want a baby. Gonna make you, gonna make you pregnant. Who's that old guy over there? Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, with the creepy old guy stare. <laughs> Uncle Paul, now he's coming over here, slowly limping down the hall. It's too late now, cause here comes Uncle Paul. For years, the Las Vegas Strip has played host to some of the world's best entertainers. From the Rat Pack to Tom Jones and Siegfried and Roy. Now set your sights on a new entertainment destination. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Convention Room A inside the Holiday Inn Express in Henderson, Nevada, the latest and greatest tribute to the king, Elvis Dice Clay. She's here at a... Well, she may be... 
decked out in an authentic polyester sequin jumpsuit, Elvis Dice Clay karate kicks his way through 25 years of solid gold Elvis Presley hits. We'll do all your favorite songs, ladies and gentlemen, all uh, 5,452. I'm a steamroller, baby. Bring it up, bring it up, baby. I'm going to roll all over you. Play the nickel slots and sing along with the best Elvis impersonator this side of the Mississippi. You know, I came along uh, when rock and roll music had no trend. I feel very lucky. Enjoy dining at the free buffet while Elvis Dice Clay sings you a delicious melody. Seniors get in free with AARP membership card. You'll cream your granny panties at every show. Jesus Christ, what a box. You can see the meat pocket right through her fucking panties. We'll, 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 we'll try this one, man. For Dixieland. The latest and greatest tribute to the king, Robert Elvis Paul. Dice Clay. 8, 9, 30, and 11, seven nights a week. Glory, glory. Live from Convention Room A at the Holiday Inn Express in Henderson, Nevada. Serious, serious accents. The Opie and Anthony Show. Sex man. What do we got today, sexy? Good morning. <laughs> oh god. Well, today, yeah. Ten years ago, George Harrison died. Oh, uh, where's Ravi? Uh, that was it. The last bit of pudding dripped out of his ear. <laughs> you think Why? Ravi's still sad? Yes, Ravi thinks of me. Is Ravi Let's... still alive? I think he is. He should be with all yeah. that yogi he does. Ravi. George Harrison, 10 years ago? Wow. What was your favorite George Harrison song? Um, Did Do Run Run Run? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I've got my mind set on you. Oh. I got my mind set on This is actually okay. I got my I mind go, set Guitar Gently on. Weeps. I go Sweet Lord every fucking time. Yeah, uh, Guitar Gently Weeps is a good one. I say My Sweet Guitar Lord. Gently Weeps. Over Sweet yeah. Lord? I mean, My Guitar Gently Weeps? No way. Give me Sweet uh, Lord. I'm trying to think of the other one. Let me and give me some Wild My Guitar. Let's fucking settle this right now. Yeah, with a kiss. Death match. Uh, this is a decent song, but... Look up uh, George Harrison's song. Mm. Robbie, Robbie's still alive, right? Yes. Robbie. I with that dumb... Yeah. Almost guitar. <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know. I know what it is. You don't have to tell oh, me. It's just like <laughs> stupid. It's the shit tar. <laughs> All right. Yes, George. Let's see what his. Uh... Oh my God, this is taking forever. Okay. Yeah. Turn it up, you rock Jesus. I know, you fucking nudge. It's either that or I'm going dead. Those are albums. Yeah, give Those me some are songs. fucking songs, motherfucker. Ten years ago today, we lost this main. You're kidding uh, And I thank Anthony. That documentary was good. I would have never seen yeah. it if it wasn't a good you. one. Uh, With the raw V. What the, what the fuck? Well, I mean, you're going to have to go either Sweet Lord, While My Guitar. Guitar Gently Weeps is much better. Um, Kevin from Connecticut says Cracker Box Palace. This song is only okay. I don't even like this that much. <laughs> Cracker Box Palace. Why don't you go listen to Deep Tracks, Kevin? That's a good one. Uh, oh, yeah, let's this see. Is Hold on. Good, huh? This is so much better. Oh, wow, 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 wow. My yeah, sweet this lord. Good one. Oh, this is a I fun. like this one better. This is one of the better lord, Beatles yeah. songs. One yeah. of the better Beatles songs. I love this. Let the sleeping. <laughs> wow. Guitar's got tears on it. I certainly understand that. Oh, wh what about What Is Life? <laughs> yeah. What Is Life could be yeah. one of yours, Aunt. Yeah? Yeah. Give me a little What Is Life. Remember this? Oh, I like this one. Yeah, yeah. I thought you would. This is a good one. I don't know. 
We're obviously going with songs people know. All right, wait, wait. This this one kicks in, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of uh, like this one. Dun, dun. What I feel. Do, 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 do. I can't say. This is good. Yeah, George had some good ones. Better than Ringo. He wrote a few songs for Ringo. Did he? Yeah, man. He, he, he wrote uh, a couple hits. Kevin would know. Yeah. All right, here it comes. Pretty good, man. Yep. Yeah. I go my sweet lord myself. Nah, oh. it's too like fucking uh, just plodding. Yeah. Drumming my on. sweet. Bow, da, bow, da, da, da. Krishna, Krishna, Hare. Oh yeah, I hate the Harry Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna. What? Uh, see the Hare Krishnas. They got a level of peace that we can never attain. And let shut up. Are we going? God. Are we going songs he wrote for the Beatles or oh, solo right. shit? Anything I think that he did. Oh, then you gotta go. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. That's about dawn. Fuck it. It's all right. La 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 la. What about here comes the dawn honestly, or something? Because that's not funny. The sun's a thing. It should be the moon of Jupiter. <laughs> Uh, might be too never get him. Might be too faggy for you guys, but uh, oh. his greatest song was something. How's that go? Yeah, from Abbey Road. I mean, come on. Meow, 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 oh, meow, something. Meow, meow. Something in the way. Yeah, that, that's got to be the fucking one. Yeah, this thing know. is a massive song. I'd still song give for it Beatles. fucking guitar. Yeah, this is. This I think goes down as one Harrison's of the Beatles' like greatest songs. Great songs. Yeah. yeah. Me like this is a good one. Bow, bow, bow. I will still strongly disagree. Really? I like this song, but I think my guitar gently weeps makes this song sound like a, a rape victim getting a hammer buried into her face while people are farting. <laughs> a lot of people would put this on their top five Beatles songs of all time, though, Jimmy. Those people, I don't know how to say this gently. Can kiss my grits. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would say a lot of people would uh, would say this is the the biggest one. Yeah, probably. You have to. Here comes the sun. You got to go Beatles maybe before his solo stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, get that tax man shit away from me. I didn't like tax man. Cause I'm the tax man. I liked yeah. I liked what he was trying to say there, but yeah. But as far as music goes and no. songs go, it's better songs. Oh, what happened to Jimmy? Uh, he just ran out of here. He didn't like the song. Did he just quit? He, yeah. he, he quit. Fuck, really? On the spot. After all these years? It's like, I'm fucking out of here. I'm walking, <laughs> bitches. He's on bad terms with you guys. But, <laughs> yeah. Add him to the list. That elevator ride with Jimmy now is going to be a... <laughs> it's going to be awkward. Yes. <laughs> uh, the Why elevator. I do this? Now it's going to be uncomfortable for oh, a while. Oh, Sam, don't put Jimmy on the list. <laughs> well, he... He quit without telling us why. I know, that is true. Lack of loyalty there. <laughs> well, fuck Jimmy Norton. <laughs> fuck him uh, when the poo comes out. Fuck him. Fuck him. And I want to hear... Well, I, I was going to give you your decisions. Oh, okay. You know what it's going to be, though. You sure? Yeah, I can't wait for things. Well, you got Herman Cain. Yeah. Being yeah. in the news, 13-year yeah, affair. Yeah. This fucking guy is, was fooling around on his wife. Palega. Is anyone saying it yet? I was giving him the benefit of the doubt with that. That. Well, no, I never gave him the benefit. No, of the you doubt. were That's saying right. he was cheating. Uh, yeah, he was trying to make a move on that one girl. I don't moves. think he was trying to uh, sexually assault her. He was just trying to make yeah, a move with the moves. hand that was moving up toward her genitals, and then he got the vibe that she wasn't into it, and he stopped. That's what guys do. He was making a move. To make the move. And by the way, when you watch your uh, big Hollywood movies, yeah. and you get the big star that all the girls uh, drool over, mm -hmm. and he was in a car, 
and he made that move on the girl lead in the movie, right. all the girls would be like, oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, look, he's... Ch-. And the girl would be, no, no, no. And he'd go, okay, and drive her home like, like uh, Herman Cain did. They'd right. be all, oh, that's so great. Right. Oh, I would, I would yeah. go make the... But when it's Herman Cain, it's, you know, sexual fucking uh, assault. Because he's black. Well, that and he's a man of power. Black uh, guys intrigue. aren't allowed to have a little innocence in oh, their moves. Everything they always consider it rape. Considered aggressive. I know. Leave the black man alone. Do you remember the scene Suffered from Animal enough. House? What? Where the chick puts on the, the, the glove and, and gives him a handy. And yes. <laughs> Well, if you're not going to... I know this yeah. means no, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Well, I guess it does in a way. Look, a shooting star. Yeah, Herman Cain in the car. Maybe that's why it popped in my head. But then I, I went back to that whole hand job thing you were talking about yesterday. Yes. And I put the two together. That scene was so fucked up, man. <laughs> Didn't she pull off the glove or something? Yeah, she got she got pissed because he, uh, he couldn't stop talking about the, right. uh, the Deltas. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, well, if you're not going to, you know... Come, come, come! Pretty yeah. much, yeah. I forgot what she actually said. I if you're know. not going to concentrate, if you're not going to something, yeah. And then she pulls the glove off. That fucking yeah. movie rules. All right, so you got uh, Herman Cain. We're kind of talking about it now. So should we play the audio? Oh, I guess so. You know, I'm I want to hear the Occupy. Oh, you do, guy. But no, let's go Herman Cain first. I thought you wanted to hear Warrior. No, Warrior. Uh, I like Warrior too. But but uh, any any uh, oh, any fuck. chance to get Occupy guy crying. All right, let's focus. If we could do the oh, Herman Cain gosh. audio, then we could go into Occupy Toronto Cry Baby. It, <laughs> but we can't do tangents, and we can't start talking about who we hate and stuff. Yeah. Let's try this. Okay. This is Herman Cain on a Wolf Blitzer show. I guess Wolf had a situation on his hands. <laughs> situation room. <laughs> a third woman is about to come out and make some serious accusations against him. Uh, we- uh, by the way, I didn't hear this audio. By the way, yeah. Uh, 13 years, lots of text messages, lots of phone calls. She's, uh-huh. she's showing her uh, her um, cell phone bill. Oh, really? And basically saying, see this number, that's him. Oh, and, that's him? And this calls from middle of the night. White woman? And, um, is she a white woman? What is that? She's either she's very nondescript. She's either light skinned black or Jewish. That is weird. You can't really tell with her, but I would say white woman woman. Yeah. Ethnically ambiguous. Yeah, like you. That's right. She has a weird uh I guess hairdo. This, She's got that dikey hairdo. I guess this website wants everyone to know that Fox Five <laughs> News has the picture. Yeah, they put Fox Five watermark over the entire One, picture. One, two, three, four, eight, twelve twelve watermarks over this picture. How'd you do that so fast? <laughs> what well, count? One, two, three, four, one, two, three times. You just go, go across and then you down. Do, you do rows. Of course. You Everyone don't. knows you do rows. Yeah. We all know the first two women yes. accusing you of sexual harassment. Right. What can you tell us about this third woman? It's true. Oh, it's all true. He sinks himself. Does Listen he? what he says here. Oh, He's boy. not very good on his feet there when Dude. it comes to uh, these things. Who is about to go public and accuse you of what? This particular individual, which will be named in the story as we understand it. My attorney has talked with the reporter who's going to come out with this story. Oh. This individual is going to accuse me of an affair for an extended period of time. Extended. I don't want to specify because I don't know what's in the story. Oh. Secondly, it is someone that I know who oh, is shit. an acquaintance that I thought was a friend. That much I do know. But other than that, Wolf, Wolf. when we Wolf. dealt with the previous Wolf. allegations, and there's too I many went previous forward, allegations. Went, like guy, he's talking. There's too many previous allegations. That's all this guy's about right now. I tweeted last night. I'm starting to think Herman King wants to be president for the chicks. For the yeah. pussy. For the pussy. I well, love the pussy. Ah, pussy. Mm, pussy. He came out with a book in 2001 and he signed it for her. Yeah. And he wrote, Friends are forever. Everything else is a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the everything else means his cock. His dick in That's her. It, his dick. Her, yeah. You know, Herman Cain was fun. It was fun to watch, but it's time for him to get the fuck Step out. Step down, you fucking whore. whore. <laughs> right. You whore. He loves using that dick. Yeah, he loves using his dick. He uh-huh. loves occupying pussy. That's yes. Right. Forward, went in front of the public and said, they're false and they're baseless. We, th- we were reacting to what we knew at this point. I'm just simply saying these are going to come out, and until we know uh, what they are, then my attorney doesn't know what to respond to. Those are the, about, all of the details that I have. Uh, now, 
Give wait, him wait, that. Wait, wait. How about she's accusing you yeah. of having an affair? Right. You know that. Right. So instead of backpedaling, right. yes or no, did you or didn't you? Right. Uh, or I don't want to answer that. Right. Don't say you need more information right. before you You're can the guy. respond. You're the guy You're in the, the story. Guy. You're the guy you in the know. story. You know already. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What a clown. Yeah, oh, this he guy sunk is himself. Great. Holy Because he knows uh, my humble opinion. He knows it's true, and he's mm. trying to see if he can skate. Yes, he does. He's trying to skate. All of the details that I have. Now, given that, I know that the court of public opinion mm -hmm. is going to formulate its own opinion. Formulate. <laughs> I can't control people who are going to make a decision based upon accusations. When specifics are made. Mm -hmm. through my attorney because attorney. we are trying to run a campaign. I'm a lawyer. We are trying to connect with the people on the issues. Mm -hmm. Through my attorney, we will respond to every detail Preach. and every allegation. Preach. But I just wanted to give you a heads mm -hmm. up and your audience a heads All up. These allegations. Here we go again. Yeah, here we here go, we go again. again. Yeah, here we go again. Here we go again. And we're probably going to go a lot more time because I <laughs> fucked a lot of women. <laughs> Lots of women's. She. She. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, another bitch. <laughs> yeah. Looky, looky here. These bitches be coming out the woodwork. Boy, he's sunk. All people are talking about is him and pussy. Yeah. And that dick. And that dick of his. <laughs> yeah. That dick is fucking active. What's mm. her name? Ginger White, I think. That's right. Ginger White. She uh, showed a cell phone bill that had a lot of fucking calls from oh, his, yeah. his number. She's beating that dick. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> A lot, cell phone uh, calls and text no, messages. Texts now, now, now. Texts uh, from when? Like when are these allegations supposed to be from? Because all the way up, uh, most recently September this year. Oh my God! No way. <laughs> yeah, that's like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> he was campaigning and texting. Yeah, I loves your pussy. Mm -hmm. Beating that dick Send. like a rug. Send. Hmm. I got my good boy phone and my naughty boy phone. <laughs> Send. Send. <laughs> Send, motherfucker. Ginger White was worried a political tsunami was headed. Ginger White. Ginger a White. A political tsunami. Yeah, I should explain. Woman reports to Fox 5 she had an inappropriate relationship. Oh, okay. So that's Herman Cain going, oh, fuck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my side of this before it hits the, hits the media. Feet don't fail me now. Right. <laughs> and now here's the official uh, coming out story of mm. Ginger White. Ginger White was worried a political tsunami was headed her way, so she decided to head it off uh, by confessing bullshit. she was involved in a nearly 14-year-long affair Whoa. with presidential hopeful Herman Cain. It was pretty simple. It wasn't complicated, and um, I was aware that he was married, and I was also aware that I was involved in a very inappropriate um, Situation, Booty relationship. Call. When we asked Booty for corroborating call. evidence, she pointed us to her cell phone. One name, Herman Cain. She showed us some of her cell phone bills oh. that included 61 phone calls oh. or text messages to or from this number starting with 678. We texted the number and Herman Cain called us back. He told us he knew Ginger White but said these are more false allegations. He said she had his number because he was trying to help her financially. What an idiot! <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Who this be? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Did wait? Did they call from her phone? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, what an idiot! Hello? Hey, sweet tits, how are you? Uh, this is the media. Well, this, ain't, this ain't Herman Cain. This ain't Herman Cain, motherfucker. <laughs> Shucky ducky crack quack. <laughs> oh, it's a classic. My phone be ringing. I wonder who this is. Oh, I know this number. When are I gonna get to dick that pussy? <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Fox News. Oh shit. <laughs> no, this this is not presidential hopeful Herman Cain. You have got the wrong number, <laughs> motherfucker. Dick that pussy. <laughs> I wanna dick that pussy and fuck them big titties. <laughs> oh, he is so fucked. They fucking used that old gag and he fell for it. His grammar should be better at this point. Oh, it's not. It's terrible. Oh, His grammar stinks. Should he, just, he should just get out of the race today, right? Oh, it's terrible. Wow, that's fucking funny. Herman uh, King, oh. Jimmy, Jimmy's back. He oh. is uh, in a lot of trouble. It, it, is done. I, I, it doesn't look 
Good for him, although in my eyes, he's more qualified than he's ever been. The more, the more white women he slaps with his cock, the more I want him oh, to lead this nation. He loves the white bitches. I, I don't blame pussy. him. But the media, this woman, Ginger White, has uh, you know this cell phone bill with a lot of numbers, a lot of calls to this number. And she goes, hey, this is Herman Cain's number to the right. media. And, and they go, really? Okay, let's, let's call it. And they call it, and guess who picks up? Where the pussy at? Where the pussy at, bitch? Come over. You want a booty call? Yep. Hi, CNN. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ain't Herman Cain. Damn, Bert. I'm sorry. Herman Cain is not answering the pussy phone. Please leave a message after the beepy tone. <laughs> He called it the pussy phone anyway. The pussy phone? Oh, yeah, why would he do that? What did he say when he answered? My dick is hard and pre come and dripping out. Please get back to me pronto. All he said was uh, the media got hold of her phone and said, and she's saying, this is his number right here. And you can see how many times he called and texted me. So they fucking called the number and he fucking picks up. You have reached Herman Cain's naughty boy phone. Please leave a message, not on my good boy phone. But wait, was that his regular, was that a number that was assigned to him by name? Or was that one that he had kind of kept private? It's just his, oh, it's his number. personal number. He yeah. had, then even if he didn't answer it, they could still find that out. I was trying to help her with some financial matters. That's all it was. Yeah. And by that, I mean dick her in her asshole. <laughs> yeah. For money. Nothing to do with fuck. Yes, and then toss her $5. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this yes. am going to make elevator rides very awkward with this bitch. <laughs> Why is she fucking? <laughs> why is Fat Jamie Lee Curtis coming I out? Know. Why is she ratting on him? Because uh, she she uh, felt like it was coming her way. She said she saw a uh, tsunami, tsunami. Uh, coming towards her. Political. Yeah. It was his cum. political tsunami. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Damn tsunami of cum out my ball sack. <laughs> I love the white women. Vote for Herman Cain, lover of white women. Yeah. It's all pink on the inside. Can you imagine if he just embraced it and ran with it? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't vote for me, I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> he could. Yeah. This guy loves the pussy. Loves it. Loves it. Herman Cain. He picked up the phone and it was the press. Hello. Hello. And what did he say when, when they... Sugar ducky quack quack bitches. Sugar ducky quack quack. Hamburger. This is Herman Cain. <laughs> Am you calling about my dick? <laughs> I hope so. The press... Oh, <laughs> feeds don't famine. Did he talk to them or no? Uh, yeah. What did he say? Well, yeah. he, they texted him. Uh, they texted him, and for... then he called up and said, "You know, yeah, <laughs> Who am this? Ooh, look, it's a text." Oh, I wonder what the media texted. Like. Oh man! And then they were like, "This is Fox Me Five News." Uh, where's you Fox think that Five was a News? winky face at the end of the text? Like, <laughs> hey, motherfucker! Which Fox Five News is this? New York Fox Five. Oh, New York, huh? All right. Are good for them, I believe. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. But <laughs> that's great. Why don't we do Occupy Toronto? As long oh. as we don't make fun of the lad, because I really feel bad. Oh, this poor, poor. What is this about it? Kid. Well, this is Occupy Toronto, and um, this is one of the uh, occupiers. And I guess the police are telling these people to move. They're all. I knew they would all take the lead from New York. Once New York told these fucking idiots to get out of the park, yeah. uh, all these other places are saying, all right, we've had it with you jackasses. Uh, and they're moving people out. So this Toronto guy is all upset that he spent so much time building up their library. I guess, again, taking the lead from New York. Hope you saw that fantastic library down there. The People's Library. I love the, the People's, people's library. library. If you smell <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and And he's, he's a little upset over the fact that his library... Is um you know that he took uh, days to build was being uh, torn Aww, asunder. But there was just fella. shitty books. And he is a whiny fucking baby. I don't know. Let's see what he has to say. Oh Sam, it's not my fault. Wrong link, network. bitch. It's not my fault. <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. I've spent the last three weeks building this library into a place where people can come together, where they can share ideas, Why where they Steve can meet each other, I know. and where the they can just be in peace together. Uh -oh. And now it's all being torn apart for no good reason. We're not hurting anybody here. We're not hurting anyone. We just want to. Through your tears. <laughs> you asshole. Good.
I absolutely have bed bugs and fleas. Uh, I was up by the photogs. <laughs> <laughs> what does he think? He came from Dayton with two bad knees? <laughs> what you... From 18 years ago, I left Dayton, Ohio <laughs> with two very bad knees. Oh, no. What did you come here for? What happened? I don't know. We're going to find out. I don't even know why. dream to become a major league baseball oh, player. Oh, that's not going to happen. I guess not. He probably dropped out and gave up. Yeah, end of story. blames God. Yep. I hear I you. I think God is dream came true. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 Who knew? That's terrific. Through your tears. That's terrific. <laughs> Through your tears. Through your tears. <laughs> ah, the limey's laughing at that uh, fruit. <laughs> she had enough of his oh, fucking teary eyed shithead. Wallowing in emotionalism. <laughs> Fat boy. <laughs> Fat boy at one foot out the door. <laughs> Through your tears. Yeah. Through your tears. You don't want a woman to go through your no. tears. Yeah. Through your tears. Over the Stop hoe. Over the it. dumb hoe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, Why is everyone crying? I can He's understand. crying. They're all the guy, fucking torn I bet you the guy used to fuck his hiney behind the people's <laughs> library. Where are we, what are we going to hide behind? When you fuck my hiney, we would hide behind those gi the giant Rumpelstiltskin book. <laughs> you poke my shitter. Rumpelstiltskin. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, could you? It's not a long clip. Go back back to the beginning and and just listen sure. to this crybaby. Sure. I've spent the last three weeks yes. building this library into a place where people can come together, where they can share ideas, where they can meet each other, and where they can just be in peace together. And now it's all being torn apart for no good reason. We're not hurting anybody here. We're not hurting anyone. We just want to be here and meet each other and learn together. We just want to try and build a new world. Okay, fuck it. What's that? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, oh my god. god. I can't defend this oh, one. Oh god. Boy. I can't defend this. That's not good. Build a new world. I hate the I hate the guy next to him more because he's <laughs> listening to this dreck. And all of a sudden he's overcome with tears he because this guy's this guy's just speaking from his heart too. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Oh I don't know if these guys fuck tears. each other's ass, but if they don't, they should. <laughs> they absolutely should. People oh. come together and learn. And learn and love and, and be together. And Listen, and move fucking along. Charlie Cheswick gave a fucking <laughs> speech that was better held together. <laughs> you don't want to learn. He's got intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Wow. Move along, hippie. That's a little rough. Yeah, take your books and scram. <laughs> Don't most of them have Kindles anyway? Yes, I'm your sure they do. Your dumb people's library. You fucking download shit now, douchebag. Well, that's why all those books are available. No yeah. one's reading books. Yeah, books. Exactly. Especially the shitty ones, so you can get those and build a library you don't need easily. A, you don't need a big fucking... An outdoor library where the books get wet. If you have to cover your books with a tarp, your library sucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at the books at the one in um, New York here at Zuccotti Park. Wow, it's just a lot of yeah. junk books. Of course it was. Were they using the Dewey Decimal System? They had a card catalog. Oh, no, they, they didn't. And they had a guy that decided he would be the librarian of the people's li oh, library. Oh, stop you it. You missed some good times down there. Oh, good times. Good times. Yeah. Good times. What do you do? I'm the librarian for the people's library. The people's library. Oh, That's Sandusky great. just hired his own private investigator. Yes, he's probably going to really? demand photos and asshole really? depths. <laughs> Sandusky is in Dutch. Yeah, he oh, is. Oh, he's in deep trouble. Yeah, but Bernie Fine's giving him a run for his money. Hey. Fuck it. Well, his dumb... Do you, do you with the audio of his wife? Oh, yeah. Yeah, where's do. the wife? Oh, do I have a fucking log brewing, too? I have a, I have a shit that's sideways, <laughs> and it's been logged there since yesterday. Literally, it's... A log jam? You have a log a, jam? I have a fucking T-square in my colon. <laughs> People want to know why Fez's library was taken away. Oh, no. Oh, oh, why again? Oh, no. Why? Just come, on. Why? Why? come on. Just no, come on. What happened? No, I just, you why didn't. Why would you? Just... No, you didn't. What? It doesn't make sense. No, no. What? You no. couldn't have done it again. What are you talking about? Why would you do that again? Why? Fez doesn't have a library. I am the voice of the people sometimes. They want to know why Fez's library was taken away. Oh, I, no. I, I don't can't kill un... the messenger. Can't understand why you don't would Don't kill the messenger. Oh, <laughs> can't understand why that would be brought to the air. Just doesn't make sense to me. But let me listen a little bit. Okay, all right. Well, Let's listen. listen and see if there is <laughs> any. Because I didn't even think of Sam, that. Sam, don't kill the messenger. It's not your fault. Make sure Ronnie knows that. All right. I'm just a messenger me. on this one. The, the people want to know. The first one today, you were more than just a messenger. But this time, no, okay. Oh, I was just trying to get some knowledge. Oh, just asking questions. Yes. Okay, here's the clip again. 
I've spent the last three weeks building this library into a place where people can come together, where they can just share ideas, where they can meet each other, and where they can just be in peace together. <laughs> and now it's all being torn apart for no good reason. We're not hurting anybody here. We're not hurting anyone. We just want to be here and meet each other and learn together. We just want to try and build a new world. You all right, buddy? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. wow. I know what that was. No. I'm sure oh, I know this, what that was. This is going to be a, a, a must-listen afternoon. <laughs> I, I know what that was. Oh, no. That's My it. favorite part, you can't see this on the audio, wow. yeah. is when the guy with the fucking awful Russian hat puts his head <laughs> yeah. into the chest briefly. The other guy, yeah. like just two yeah. people, they look like partners commiserating. They they do, said yeah. it. He looks like Steve-O. You said it first, right? Yeah, yeah. he looks yeah, a little like Steve-O wearing a rat on his head. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That looks like that fucking fur hat that Costanza mm -hmm. got. <laughs> it's horrible. He's wearing a giant fur hat, dumb mm -hmm. Canadian. And walk around the streets, man. Those, fuck, <laughs> those hats are making a comeback. I would sit here with my toque, watch hockey, and put together the people's library. Is anybody not laughing at these guys? Like, does anybody listen to this and go, they have a good point? And get all fucking busted up about it? Yeah. I'll make my dumb point again. Whoever's in charge, they got to get rid of these fucking idiots. These if, fucking... If, if it's a real movement that you're trying to get accomplished, these this doesn't help. I have more support for Jimmy's movement. He's going to make it in fucking ten minutes. <laughs> it's going to be a fucking... It's going to be a Lulu. A Lulu? Yeah. Is it going to have to be pried out? I don't even know if I'll be able to shit here. Like, literally. Wow. Oh, my God. I shit here all no, the time. No, no, no. I mean, time. today. I, I'm me too. right now. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if I if it's ready to come out. And uh, I, I kind of feel it brewing, and I tried to push one out, and it's just yeah, it's not, not happening. Going. No, not at all. No. It's, no, it's, it's, it's like you ever push... And it feels like there's a fucking a, a shit boomerang <laughs> facing like the curve side down, and it's like there's no way. Oh god, that's this a, is happening. Yeah, it's a tough one. I know that's why. Tough. I know why Fez is crying in that clip. Oh, it's, come on, now it's just blatant. No, I, I just know. I uh, mean, you know, he, he said because you know his dad left the books laying around the streets. Oh, oh no! Oh, no, you didn't. No. I'm not even. I'm not even touching this. He 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 had him laying in the streets, so Fez knew. I'm not even touching this. Oh, what? My God. That was that's bad. I'm not even. So no, Fez could no. find the books. We all know that. Oh, and then Fez no. found the books that his father oh, left laying around. Oh no! And he oh, built a library. And oh, now they took the library away. I don't listen to Ron and Fez because I'm usually in, like I take my nap at that hour. But is is this going to be a problem? <laughs> no. Oh, yes, it will, Jim. Oh, Why would it be a problem? Well, it's will. A, Second time that uh, you brought him up, you brought him up about an hour ago, this uh, is, and this time this you... is much too much bringing up. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, and this what, time the book was... thing's not a good analogy. Well, I mean, I'm not... Fez admitted that he finds what change is it that yep. his father leaves for him. Put it this way: yeah. I've <laughs> seen compliments be misconstrued into a what? problem. What happened? I've seen what happened? Yeah, I I've seen nothing but goodness. Twisted and turned yeah. into badness. You're throwing out badness. I'm I'm throwing it's like things out there. This is worse than when the Stangle brothers attacked him. Oh no! Wow. Did they attack him? Yeah, they're evil. They are. They're well, what evil. happened? Fucking evil. They really are. Well, that that Justin I was Stangle. On, I was on Fez that day. Because there's two of them. Yep. He called they up like Irish brothers. Yep. He called up Ron and Fez when Opie was on, and I'm sure his brother was whispering into his ear, and they mm -hmm. they upset Fez. What'd they say? Well, uh, they thought we were in cahoots together to get Fez to cry. Because <laughs> Opie went out of his way to ask Fez what character he would play in Batman. Which I thought was a great question. What's wrong with that question? Why are you instigating? He thought like, I brought Batman it up to make question. him cry. I, I'm, but to why this would day, you, I'm very confused by that. Honestly, why would he cry? That's a, I, I, if I had to play, a, uh, I would probably play the Joker better than Heath Ledger. <laughs> said the name wrong. Oh. Sorry. Why are you talking about this? I don't get it's it. It's gonna be a nightmare. I like, at noon. like, I like Fez. Like, I see him every day. He always seems happy Fez. when I see him. I love night, Fez. Not a nightmare if you just turn off the radio and go about your day. I don't know oh, what happens. No, this is must listen. Must listen. Uh, and it comes on at eleven now. What? Eleven is when Ryan Fest starts. I thought it was noon. No, it's, it's noon. Noon to three. No, it's noon eleven to three. three. What? It's right noon after the three. after show. I don't listen. I they have to do an extra hour. When did that happen? 
probably two, two, at least two years ago. I listen three all the time. I don't know why I said noon. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I can guess. Because you're stupid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See? Maybe because Ronnie lets that song play for an hour. Well, What's the song? Jesus Christ. Get to the fucking show. What's Dude, the song? Either that or Dead Air. First it... Oh, oh no! No! God. It's uh, 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 North American Scum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, hey, there, buddies. Uh, 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 uh. Let the record show, by the way, that Jimmy gave Ann a nice trashing there, and he's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's a good song. Ron Fez. We should start opening the Opie and Anthony show with this song. <laughs> 866 Ron Zero Fez. You all right, the, buddy? Is that the number? <laughs> you all right, buddy? I don't know. And this will just go on and on. After after a blues song, well, that you know is usually the extended version. <laughs> Look, I'm not faulting him. We do the same goddamn thing. Well, we play ecstasy of gold every fucking morning for well, no Ronnie's apparent reading, reason. Ronnie's uh, reading the room, seeing what he's got for the day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's he's a brilliant man. He's reading the room, <laughs> seeing uh, oh, no. seeing what he's got in front of him. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, it's gonna be a rough one. Are you having a standalone fruit with your yogurt? <laughs> what happened? Blueberry. Oh. Yeah. Okay, look. Now, see, I'm getting roped into this. You yeah. just entered enemy territory. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm totally kidding. Why bring, up, why bring up the blueberry thing? That was uncomfortable. <laughs> you think so? I do. Let's, cool. not, let's not talk and have people think it's li later than it is. Ah. <laughs> uh, See, let's just make him think it's the Ron and Fez show. <laughs> I don't mean care. not talk like that. I mean, like, oh, what you said it. No. No. I said Jesus I, Christ. I, said, I meant if we don't talk, they will think. What? They, they won't hear our voices, and they'll no. think yeah, Ron and Fez mean. are going to start talking. Everybody knows what you mean. I didn't mean it, it that way. Ann tries to be the nice guy, I swear, but he's a real son of a bitch. I swear I didn't fucking mean it that way. Why would you? Like, oh, am I the only one that doesn't fuck with Fez? I don't. I don't fuck with Fez. Well, you did many times today, multiple times. I did? Yep. It's a six run. I didn't do Zero shit! Fez. Yes, it's a six run. Zero Fez. Oh, You're on a health food kick. I guess so, yeah. Now, the blueberry is okay. one that can't work on its own. <laughs> it has to have something with it, like the kiwi. It's uh, not a... A stand <laughs> Standalone fruit. Door um, Door close. The voice uh, is going to get the uh, spot after uh, the Super Bowl. That's, of course, if we have a Super Bowl this coming season. <laughs> Holy shit, Ron. That door. Oh. Ron leaving the door studio. Closed. Look. Are you sure that's what it was? Was that Ronnie leaving? I don't know. I, yes. I, I would ask him. It is so fucking uncomfortable. Hey. It's fantastic radio, though, right? Fez, yeah. Fez is going to have the guns a blazing today, so let the record state I had nothing to do with that clip that E Rock decided to play. E Rock plays the clips. E Rock plays the Mike Schmidt clip. Eric, admit it. I didn't ask for that. No, you didn't ask for that. Because in the end, I'll get uh, blamed for way more than I should be getting blamed you've for. You've already gone over the ba limit for ba anything. Ba ba well, you brought it up, so I just thought I'd you know, play it. Yeah. Since uh, it I didn't topical. bring up blueberries. The ant did. So now it's Opie, oh. Anthony, and the sex man, the evil sex triangle. Sex sex sexy. Man. Sexy. 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 We go call sex him around sexy. the office sometimes. They forgot the why. Troy calls him sex. <laughs> Troy calls him sexy? <laughs> Troy calls him sex. <laughs> oh, oh, my Jimmy. God. Jimmy just made a horrific joke. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh. Opie, Anthony, and sex. How come it's not... What do you mean, <laughs> Russell right, Simmons is... Backs OWS protest. Of course he does. Yeah. He's joining the cause. Well, then give up your money, man. Yeah. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> give me $168. How oh, much I offer the lights? What lights? My light bills. I think if you're a celebrity and you're for, for this, you got to give up some of your cash. Yeah. I forgot an I before the O. <laughs> I, I got it. Wait. <laughs> but that's... Wait, think people are going to be able to figure that one out. No, no, <laughs> not really. See Wait, again, I'm... again they did. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <Christ. laughs>
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God, am I slow? <laughs> Very no, good. Uh, no, I got it. Terrible, I got it. terrible thing. <laughs> I fucking got it. Very good. Oh, uh, no, don't hand him the luggage. <laughs> Never mind. I, I'm, I'm skirting too close yeah, to the line. Exactly. <sighs> Why don't we uh, take a break so we can really? play the Bernie Fine audio? Dude, I've hey, not heard this. We've hey, only, we've only taken one break today. The Tell fuck? that whore to shut up. <laughs> and then we got the Warrior Show. You oh, damn right we do. <laughs> Warrior Show. <laughs> Episode one teaser. Fuck. Yeah. He's the next. TV is the teaser superstar. good? Uh, he is the next TV is the, star. Is the episode, is the teaser good? Uh, is he really the next TV star? Yes. Or is yes. fucking around? Yes. No. Like it, like people will embrace this for real? Oh. I, I'll bet after this teaser comes out, VH1 picks up the show and he's not stuck on YouTube anymore. That's how much confidence I have in the teaser. Yeah. Well, yeah. the teaser has 80,000 views, basically. He needs Look a place, at, though, where he can uh, oh, have fuck. that language. In only That's a couple true. days. Like, have you, you met him, bleep him? No, I would love to. Oh, yes, I have met him. I didn't meet him in gimmick. Would I, you like I, to have him in here to talk? Why can't we get him on the show? Yeah. He seems like he would be great on the show. I'd be show. so exciting if he was in here. Maybe he will come in if he's to promote a show. Either him or Virgil. <laughs> Virgil. Virgil. Are you happy that Virgil signed your thing, E-Rock? I thought that was great. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, he signed E-Rock's million dollar belt. That would literally be like if I got Sabbath to sign something, and when I wasn't looking, the guy who was playing session keyboards came over <laughs> yeah, and, and signed, signed it. it. Like, ah, yes! What the fuck? Oh, stupid Virgil ruined your million dollar belt. There's a t-shirt I really want to get with a picture of Virgil in white, and under it, uh, on on red with white letters, it just says FML, which stands for <laughs> Fuck My Life. Fuck My Life. <laughs> Jesus. Stupid Virgil. Uh, that's I'm sorry. Great. Yeah. Virgil's an ass sitting at his empty table. <laughs> Nobody wants to Nobody. 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 FML. Oh, God. No, it's not FMLs. Oh, God, they're going to tort us. What's their name? Fuck my life. Oh, okay. You it's rock. real bad. Could you get a message to Ronnie <laughs> for me? Sure. Oh, I just got to get a message to you. Tell him I'm uh, leaving him low spark of high-heeled boys just in case he needs it today. What is that? A very long song. Oh, no. Oh, oh, come on. Why would you leave him a long song? He's like, Live in memory talk. of Elizabeth Reed? Yeah, or that one would, would work. Just in case he needs extra time to read the room today. Oh, boy. What do you mean? Well, what do you want to how, read how long is Low Spark of High Heeled Boys? Uh, <laughs> this, this one by Steve Winwood is 18 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a, that's not, a good song. It's never good when you have to explain your dumb joke that you set up yourself. Do you like Steve Winwood? Uh, no. I think he's terrible. He had oh, a, my God. He had Let's a hell of a career, and I saw him a couple times in Rochester, and... Uh, Higher love. I mean, I had a, I a few that song. poppy songs. Yeah, it's been around forever in a bunch of bands. What kind of prize is that? Yeah. <laughs> Winwood. <laughs> oh God! Listen to the beginning of this. It, yeah. The beginning. The intro goes on forever. I used to love this song. Dun, dun. Takes forever. It's fucking hideous. Forever. It sounds like it sounds like bad company. We're at seventeen minutes. Uh, it's a traffic song. This is actually a good song. I love this song. I, I, I don't mind this. For a song. moment, I like traffic. Yeah. For a moment, I had a few hits. <laughs> <laughs> that's Photoshop. No. <laughs> Come on, that's Photoshop. It has to be. We're looking at a picture of, a lot. of Virgil in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> behind he's, his dumb table. He's squinting like he's in the sun. It's hilarious. It might be. Yeah, there's cars parked. There might be a wrestling event, and he's outside with nobody coming to his table. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we got to get the Warrior on our show. I would love to have the Warrior on our show. <laughs> you turn it down at the chorus. Sorry, I didn't know you still wanted it. No, he did We have 16 and a half minutes still. <laughs> is that a Photoshop, you think? That's not a Photoshop. In the parking lot. I don't think so, no. I don't think it is. Really? Did somebody just Let take a bunch it. of pictures? Yeah, let's see the, the the parking lot one. Come on. And you're good at this. I know. I it, I don't think it is. Because look at the shadowing. Yeah, but you could put that in. I'll look at the this. squinting, though. His He's squinting. face is squinting into the sun. They may have just... But what they may have done is copied that from a place where he was outdoors and just put it there. Like, there may have been people around or whatever. Why I doubt would you there set would up people. a booth on the, in the middle of a, a road? <laughs> It's a parking lot. Maybe he's right outside. Maybe they were doing an outdoor fan fest before an indie show in a gym. I don't. I believe no. it. 
Because where's Ted? He always has that banner up, whether Ted DiBiase shows up or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just got to have the name. It doesn't matter if the Million Dollar Man is there. He puts it on the banner. He's got the one banner. Is he a superstar? No! (laughs) Does Ted DiBiase hate that he's associated with Virgil still? Ted Ted DiBiase is there for some of the shows. Yeah. And he can bring in some people. Yeah. Virgil? No one. Oh, the shadows are very... Um, they're really good. Good, because they're, they're all going in the right direction. I think it was an outside shot that they just put there. I don't mm. think so. We're, we're wasting time because... And look at the shadowing on the floor. And the shadow on the pedestrian is it's the, the same, same direction. Sh- same, Matches. same angle. It's real. So it's either a really good Photoshop or, or he's that pathetic. Wow, he is a... Well, yeah, why am I arguing the fact that he would be in a parking lot? Of course he's he would He's fucking be. sad. Because it's more horrific than we could have imagined. <laughs> it is true. You think yeah. something's bad. We wow. got to take a break because oh, shit. we got Gary Oldman coming in, and we <laughs> definitely want to do the Bernie Fine wife audio. Yeah. And we want to do the uh, preview from the Warriors' new show. We yes. have to do these yeah. two things today. They're, they're, po- uh, they're both terrific. Right. They're not cool. And then Gary Oldman, he's got a new movie. Oh, out. It's a real star. You got another song to break? Uh, wait. Uh, it, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's not finished though. It's just starting like. I know you say that we're some sick motherfuckers. Because we're as cold as the ice road truckers. And when we come to your town, the shit goes down with the sick, the sick, the sick fucking puppies. The sick, the sick, the sick fucking puppies barking up your tree. The OB Anthony Channel. Serious SM. Attention anglers, still convinced that fishing is a sport? Well, renowned sportsman James Norton presents the ultimate cure for your delusion. How smart do you have to be to beat this animal psychologically? What a dumb animal the fish is. Introducing fishing is not a sport, you douche. Not a sport. It's not a sport. Go in the water with your fist and punch the fish. That's a sport. You're standing in a fucking boat. It's not a sport. You have a hook and the fish has nothing but hunger. This collection is presented on nine full-length, high-fidelity audio cassettes and will thoroughly convince you that your leisure activity is a colossal waste of time. You and some other jizz bucket in fucking waders and a big gut standing there in 10 degree water drinking Pabst Blue Ribbon trying to hook some asshole fish. You're not a sportsman. You're not out there sporting. Despite what you may think, fishing is not a battle of wits. It's not stacked equally between a dumb fucking fish who has been doing the same thing since dinosaurs were shitting all over Manhattan. You understand? That fish was no small when a Tyrannosaurus was shitting on 70th Street and Broadway. Put down that stupid fishing pole and pick up your copies of Fishing is Not a Sport, You Douche, narrated by James Norton. I'm just letting you know, you're not a sportsman. Fuck, I know this. Uh, you know what? Green Day? Sounds like Green Day. Green Day. Oh, yeah. I used to like these guys. Uh, 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 still still kind of a guilty pleasure to me. You like the Green Day? Not everything, but uh, I like their, their old stuff. And uh, a couple of their newer things uh, still... You know, I'm not going to be one of those. Yeah, anything past bloody blood sucks. We did a we did a death montage in my dad's wake. You kidding? And, and you know, the person that put it together meant well, and it's all it was it was something uh, to look uh, at. Yeah. Well, they used time of uh, my life, or oh, whatever. God. So now I'm kind of not into Green Day. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, that'll do that. I used to like that song, and then you realize, wait, other. Song sound, you could hear the uh, voice. So, uh, wow, well, that ruined it for I you. Fe- I felt like I had to explain because we uh, we started out being friends with Green Day, but uh, it's a little rough to have the death montage with one of their songs, and then just go about uh, goddamn death dedication. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> how's that song go? Give me a little piece if you want to see tears in my eyes. Oh no, I don't want to see that through your tears. <laughs> what? 
What? Only oh, one guy's no. allowed to cry on this channel? <laughs> I knew it was. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> oh. They also, oh, no, no. I can't do this. They oh, also no. used this for the end of Seinfeld. Yeah. Do they really? Yeah, right before the final episode, they did a whole montage of uh, all the seasons with this. this. This song is that old? 20 years ago, I came out of Cineport, New York. <laughs> <laughs> With <laughs> a dream to become a radio star. Thank you, thank you, It's still real to me. Where the whore's at? <laughs> I, I don't know how. Hey, McCain got in this motherfucker. I got up in this motherfucker. I'm a bust a tray up a... Bust a nut up a tray. Something. I don't know. Pull the bullhorn out and I just speak nonsense. Why do Bernie fine? You. Or do you want to do uh, Warrior? Uh, First, can I say... What happened? When you're... Sh there's five stalls. Oh, no. I'm in the next to the last one. What happened? I'm, I'm pebble shits. <laughs> pebble, a fucking 11 wiper, nothing. Oh. When it's all open, and a guy walks in, and this motherfucker sits in the last stall, which is right next to my... What, do we have to double up down here? There's fucking four open stalls the other you way. Tap his foot underneath the Asshole. stall. You gotta spread that shit out. Oh, what, yeah. do you want to smell my logs that? to motivate you? <laughs> what the fuck is creep? that about? That is kind of creepy. What's I, that about? I just saw John Walsh out there, too. Really? America's Most Wanted, yeah. I'm not How's even he gonna say it. No. <laughs> what? How's he look? I, I saw him from the back. He's very small and thin. He's the yeah, small he guy. Yeah, he is a, a petite man. Well, uh, it's a very honest show today, so fuck it. Roland goes, I just saw a ghost. I'm like, what? Because I just saw a ghost 20 minutes ago. What? He should be doing this because I, I can't do the Roland. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, Richard Lewis just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? And then proceeds to go, he looks like shit. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Said he that? says he looks really old. Wow. Roland said Been that? around a while. Yes, he has. Oh. God damn. John Wolf, you like I Richard Lewis? Him. Yes, I do. As a comedian? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, he's an original. I mean... Uh, I got no opinion on it. I like Richard, and, and I, I, I I worked with him once. It was many, many, many years ago yeah. at Caroline's with Corey Kahaney. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, I liked him. I have Ivanka Trump. I don't like her. You do? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? She's kind of pretty. Wow, she looks good today. Yeah, she's tall. She's sitting with these... Uh, Fox News people. Yeah. <laughs> She's making them all look like midgets. Holy fuck, she looks really good. Usually, like, this, the space between her bottom lip and the chin is a little too narrow. Yeah, yeah. She's, but not uh, today, man. She, she, she almost looks like Chip. What? <laughs> she, like when her mouth is closed. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. Look how tall she is. She's beautiful. Man. She looks great. She's statuesque. How, how tall is she, you think? She's like Ten feet. No, she's just 5'4". They're all just really <laughs> tiny. <laughs> she's got to be close to six midgets. foot tall, I bet. Probably. Yeah, she looks really fucking good. Yeah, she looks really good today. Why couldn't I have married into that family? Yeah, right. Oh, you would have laughed at the wedding. Tell me, Donald, you're fired. We would have laughed. You're fired. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> fired. Donald Jr. There he still is. Uh, might, he's still saying he's not going to, you know, he might run for something. The, ju the junior yeah. Donald is fucking tweeting my chick all the time. Really? Like, how do I compete with that? Donald Trump Jr.? I sh I'm like, oh, I got a big house. I got, oh, yeah, okay. Donald Trump Jr. Sorry, right, you got a big cock. That's all that matters. Ah, please. Donald Money, Trump Jr. Cock. is cool as Balance shit, man. Out. He should do our show again. I yeah, like him a is. lot. He's not afraid to uh, tweet some funny shit. Yeah, I like him. If it's politically incorrect, too. Are they both thought me? She Donald's sons, both oh, of them? You got, yeah. That one looks just like You got access him. to a billion dollars. You tweet whatever the fuck you want. He came out of the womb with fuck you money. Oh, Imagine yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Fuck you money right down the flu. Right nice. out of the pipe. <laughs> Must be fucking nice. Oh. How do you motivate yourself, though? Really? No, I'm not even. You wouldn't do anything. Huh? You wouldn't I do wouldn't anything? Do it. No! I'd watch TV and play video games. <laughs> That's what I do anyway. What am I talking about? It's all I do. <laughs> all right, what do you want to do? We're going to have Gary Oldman come in here, and we're not going to get to Bernie this goodness Fine's in wife. front of us. Let's start Bernie Fine's wife, because I really do want to hear that. Oh, get my yeah, dick well, nice and hard. The warrior's going to wait till tomorrow. No! I'm telling you right now. Nah, this will this will go well. Uh, so Bernie uh, finds wife there uh, did a little phone interview. Yeah, and just threw her husband under the bus. Did she mean no. to, or was it? No, she was talking. She she was recorded talking to the kid, the victim. Right, the victim. So who recorded who? The victim recorded her illegally. No, it was legal it's because legal. of the state. Did he get a Did he get a Australian mark to wiretap <laughs> <laughs> for him? No. <laughs> Some of those uh, states allow the one-sided recording. Ah. Yeah. Yes. 
and uh, this is one of them. All right, here we go. Well, what did he want you to do? Are you being honest with me? What do you think? What do you always do? What, he wants you to grab him? Oh, he's trying to make me so. He's trying to make me grab him. I mean, he was like, when he first when he grabbed me and they're, you know, touching me. But you never had any oral sex with him? No. Oh, that's oh, the wife. My. That's his wife <laughs> yes. talking like that. Yes. How fucked up is this situation where your wife is asking a boy if if he, your husband had oral sex oh with him? But wait a minute. It's easy to throw the wife under the bus. Is it? Her husband is 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 a boy cock jerker. Yes, I feel for her. But how? Yeah. She's had, yeah, she's had enough. The man she fucking committed her life to is allegedly jerking kids off in the vehicle. <laughs> what, is she supposed to be loyal? Stand by William Frawley while he jerks the whole team off? <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> of hey, Rick, I'm going to give a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> well. Wow, but... I but she, it's, she's not bothered by it. No, no, she, that's just it. Hey, it's the very a matter of fact yeah. way she's talking about. Well, of course he'd want to suck the boy's dick. Yeah. Yes, of course he would. Amanda from New Jersey. I have no idea. I'm just going to read this. She says uh, she admits that she also had a part in screwing him up as well. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. A, a new one came in. Oh. Please don't forget to mention that this woman also had sex with this accuser when he turned 18. Wait, the the wife yeah. did? It's Is on, that true? It's, on, it's in the audio, yeah. The oh. wife fucked him? Oh, yeah. That's why. That's part of her this saying. crazy. Of course she would. Of course he would. Is because she also is a fan of that dick. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, boy. Uh, let's, let's hear more. Where's Herman right. Cain fit in all this? Bernie's wife says <laughs> she knows dick. everything. Everything. Oh, oh uh -huh. Gary Oldman. I didn't want to see that one on. You know, I know everything that went on with him. Funny his issues. Maybe that he's not aware of, but he has issues. He is trusted somebody he shouldn't have trusted. Yeah. Funny is also in denial. I think that he did the things he did, but... Somehow, through his own mental telepathy, it's a them out of his mind. Just wait a minute. Let me ask you. So now, here's the allegations. It's alleged that she fucked the 18-year-old? Amanda's saying uh, yes. out loud, yes, she did. But yes, she did. does Bernie know or not know? Uh, I think he might not care. Was it a threesome? or No, no, it wasn't a threesome. No. Would one of these fucking coaches just commit suicide already? That'd be great. It's <laughs> getting over with. Wow, she fucked him. And yeah, the yeah. husband jerked him off. How great is this kid's cock? I know. Boy. It's the best. Everybody Bernie's wife says there it. were other people. The victim talks about a time Bernie's wife saw what happened. Ooh. Hey, Bernie. I think I'm the only one I've ever done that to. No. I, I think that there might have been others, but it was very true. There was something about you. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, like, if it's like, I'm wondering why I'm like the worst I don't know. One time she told me about an instance where she saw him through the basement window. And she left like the blinds open a little bit one night, and she's acting like she's taking the garbage out. But she watched through the window. What did she see? This Bernie went all grabbing me and pulling, you know, touching me. And um, uh, she said the next day, you know, Bob, you got to do something. We got, you know, this is when I was a little bit older, probably like a junior year in high Talks school. Like and, Roland. Um, Hold on, pause this for a second, you gotta step please. Up to him. You got to say something. You got to be a man. What the fuck is he doing, allowing that when he's a junior and senior in high school? When you're a little kid, that's one thing. But get the fuck out of here after a certain time. Oh, I Jimmy, think, you're I, blaming the victim. Not, I am, in a way. <laughs> not when he was a little kid, but when you're, nine, when you're 27, you were still letting him jerk you off? You look like Randy Couture, first of all. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> this kid, it went until he was in his uh, early 20s, Yeah, I Yeah, I really I, feel bad for a guy in 23 getting jerked off by a fat guy against his will. <laughs> you poor victim. Oh, I'm going to come. Oh. <laughs> Old man fucking knuckles. <laughs> I, I agree with Jimmy on this one. 17 or 18. Uh, Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Come yeah. on. Unless he's raping you. Come on. No. Come on. Yeah. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on this it's, one. It seems like uh, the, quote, victim was a, uh, a willing yeah. participant. Yeah, just as long as he had a hand around his dick. Right? The victim yep. talks about Bernie's uh, Bernie wanting something after he gave him money for a student loan. Oh, boy. When he gave you the money, what did he want for that? He wanted you to grab him or he wanted to do you? He wanted to do me. Well, he wanted me to do a chip too. He tried to make me do a chip a couple of times and grab my hand and then go pull away and then he put me in your bed and then, you know, put me down and I would try to go away and he put his arm on top of my chest. He goes, if you want this money, I'll stay right here, you know. Right, right. He just has a fancy attitude because he didn't get his money, nor did he get what he wanted. He didn't get the money. Oh, not the money. It's about the dick. Uh -huh. You know that. <laughs> the dick. If, you're, if it's telling you for your own good, you're better off just staying away from him.
Oh, really? Now that he's almost 30? Good advice, Exactly. Lady. You just take your pilot's license and fly somewhere. Yeah. When did, when did this start? How old was he? Seven, supposedly. Oh. This wow. is not the one. This is oh. not the first one. This is the next one. How old was this guy um, when it started? When oh, Bernie my. Fine was uh, 12. yanking his pud. All right, 12's a little rough. That's young, yeah. All right, now, now see, he might have done something rough. to him where even into his 20s, he's so fucked up in the head. Yeah. If you don't he, know uh, by the time you're 18 to stop letting him grab your dick... It annoys me. What if it damaged him psychologically? Oh, really? And he wasn't able to refuse this guy. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you made the same decisions when you were 22. <laughs> sorry you still got your fucking dick hard when you were 22. Why is your pud standing straight up like a soldier? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bernie's wife says Bernie needs to find gay boys, then admits she had sex with the victim as well. At one point, Lori Fine seems to say that her husband was not the only adult in the Fine household who betrayed Davis' like trust. Trust. He was <laughs> that he had no business doing what he did with you. And you know what? Neither did I, because I really helped screw you up a little more, too. Davis says he and Lori Fine had a sexual relationship that she initiated <laughs> when he says he was 18 and a senior in high school. Were you ever with her sexually? Yes. Slept with her? Yes. Had intercourse with her? Yes. Yeah. Does yeah. Bernie Fine know about that? I did tell Bernie. Uh, this is as I got older, not like when I was a kid. I thought he was going to kill me, but uh, I, was, I just I had to tell him. And I felt like, and I told him about it, you know, that what was going on with me and Lori, and it didn't phase him one bit, honestly. I hate this guy, and I yeah. also hate Bernie and his wife. All yeah. three of them are hateable. Yeah. The yeah. victim wouldn't have been hateable if he had just done something. But, you know, first of all, how could he fuck these ugly people? This dick, yeah. this guy's got a dick of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's uh, not quite the looker over there. She's fucking terrible, and that's a glamour shot. Melly hair. Yeah. That's like, yeah, from a wedding or something. They say Bernie thought he was above the law. I said to him, um, you know, Bobby and I talked, and I know some things about you that if you keep pushing, are going to be let out. Yeah. Push, pushing. And he goes, what? I know, that's what I'm saying. He says, yeah, well, let him go ahead. Sure, let him go right ahead. He doesn't think he can be turned. Like, he thinks that I think he thinks he's above the law. Mm. It's a weird one. Yeah, that's just a weird, twisted kind of situation. Twelve's rough, there. obviously. And you think it fucked him up, or I don't know. I think it's. I think Jimmy's <clears throat> right. You know, if I can reach into your twenties and you're still fucking getting jerked off by some old dude. That's pretty bad. Yeah. How do you like when when you're like uh, 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 when you feel the breath coming and your fucking cum is just aching to fucking to, to peruse uh, to, to meander over those old fat knuckles? <laughs> you think that's what happened? You jerked them to completion. <laughs> and Bernie would tug a little harder, <laughs> and he's fucking he probably squeeze. I bet as the guy came, he was when, a squeeze. After the guy came, Bernie would probably squeeze the base, and the head would swell and get redder, and he would shake it, and then and then the last of the cum would go like like a dog shaking the water off. Fucking in your early twenties, still being molested. Really, are you, sir? Yeah. Fuck out of here. I'm just said something when you were nineteen. Yeah, come on, stop it. Oh, this accuser has been charged with molestation as well? Himself, yeah. It's oh, a great. great guy. Mop citizen. I think. Feds are involved, though. Got the feds involved. Fez? In this... I think he said Fez for a second. Oh. Time. The feds. Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, I, d I heard. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Troublemaker. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> uh, oh, Jimmy. I'm yawning. Oh, Yanni. If the Fez was involved, would he really be involved? See that? That just got blatant right there. <laughs> That's blatant. So blatant. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, hey, why don't we move on to Warrior? <laughs> oh, I want to hear the Warrior. Warrior. Warrior's ears. Warrior show. So what's this about? I don't. I, I don't know anything about this one, Sam. Well, the, I, apparently, aside from it being fantastic, <laughs> the Warrior's going to get a new show. It seems like it's on the internet. Um. And the Twitterverse went a little crazy for this video oh, yeah. last night. 
Look at all the likes. Yeah, and, and I think what it is is... Uh, he's a scary motherfucker, isn't he? Huh? Well, wait till you see this. Psychopath. <laughs> you think he's tough? Yeah, he's pretty, pretty easy. He comes off as tough. Yeah, you should. Ju we should just play it off of there. It's only a minute thirty-seven. Yeah, and you get the. You got it. Yeah, it's like yeah. a motivational yeah, it's like a, program. Right, okay. it's a motivational program. He takes this band. It's like a. It's this band called Asking Alexandria, and uh, and he's gonna Didn't shake used them to be up. Called uh, sick fucking puppies. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta bring down the establishment. The establishment. You gotta bring down the establishment. Wow. He gets political. Not bad. Yeah, it's that's, good. that's his political number. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you like it? I hate it. I hate how you repeat things over and over. <laughs> Chip stinks. You like sick fucking puppies? No, I hate sick fucking puppies. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... Oh, okay. That. Nice. Coming soon, the Warrior Show. This is to the workout. I'm Warrior. They're drinking. Doing? Hey, Danny. Danny, nice to meet hey. you. Hello, mate, Ben. Ben, nice to meet you. Girls, you gotta find something else to do. I just need the guys. Come on, let's go. What is that? Whiskey or wine? Wine. Show me that you can drink half the bottle. I'm not gonna chug the whole thing. It's gonna last. For what? Through the workout? You gonna run in those fucking cowboy boots, John Wayne? You drank a bottle of fucking wine. That is fucking disrespectful to me, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> He's right in his face. Oof. Holy oh. shit! How do we get involved with this project? Oh, this guy's fantastic. Is it too late? Fantastic, <laughs> you motherfucker! If only he'd cut promos like this. All right. Look at the neck on him. Jesus. Look at the neck on that guy. That's steroids, right, Sam? Well, he's not drug tested anymore. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You motherfucker! <laughs> heavy fucking metal! Here's the fucking heavy metal for you. <laughs> They're dragging weights and they got chain. chains around their necks. Neck. I like your fucking ideas about creating your own freedom. I'll support you all the way on that. But you know what you're doing in your life? You fucking indulge in the things you do. You're putting fucking chains around your neck. You're weighting yourself down. Oh. One shot, that's all you get. You will never get that fucking second back. Maybe you are the chosen one, Danny. You want to be a fucking monster? <laughs> be it body, mind, and soul. I saw that fucking belly rip that fucking gut into an eight pack. Looked like a fucking god up there. When I was in high school, I was just a punk kid, man. I stumbled into the weight room one day. Fucking changed my life forever. You have it in you, man. Come on. Come on, man. You can do it. Good job. I want you to be the best in the fucking world. I want you to prove all those fucking idiot haters wrong. If you really want to, then you're going to have to pay a price. <laughs> you <laughs> the war is, is out of his this? mind. Why, why the is the greatest he... show ever? It's fantastic. But why this band? Why is he motivating this band? Because they need motivation. And why do they need band? eight packs to, to come up with cool songs that we'll enjoy? Because well, you need to look, look like, like God up, up there. Stage. Fucking God. Oh, I see. How, can, how do you not understand the warrior? He's so literal. He goes, you know, figuratively, he was saying that they're like chains around your neck. Yeah. Those right. things you do. And then he literally put chains around their necks it's and made them walk and do squats <laughs> with big iron chains well, around them. You see, Anthony, sometimes we don't feel the weight of our decisions until we literally feel the weight the of weight. those decisions. And, and, and Warrior knows this. What's the backstory, though? Well, there is no backstory. How does he know the... this band? He wanted to do a TV show. It's some band called Find Me Band. Asking what? Alexandria. That's probably what he said. I, I like the Get motivation aspect of the whole thing, but yeah. why this band? Because they're fucking all they're drinking, they're who showing up they? on stage. Asking Alexandria. Does anyone know who they are? Well, they're not like a big band. What's he gonna get? Are they in the system? What? Eric says he can't well, find. So. No. no, okay. All mm -hmm. right. Can we get him on the show, The Warrior? I'm gonna I'm gonna try oh, with all my yeah. might to. Where does he live? He used to live in Queens, actually. I think wow. now he lives in Arizona. Oh shit! Yeah. Damn. Well, AZ up in that motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> Can we call him right now? I don't have his phone number. Someone's gotta have it. But Herman Keynes. Look up Warrior in the phone yeah. book. Warrior. Yeah. Warrior. <laughs> That's his real name. He changed it to Warrior. He legally had it because he wanted to. Uh, it was, it was over copyrights because obviously Vince McMahon right. didn't Vince want to give him shit. Ultimate Warrior. So he legally changed his name to Warrior. What about the ultimate part? He couldn't have that. So his Could name he be first name Ultimate, last name Warrior. No, just why? he's got one that name. Seems weird. Why, why isn't he allowed to have Ultimate? That. I don't know. But his name is just Warrior, and his kids. He has like two kids, I think. Uh, at yeah. least their last names <laughs> are Warrior. Really, the kids' names. 
It's kind of a cool name. Did he name one of them Ultimate? As a kid. I don't think he named either one of them Ultimate. No. That's too bad. How about All and Timid? Yeah, or I'm not a. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> How about first name All? Yeah. Timid, his middle Timid, name. Because that sounds like Timid Warrior. Warrior. No, yes. Timid. No, Timid. put it all sounds together, like, Sam. Yeah. Sounds all Timid, Timid Warrior. Warrior. That's just to get around the Vince McMahon angle. Right. I see. So you don't have to pay Vince for your own name. No. It's like the drummer in my band, his name is Warlord. <laughs> oh, God. What a hacky fucking, especially since contrived <laughs> piece of shit band chip. <laughs> especially since Vince McMahon already owns the copyright on Warlord because there was oh. a wrestler named the Warlord. The Warlord, mm. boy, Vince owns everything. Yeah, Jesus, wow. Ultimate Warrior is Gary Busey on steroids. Whoa, Good old cigars. I love and on steroids I jokes. They're really funny. That's like that's like on crack or from hell. From hell on crack. Except I think this time it's literally. Yeah. The Ultimate Warrior uses steroids. He uses oh. anabolic steroids. Does he? I mean, listen, he's not drug tested anymore, and the guy's just doesn't have to be. Exactly. Yeah. He's he a might work out a lot. his business. Yeah, we don't know what he does. What he does is his business. Exactly. Right, Sam. What are you trying it's to get in trouble? I'm not trying to get hey, you Hey, you guys remember trouble. Jordan from... Um... I do. You do? Yeah. Jordan? From the party. Oh, yeah? Oh, karaoke guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sweet Caroline guy. He went yeah. the country. Yes. <laughs> he was supposed to sing for us. What happened to that? Uh, he didn't show up to the studio. He yeah. didn't show up to the studio. He didn't show up. He's no. been on the line for two days. <laughs> Straight? <laughs> no joke. He's been on hold for two days. And back me up. Yeah. He was on the sh on hold the entire show yesterday. Whole show yesterday. And he's been on hold three hours already today. Yeah. Well, well I just that's got no a... joke. That's seven straight hours on hold. Yeah. I just got a phone number that might be the Warriors phone number. What? All right, call it. Say okay. we're huge fans. No joke. I'm I'm a huge fan of this guy. Huge. Wow, look at you. Why are well, you calling he, it? He's going to come in his pants. If, yeah. Hello. Do it right yeah. here. Hello, yes. Why are you fucking calling me? One-sided conversation. Yeah. We're allowed to do that. If he's in Arizona, fuck, oh, yeah. at six in the morning. Jordan might have to wait a little longer. Did you fuck uh, Hulk Hogan's wife? Warrior, hello? Comment. You reach her McCain, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll be fucking white women. Hello? <laughs> hello? Hello? Jordan? What happened to Jordan? Oh, you want him now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's, I thought the phone was plunked down on him. Well, if we got the warrior, we get the I warrior. Know, that's true. What's going on? I'm giving the other room. Oh, all right, let's go to Jordan. Then. So, Jordan, what did he do again? Sweet Caroline at our live broadcast Thanksgiving. Oh, and yeah. Then he was supposed to come in um, Thanksgiving morning to right, sing for us. To sing. Gave him the address, and I don't know if he showed up. Yeah. He uh, Jordan. Hello? 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 Jordan. That worked out well. Oh boy, that whole intro. This is a good intro, Sam. It's great. It's one of my better ones. Jordan. Yeah, asleep? Jordan. You might be asleep. Good, Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. All right, Jordan. 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 I heard he got mugged or something. Sam? Yeah, he called in the after show yesterday. Well, he... We're still on hold, I should say, for the oh, after show right, yesterday. Don't tell me what happened, because wow. maybe he'll call back. Okay. But I'm hearing he got mugged. Hmm. And what's up with the Warrior thing? Wow, what the fuck happened? Well, we had three things that were going on. We're in a roundabout right now. Tentatively. What? And they didn't uh, pan out. Are they called roundabouts? Uh, yeah. Yes. That's what, that's what my British GPS voice calls it. Turn at the roundabout. Ew. No, it doesn't. It does, actually. When I use the British voice, the roundabout. Why do you like when use it's a, the British voice? Why wouldn't you? It sounds like there's a smart gal with me. Hubba, hubba. I would tell my girlfriend all the time, I'd kick you in a pussy if this girl would go out with me. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, well, apparently, Warrior had some financial troubles at one point. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. I don't want to get into his exact figures, but there was some debt that had to be settled. And Oh. Yeah. Did he go bankrupt or something? No, but it's Morally. because <laughs> yeah. certain <laughs> yeah, I think of myself. Yeah. I kinda like think of my own horrible fucking <sighs> <sighs> Well What do we got? Uh it just keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and then finally picked up and it asked for a remote access code. What, so, what does that mean? Warrior, it's, it's remote access code. That's how you check and get your messages. No. Oh. Mm. Yeah, well. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Someone's Maybe we'll call him. Shining you on, as they say. Later on today. Yeah. See if he can call tomorrow. The after show. 
No. Call them on the after don't, show. Don't yeah, wa- don't waste idea. them on the shit yeah. show. It's not a waste. That's a total waste. It's not. You should really use the guitar solo by Demon right now. Who's Demon? Oh. Demon's my guitarist. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Warlord and Demon. And Chip. And Chip? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Do you have a stage name, Chip? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't listening. No, he was never yeah. listening. I was going to call myself Beelzebub. Ugh. I would never see this band. It's not tough at all. It's horrible. <laughs> Chip should go on the Warrior show. Yeah, he needs motivation. <laughs> oh, phones. Uh, is that a uh, of ours? Oh, <sighs> they're all ringing. Oh, yeah, they're I all thought ringing. it was uh, Jordan calling. We're learning back. more about this uh, band asking Alexandria. They play the Warped Tour. A Did lot, they? I guess. Remember that one? I wouldn't know. All right, what do we do? I'd say go to the phone, just see. Jordan was a bust, and the, the warrior is not answering his phone. We're Sounds fucked. like we had our eggs We're in a couple of right baskets, now. and both of them baskets done <laughs> fell, too. <laughs> Jeff, what do you got for the show? <laughs> hey, uh, Chip, are you there? Yeah, oh. what's that? Hey, uh, yeah, you ought to know there's already a band called the Sick Puppies. They're out of Australia. Yeah, I don't know about them. They're probably stealing my idea. I'm wearing the Sick Fucking Puppies. Yeah, it's sick okay. fucking the sick, puppies. The sick, the sick fucking puppies. The sick, the sick, the sick fucking puppies. The sick, the <laughs> oh, sick, geez. the sick fucking puppies. Barking up your tree. I hate the repeating. Yeah. <laughs> Chip, you gotta get more words. I got the one about the ice road truckers with sick motherfuckers. <laughs> Shit goes down when we come to your town. Oh. <laughs> town. Oh. Jordan's on the line. <laughs> Jordan. Oh, J- Jordan. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh. Am I on the air finally? Yes. Yeah, yes. sorry to make you wait for two days. You know, we've been busy. Uh, only a I know, I've, do been, that. I've been busy too, uh, trying to get over my fucking ordeal on Thanksgiving morning. Thanks for nothing, guys. Oh, boy. What, what happened? What happened? Like, walk everyone through it because maybe okay. a lot of people are hearing this for the first time and don't yeah. know what's going on. Yeah, what happened? Up. Okay. Well, what happened was I go into, I go in, uh, as you told me, to go into uh, New York City. And uh, meet you at uh, 178th in Amsterdam at 5:30 a.m. Well, my train didn't get to 5:29, so obviously I'm going to be a little bit late. So I'm running. running what do you mean you were going to come to the radio station? Yeah, I was going to come to the radio station to sing for you guys on Thanksgiving for such a treat. But unfortunately, I didn't make it uh, past uh, Penn Station because when I got off the train, some guy approached me out of nowhere, and. And, and I don't know who this guy was. I thought he was with open hands because he knew my name. I thought maybe uh, you guys sent him down to uh, spot me in the crowd because he probably figured I might be on the train right around 530. So this guy freaking out of nowhere just uh, says, hey, uh, follow me. And uh, all right, so I follow him. And then uh, it takes me in a cab ride. And then uh, it takes me to uh, the place. And then uh, and I'm like, is this really the studio? And I'm like, and then he says, yeah, come in. And then he takes me in there and fucking mugs me in the fucking uh, the lobby. Took my money, took my co- co- took everything from me. I, 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 it took me four it took me four hours to get home because I had to had to bribe somebody on the uh, street for change. Through your tears. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? So how would anyone what? recognize yeah, you? Yeah. First of all, what? how does anyone recognize you? Well, he told me that he told me that he knew you guys and that uh, that. He he had my picture and he and he, and he where did he w- where did he get your picture? He, he, I, I don't know. He didn't tell me where he got oh, it. How did he know? Great, another kook. Where you were coming Wonderful. in from? This is to be by the train, by hmm. the door, by by like how did? No, he he approached me in the station up when I went up when I when I got off when I got from underneath. Uh, when you normally go up into the freaking terminal, and the yeah, guy just, just, just out of nowhere uh, in the crowd. You're just lying. I, I, I'm not lying. I, I, I'm not I'm lying. I'm not lying. And, and people are saying this is a different story from what you told Sam yesterday. Yeah, well, where did you, oh, he mugged you in the lobby of our studio? Well, I, haven't slept, I haven't slept in, I haven't slept in fucking three and a half, I haven't slept. I've only slept two hours in the past couple of days, man. What, what are you expecting? Voices. To do? Where, where did you get mugged? Trying to do a bid? I don't even want to. Yeah, what are you doing? A bid? I got, I got mugged at one seventy eighth in Amsterdam, and I was in the lobby of your studio, supposedly. Okay, yesterday you got no, mugged. You would know it was a studio lobby in Penn Station, was yeah. where you got mugged yesterday. Yeah, you got to talk to me. You got mugged in Penn Station. I got mugged in, in Penn Station. The guy. The guy approached me and he and he just uh, took me to some. You, you got mugged, mugged in the mugged. In, in the lobby of our studio. 
Yeah, and the lobby just, you know, you I. Get mugged, you get mugged You get mugged in Penn Station? Station? I got approached by the guy in Penn Station. Describe the, the gentleman. The gentleman was a black guy. In person. Wearing a hoodie. Of course. Yeah. Because those people do that, right? A hoodie black guy. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ, Jordan. What's wrong with you? Poor guy. You okay? What's your malfunction? Uh, I'm okay now. I'm, Let's I'm cut to the to chase. Freaking, what I'm fucking to, drug are you on? Sleep. I'm not on any drugs. To fucking yeah, keep the Why are you yelling at the victim, though? If the guy got victimized, why yell at him, though? That's true. Jesus Christ, because I'm done with kooks that are associated with this show. Yeah, what was This is where we cut them off at the path. What was the conversation what? in the cab ride? Yeah, yeah. Or pass. What was he saying? Uh, I, was it pass or pass? <laughs> it was pass. just very... The guy was very quiet, man. He was just talking about... Just talking about life in general, but unfortunately... Uh, what, what, what was the conversation? You can't just say yeah. life in general. You don't yada, yada, yada us. That's not a... Yeah. He just asked me, like, oh, what well, was my name, where I'm from, and everything, and the guy was just being friendly to me, and he was just asking me friendly questions, like... And, and and I just answered everything, and and I and I thought I was going to the studio to uh, sing, and and I got mugged, and and it took me nearly four hours. How much was the cab? Asking, How much was the cab? The cab probably like I I didn't even pay for the cab. Oh, the mugger paid for the cab. <laughs> before yeah, he, before he mugged you. <laughs> oh, that's a nice mugger. Let's yeah, be honest with nice each other. That's a nice mugger. He is gambling, though, that you're going to have more right. money than he paid for the cab. Because otherwise he just gave you a ride for free and didn't mug you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But, but even though from... you didn't pay for the cab, you knew how much it was because we all look. How much was it? How much was the cab ride to, to 178th and Broadway, was it? Yeah. Uh, no, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Amsterdam from Penn. How much? How much? Uh, probably like 20 bucks. <laughs> I don't remember the exact At number. At that hour of the morning? Answered. At that hour? Probably. Hmm. Yeah. So he paid for a $20. The mugger paid the for mugger a $20. Paid cab 20 ride. bucks. Not even knowing well, if you had he five bucks. Gonna, he he could have lost $15 mugging you. And how did he know to take you all the way up to our studio at 178th in Amsterdam? Yeah, how did he know that? Because he's obviously one of your listeners and one of the guys that, uh, and he disguised himself as one of your, one, one of the people that works for you. Disguised himself in a hoodie? Why wouldn't he? Yeah, he was that early. He wouldn't be anybody that works for this show. Yeah, exactly. So if he walks in at 6.05, he might be me or Iraq. Why wouldn't he have just so, mugged you in the train sorry. station? Yeah. What, instead what? of spending the $20 on right. a cab ride. Especially, exactly. Especially 5.30 in the morning, morning when no one's around. Yeah. What did he take from you, Jordan? What did he take from me? He took my wallet. I had everything in there. I can't even drive around in my car because I don't have a license on me. Oh, really? And what building did he take you in? Took me into the 170th in Amsterdam, the one on the corner. What building is that? Did you? Re- did What's you- in that building? building. Yeah. What? It was like a white. It was like a white brick building. What? What? What is right, it? Describe and the it was, building. Please. And it was opened at 5:30 in the morning with nobody in the lobby. I guess so. I I, I don't. I always, How do you not know? You were in it. You were getting mugged. You didn't look around and see if anybody was in there. Did he touch your no, hiney? Nobody was in there. No one was in a building. The door was opened. No one was there at five thirty in the morning. At one seventy eighth in Amsterdam. And and let me get this clear. He asked for your name, obviously in the cab. No, he knew my name already because he spotted me in the crowd because he remembered what it looked like from your show on Tuesday. How does he know how, how you look? Oh, he's got pictures oh, from the pictures, appearance. Of course. From the big appearance. Are, are you trying to take us to small claims court? Let's no, cut no, to the I don't chase. Want to see you guys. No, he's not saying at least, at least show up. I, I don't the last one decided not to show up. So what did the, what did, what, what, dude, what did the police say when you uh, reported it? Well, uh, the guy the guy threatened to kill me, and and, and I figured I I figured I wasn't gonna be able to identify the guy because he looked like every fucking black guy in New York. In person. So, you didn't report the mugging, but decided I'll report it on a show that reaches some say a million people a week. Well, it's okay because uh, I, I, have, <laughs> I have a big heart. I forgive people. Oh, you forgive people. Come on, just just fess up, please. Stop with the wackiness. Yeah, what's going on? Just fess up. What's going on? You thought this was going to be an interesting kind of wacky radio story. You're excited to be part of the show. Yeah, and, and you realize now, like, we we don't believe you, the audience doesn't believe you, and... I believe over, you, brother. Right? Jimmy believes you. For the record, Jimmy believes Jimmy's you. Why would he lie? Asshole. 
All right, the Jimmy, guy, the, the guy came in. Jimmy has love in his heart. Yeah. Guy recognized him from the the live event, mm -hmm. and said, "Hey, you're going here. Remember the address." And paid for a cab ride and then mugged him in the building. Yes, this I isn't believe television, it. Jimmy. You don't have to put the serious face on. But like, I do. Like, you really mean what you're saying. I do. Um, <laughs> I, I do. Why would I lie? I'm a fucking loser, man. I have no job. I yep, have you are a loser. So what? So You're not a loser. You're a victim. Burgers. Those are delicious. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, did, where did he pick you up? You picked me up in the train in in the in the lobby of the uh, in the lobby of Grand Small when you go up. Uh, wait, wait, in the lobby of where? In the lobby of Penn Station. He yeah, said Grand Central. Yeah, yeah you, you did say Grand Central oh, Station. Oh, Grand Central Station. Those two stations are nowhere near each other, sir. And by the way, Grand Central isn't open until six. Grand Central, you moron. You said Grand Central Station yesterday, <laughs> no, you moron. Right, you didn't well, say that yesterday, right, Jordan? Four eyed freak. Why don't you play the audio that says I said Grand Central, okay? Did he say Grand Central yesterday, Sam? Mm, yeah, and then he corrected himself after I questioned oh, him. Oh, oh, oh. Well, see the audio. You, you can't back up your claim. See, you didn't discuss the show with this perpetrator on your way in the cab, or ask him why the studio no, was uh, located uh, in a grocery uh, store. Uh, uh, so we got your bony. Yeah, on. we got your on the on the line. He was the mugger. Jordan, <laughs> oh. uh, I want to corroborate this guy's story. I paid for the cab. See, it's a write-off. You got to spend money to make money. <laughs> That's the worst fucking black dialect I've ever heard. Ready for this? Yeah. Blind Dave, everyone. No, really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Blind Dave? Mm -hmm. That was Blind Dave. I would that sound like him. What else, Jordan? Jordan. This is an unbelievable well, story. Yeah, it's fantastic. I might have to call up uh, Tucker Max. Were there any grocery <laughs> stores near the uh, near the studio? I, I don't remember, man. It, it's been a it's been a long fucking weekend. Yep. No, uh, it hasn't. It's the same length every right. weekend is only two days long. Well, um, <laughs> Jordan, I got I got an NYPD cop on the line because uh, you really you're really supposed to report crimes. That's a crime in itself. Not reporting it. And uh, Brian wants to talk to you. Brian. Yo. Hey, you're on with Jordan, who got mugged, unfortunately, the other day. Jordan, I'm sorry to hear about what happened. You okay? Oh. Yeah, good. I'm fine, man. It's it's not a big deal. You know, I I think uh, I think I'll just uh, let him, because the guy is obviously uh, not, never going to be caught. All right, I have a couple questions for you. You can answer them immediately. Uh, you, you said that when you got on the train, he identified you, said, Jordan, come with me. You then stated that when you were in the cab, he asked you what your name is. So were you no, lying to him or I didn't say now? They, no, first 48. They said that. I, I didn't say that he asked my name in the cab. He already knew my name in the station because he recognized me from... Right, but then you stated that uh, when you were in the cab, he was talking to you about the facts of life and then asked you what your name was and what you did for a living. So which one is it? Okay, yeah, I did say that. I'm sorry. I'm just really, I haven't slept in, I only slept two hours and four days. I'm I'm really, I don't know how I'm still on the phone right now. Well, okay, well, you've been on the phone for two days, so obviously you have the Constitution to do that, but you can't answer any questions. Cops rule. It's Whenever they say Constitution, you're in deep shit. This line of questioning Jordan, is great. This is, this is real shit, man. I wouldn't fuck around. You t he tied him up in one fucking, yeah. like, one volley. You're in deep shit now, uh, Jordan. Brian, uh, continue. All right, Jordan. Now, after uh, you got to this building that was open, you said it was on the corner. What was the address of the building? 178th in Amsterdam. That's not an address. That's a corner. What's the address? I, I don't right, Let me, let me I don't put it this way. That might be too complicated. Was the door on Amsterdam or 178? I know it was on, I know it was on Amsterdam. It was on Amsterdam. Okay. Hey, was, Brian, why don't you explain to Jordan, uh, you know, uh, reporting a false crime? What kind of well, shit he could be in? Yeah, it's a, it's a misdemeanor, so that's not good. Um, you know, $200 up to a year in jail. Huh. Um, but, you know, the guy did threaten to kill him, so yeah. not reporting it to the cops and reporting it to a million people, you know, nationwide, plus those Canucks in Canada, you know, I'm sure that's, that's a lot less... Uh, you know, it's, it's more low key doing it on an XM serious LA radio rather than reporting it to the NYPD. Yeah. yeah. So th I'm looking so, at. If he's a fan of the show, and I'm, I'm sure he, he's listening because he knows 
everything about you from possibly seeing you for a total of 10 minutes singing Sweet Caroline. <laughs> now, I'm there, and I have no idea what you even look like. I can identify the guy who puked in his potatoes, but uh, <laughs> I, I can't you. Yeah. Jordan? Oh. Yeah, I'm oh. here. Do you want oh. him? I'm still here. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm, I'm letting... I'm, I'm, I'm You're listening sticking to your story? Speak. Are you sticking to your story? I'm sticking to my story, man. What All was... Right, well, gentlemen, I, I don't know if there's anything else I can do. I'm going to uh, stamp this Bravo Sierra. <laughs> yes. And uh, I'm going to punch out before I fuck this up. Thank you, sir. And we certainly could uh, check the tapes, because uh, there's right. tapes all over Penn Station or Grand Central Station. What, okay. what? Does this guy realize that 178th in Amsterdam is absolutely positively nowhere near your studio? Yeah, yeah. It, it, that's right. obvious. That... The fact that, you know, he's trying to fuck with you guys. The building that I'm looking at um, mm -hmm. on Google here that uh, mm -hmm. he uh, supposedly went into the front has one, two, three, four, five, six, like six businesses in it that I could see right there. Probably more. Mm. Uh, sir, um, Jordan, Jordan, mm -hmm. uh, what what door did you go in? I'm seeing six, at least six or seven businesses on the Amsterdam side of this building. There isn't just one door there. It's a whole strip yeah. of, of so, stores in this building. So that's easy. That's an easy question. Which door? Which door did you did go, go in? in? I don't remember. I, I, I just How remember. do you not remember? Which door? Was it the one all the way to the right? Was it in the middle? Was it on the left? Was it close uh, to the right side? You, you know, uh, yeah. Come on. It, it, About. It the, I know it was in the middle. I know it wasn't near the corner. All right, that's fair enough. All right, the middle. middle we so got did you businesses. go into the laundromat or the Chinese restaurant? There's no, <laughs> there's no lobby area. There's no lobby in a fucking yeah Chinese restaurant what and the a laundry. Fuck, dude. You went into a laundromat thinking it's Sirius XM, and that's where he mugged you? 5.30 in the morning. Right. Holy fuck, enough of these crazies. Your story fell apart, sir. Jordan, why don't you just be a man and say you wanted to get some more airtime, become famous, yeah. and leave these boys alone? And all you had to do was call and go, look, I want to sing another song for you guys. And I would yeah. go, yeah, let's do it nice. By the way, you're not qualified to be an intern. Doing stupid yeah, stuff for airtime. Get it? Cut me off, so you're very yeah. rude. Yeah. We weren't rude. We had a problem with the phones that day. Everyone knows it. Even Ronnie had a problem after we left. To you. Yeah. You're a liar! <laughs> Goddamn liar! Why don't you sing a song for everyone and make it all nice? Yeah. I ain't singing for you. You don't deserve to hear my voice anymore. You have golden pipes, okay. man. Okay. All right. Don't deserve to hear your voice. No, I'm well, fucking not begging. I know begging. I'm get cut off after five minutes, so if I keep calling back... Five minutes? Five, five, Try five five singing. Seconds. Fucking free bird? Yeah, really. Little spark of high heel boys. <laughs> Live version? Live. I love those fucking giants. What a horrible game last night, huh? Oh, finally, something we could talk about. Yeah, keep trying. The, the lie didn't work, so let's talk sports. <laughs> yeah. Been around too long for this shit. Would you go to the game at 178th in Amsterdam, <laughs> where the stadium is? <laughs> you it the old polo grounds. Like that. <laughs> what? what? Fucking Eli Manning threw, threw, threw more lobs than uh, threw more lobs than Kim Kardashian at a fucking New Jersey Nets gathering. <laughs> <laughs> God that's damn, that's a good one. Good. That, <laughs> that motherfucker a, just you, turned this whole thing you around. You just redeemed yourself. You just turned this thing around. You just redeemed yourself with that one. Fuck, you know how much I hate Kim Kardashian. That was perfect. Uh, oh, that, that fucking, uh, her whole family's always famous because she fucked a, fucked a uh, nobody. Fucking Ray J. That guy's career was shorter than fucking Chris Humphrey's dick. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the shit that'll get you on the air, dummy. The funny. Oh, Make it shit. funny, yes. You're bringing the funny now. Wow. Yes, I am a funny guy. Huh? Have you read my uh, Have you read my tweets, Jim Norton? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't always check the at mentions. Yeah. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Uh, well, it it I all did, depends. I okay, I thought I was still Jim. talking to you. I <laughs> apologize. I didn't mean to step on you. I okay. actually had uh, my own thought. That's okay, Jim. I, uh, actually, you know what's funny is uh, yesterday during your show, uh, Monster Rain was on HBO Comedy in the morning. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Well. Yep. You got any more uh, Kardashian stuff? Uh, any more Kardashian stuff? Well, uh, I don't really have that much because she's not in the news anymore. I guess uh, 
she's just fucking fading out just like Lindsay Lohan because Lindsay Lohan is killing it at the morgue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 she's do- doing a community service at the morgue. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Yeah. Why don't we save yeah, some of these gems wonder, for next uh, time? How much you're fucking, uh, yeah, Gary's coming. Uh, we, we, I got to take a leak. These so are, bad. We got to pee real quick. Yeah. These yeah. are very funny. Let us do, take leaks, and we have Gary Oldman, yep. and we'll, we'll, we'll uh, talk tomorrow. Yeah, save a few of these gems uh, okay. there, Jordan. Well, we'll, we'll, and if you said you, if you say you got mugged, then uh, you know what? We got to believe you, because yeah, I don't want to whatever. lose you as a, as a participant on this yeah. radio show. Well, my name is Jordan K, and I stick to my story because I have Asperger's, and I'm a complete retard. All right. <laughs> That's good. He sure can sell himself. <laughs> All right, uh, retard. Cool. All right, guys. I'll All talk right. to you tomorrow morning. All yeah. Right. Great. Fuck it. Salt to it. Gary Oldman next. Yeah. The Obi Anthony Channel. He's so funny. Serious XM. I hear the music. It gets into you. I hear the music. Millions of watts. All of this low-level sound, well, it gets into you. And so I said, well, you know what? I, I hear the music. Bring back the music. All of this music. Well, you know what? I hear the music. And so I said to him, I said, bring back the music. And he said, excuse me. Don't put fucking words in my mouth. Don't put fucking words in my fucking mouth. Don't put fucking words in my mouth. Fucking don't put fucking words in my mouth. And so I said to him, I said, wait a minute. I hear the music. Wait a minute. I hear millions of watts. And so I said to him, I said, you all talk a big thing. You only talk it. You don't walk it. And he said, excuse me. Don't put fucking words in my mouth. Don't put fucking words in my fucking mouth. Don't put fucking words in my mouth. Fucking don't put fucking words in my mouth. Millions of watts going up into the ionosphere. You hear it through the front of your skull. I hear millions of watts. You hear it through the front of your skull. Sirius XM. Sirius XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. One of these days they're going to fix this goddamn headphone situation. What's the matter? Uh, the music and the, the spots and everything are so much louder than our voices. And they don't understand that we're talking about just our headphones and not what goes out over the air. So okay. you try to fucking... Like, I have to rip the headphones off off my head before the commercials start, or uh, I get fucking blasted. Nothing should be louder than our voices on this entire platform. Oh. Our voices should be... On Earth. First and foremost. <laughs> yeah. I actually think that they should pipe us into the lobby. They should. As the welcome. And in the elevators, too. As the welcome yeah. to Sirius. Funny guys, 12 floors up. Yes. I think that's how the entire elevator system should be. When you hit... Uh, like 35 to come up, yeah. it should say 13 floors to funny guys, 12 <laughs> floors to funny guys, <laughs> and it should just be our voices right. going through the elevator. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Gary Oldman. Gary oh, Oldman has arrived. Oh, yes. Wow, he's got an entourage. Yes, he yeah, should. he does. Ah, uh, yes. Come right in, Mr. Gary Oldman. Hello, Hello, Hello sir. sir. Good. Good, good. Hey. How are Jimmy? you? Jimmy. All right. You know Jimmy? Yeah. Oh my How God. do you know Jimmy? How do you know Jimmy? I've seen him on there. Oh, you have? We're on the air. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're always. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, just, yeah, we, like ju- we like just carrying on conversations like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. You just I'm made by, Jimmy's day, uh, oh Mr. Oh, my God. I am, I am stunned. Jimmy, obviously, a stand-up comedian, but yes, I guess I've you're familiar. Seen, I've, I've not seen you live. Yeah. Yes. But I've seen you uh, do your stand-up. Wow. I've seen you on... Uh, of those shows that you've been on, you add a little. <laughs> you, I think you add a little spice. It might Thank be you. Chelsea lately. You've been on. I yeah, think. yeah. Ah, yeah. There we are. One of the Jimmy. One of the one of the greatest actors I of know, all time. Ab- absolutely. Really, there, there's huge very fan, few. By I the push. way, we're we're huge fanboys. And here. you would have said that before, Gary. Oh, said without a doubt. Said. Yeah, I've been saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. You're, you're different every movie. Like every movie someone has to say that's Gary Oldman. Really? <laughs> well, that's the that's the fun of it for me. Yeah. Is, huh? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's. What I was looking through your uh, whole resume of uh, movies, and uh, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy's right. You know, you have a, a great uh, career going for yourself. I believe I've. Is it sixty? I've done. Someone said yeah, seventy. Done, uh, someone said I've done sixty. Sixty movies. I, I, I certainly haven't. Wow. I haven't seen them all. No. Well, and a few of them in the old days. Yeah. You know, when it was uh, in the darker days, I, <laughs> I don't even remember making a few of them. Wow. Really? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Why were they darker days? They were just. Why it's nearly 
you know, nearly nearly twenty years ago now. Yeah, you know, a little bit too too much of the uh, substances. A bit yeah. too much party. Jimmy understands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy understands that. Oh, He's yeah. been sober for how many years? Almost twenty five. Twenty five years. Almost. Congratulations. Yeah, but I've been, what's strange? Yeah, oh, so, oh, sorry. Fifteen years. Oh, wow, really? 15. Congrats, it's nice, right? Yeah. To remember oh, it's, everything. It's, yeah, it's nice to. Uh, Yes, it's nice to remember stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. And thank well, God for the internet too, because now I can switch addictions to sex. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice to not drink anymore. I can just instant yeah, message. And you don't even have to leave your apartment. Well, we always sometimes. Yeah, sometimes uh, you don't. Yeah. Well, we always find strange about Jimmy. He got sober at seven. seven eighteen. Eighteen. Sorry. Yeah, eighteen. eighteen years old. That's realizing you have a problem yeah. very early on. Yeah, well, you're lucky. If I think you're lucky if you can do that. But I, th- I always you know? was under the impression that at that age. Everyone, Everyone has a just problem doing because you're just you're just young doing drugs or alcohol well, or you both. Know, I think it just depends. I, my my son Alfie, he's nearly twenty three, and he's just a great kid. Mm-hmm. He, he's I've I think I've seen him have a beer. Really, you know, doesn't smoke, doesn't doesn't do any of that stuff. So. It's, That's it's, so. It's not just everybody. It, it, everybody growing up doesn't have to. Yeah, uh, he's he's just. And then and then you see other people and they're they're tearing their hair out, mm-hmm. you know, with their kid. Yeah. And it's a and it's 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 hard. It's a it's a it's a it's a, you know, now I can now I can say or oh, rather them than me. Right. right. You know, um, but it's a mm. horrible thing. Did you tell him your experiences? Because my father has quit drinking when I was two. So I kind of always aware that there was a life without drinking when you were finished. And do you kind of share with him what you went through, which made it maybe kind of deter him? Yeah. Or did he see something? No, no. He's just, that's just, it's just, just who he is. And, um, and I've got, uh, I've got a, a, well, one of my boys, I've got three sons. And uh, one's nearly 13, one's 14. And of course, they've, that's all it's like another life, you know. Yeah, so yeah. they've never seen. They've never. Oh, they've right. Never, they don't never, even know of uh, you uh, in those days, the dark days. As you know, as, it's yeah. like as I refer to them. Yeah, but, yeah. And there were some good, some good times too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, were you Were you worried that that it was going to affect your performances um, being sober? No. Because some people do worry that. No, they, no. Really? That's that's all um, mm-hmm. rubbish. That, I think that's all <laughs> just rubbish that people sort of say that you know. You'll what is it? You'll you'll you you think you'll lose your edge. Is right, right, you right. Yeah. Yeah. You start to. Get, I was. I, someone reminded me when I got sober because we used to take mescaline, and laugh. And I, I asked the guy who was helping me at the time. I'm like, will I be able to laugh again? Like I didn't think I'd be able to laugh without without tripping. Jeez. It's, it's such an odd thing that these weird irrational things you tell yourself when you quit. Yeah. To keep yourself going. And of course you romanticize. You yeah, do yeah. a great deal of that, you know. So all the all the people that I used to look up to when I was, you know, when I was growing up and looking at other generations, you know, before me. Mm. I mean, Richard Burton and mm-hmm. uh, Peter O'Toole and all that, all that, all that. You know, it was all very much. It's it it is very much that culture. Yeah, it was almost glamorous uh, kind of a lifestyle to be yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, we were. We were yeah, anyway. last time I was here, I was here a couple of weeks ago and we were staying at the Waldorf Towers and you know it's the first time I'd ever been nice digs <laughs> nice digs <laughs> nice digs nice <laughs> and the walls are just and the walls are just covered in these fantastic photographs and it's and it's and it's Frank Sinatra and mm. it's 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 presidents and it's Lucille Ball and it's and it's Kurt Douglas you know and they all look like they're having a really good time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they probably were. You know, oh, the old days. Yeah. <laughs> Hold the martini, right? Everybody's, yeah, everybody's got yeah. a cigarette and a martini. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they, don't they don't show you the other, they don't show you like the William Holden fucking bleeding out in his yeah, hotel yeah, room. Yeah, all the other things. With the William Holden suite. Which you, which the, 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 and the, yeah, the blood stains are still there on the car. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he knows. Oh, he knows. Oh, you can't play roles like, like you've played without, ha- without being able to tap into that because you, you're too good at, at, I didn't know you were British. Like, literally, I did not know. Really? I had no idea he was British until I heard you interviewed one time. That's how good you are. I think it does freak us Americans out when some yeah. actors who do a very well, uh, very yeah. good uh, English uh, American accent uh, turn out to be British. Yeah. Like, what the I've, hell? I've, I've lived here a long time. Yeah? Yeah, I've lived, I've lived in, in, I was here. 
for about seven years in New York. And oh, I'm really? In, I'm in California now. So, uh, but you know, my two, my two boys are born here. I'm so I'm I was, I'm around it all the time. Yeah, I'm around yeah. it a little more. So it's but, easier uh, to pick up when you're doing a role, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, you... especially when you're living here. You know, <laughs> <laughs> New York. That uh, when you hear yeah. you you come back and you hear that uh, you hear that sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I love that sound. Well, that was uh, that was uh, uh, the accent I remember from uh, the professional. Oh, was that a good one? <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. And yeah. State of Grace. What? Yeah, yeah. I did a movie. With Sean Penn mm -hmm. at the Westies, right? yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, the, the the Irish guys. Yep. God damn, I, I, yeah. it's, it, it is amazing. And, great, to, great to have you here. And, and, and true you're romance, by the way. Yes. That, true romance to play yes. that to play. I don't remember the name of the of the white pimp and the dread like Drexel. Oh, Drexel, yeah. Drexel, fuck, yeah. was that good? I was, was looking great? through, like I said, I was looking through IMDb and looking through your movies, and there's so many characters. Like, fuck, right? He, he was that guy. He was this guy. And it, it goes to what Jimmy was saying. You play a different guy every time. It's not like, oh, here's you know a Gary Oldman part. Yeah, it's uh, really it's, fantastic. It keeps, you, keeps you, you, you know, you gotta. Well, you know from comedy, especially. I mean, my, I, I, I admire. It so much. Don't admire Jimmy. Know. Please no, stop it. No, I, I, I love him. Me. No, I think, <laughs> I, don't do I this think it is. I, <laughs> don't I, do this I, I think it's a, 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 a admirable. I see you guys, you see, and you have to. You got to take the whole, you know, the temperature of the room. And I know hmm. that in clubs, you got people that give, uh, on a tour or a club, you got people going on before you, and they're getting a lot of laughs. And then there's maybe two people. You know, and then you've got to think on your feet. Right. You've got to assess the room, take the temperature. You know, do, maybe do the same act, but you've got to speed it up. You've got to. I mean, that <laughs> that to me that that to me is a. I I, I watch. I, I I look in awe at that. Jeez. The beautiful part of it, though, is that when it's this is where acting is so hard for me. I mean, it's really I I admire actors because I can get out of it. If I'm bombing and it does happen in a scene, <laughs> I just stand there in shame. <laughs> My arms go out and I'm awful. But if I'm on stage, I can embrace that and go, "Wow, this stinks," and address it to the audience. But when you're trapped and you're acting, oh my, is that fucking terrifying? When you when you're when you know you're not doing a good job as an actor, it's so you feel horrifying. like that all the time. Jimmy? <laughs> yes, I'm always like that. Stand up is free for me. That uh, acting is very very scary, especially on stage. Yeah, in the theater. Oh right, right. yeah yeah yeah. If if you if and I've been in a few. If you're not in a good production, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, you know, with at least with film, you can stink and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. When, when, yeah, in a play, you know, you stink. You've got two and two and a half, three hours of it every night, and that's got to be long. That's got to feel like yeah. uh, forever you know, when you're just bombing like cause that. Because you have a you have a distance from it. You see, mm -hmm. you can be if they if they don't like you in a film, uh, you know, it's 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 seven months a year, mm -hmm. and you and you maybe read a review or see something, and you you know, and it's it's a it's a thing. It's a distant thing, you know what I mean. Right. But when you, if you, if you read a bad review, and you know that you've got to go to the play that night and do it, yeah, and now you got to perform. You're stuck. <laughs> oh um, man. Do you take a lot of reviews to heart? Do you, does does it affect you? <sighs> I think it, it affects you. It affects you less the older you get. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have, I mean, you have an ambition, but the ambi the, it, it, it's that it's that youthful a, ambition, it, that yeah, thing, yeah. and that right. competitiveness is, it it, 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 yeah, it diminishes, subsides a bit. Yeah, so you, it, it used to eat at you a lot more when you were uh, coming up. Yeah, you remember the the thing you got to do is you were just just it's the ones in between. Mm. You know, don't believe the ones that that are crazy about you. Don't believe the really bad ones. Just average it out. Average yeah, yeah. it out. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah. This movie, I saw this yesterday. Yeah, um, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Yes, and uh, and you're amazing in this. It, it, there's a real it, a stillness to you in this, mm. um, and it's about uh, I guess f r rooting out a Russian mole in uh, British intelligence, and uh, it's where Colin Firth is in it, 
Uh, can I tell you the, the thing that I, struck me? That yeah. No, I think we. Uh, I mean, yeah, the actors in it are. Mm. I mean, we emptied the National Theatre. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's just, we just got we just got everybody. Got everyone, Those yeah. scenes, there's scenes. It's, it's you know, in, in the British intelligence, uh, the higher office. Yeah, during the, the Cold War. Uh, these, yeah. Yes, 1973. I yep. think it takes place. And uh, the, by the way, they, they should win an Oscar for uh, for the set and for the camera work. I noticed yeah. the camera work, and when you notice how brilliant the camera work is, it was like it's one of the best shot movies I've ever seen. Wow. Mm. Ever. Um, and I couldn't stop noticing that, no matter what was happening, if it was just walking. Yeah. And he doesn't do a great deal with it. It's not, it's not camera work that is, you know, wazzle dazzle, no trickery. Right. You know, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that tracks along the floor and goes up the wire of you know, <laughs> yeah, the mi yeah. microphone. And, but it's beautifully, he tells, he, he can tell a story mm -hmm. with a, he, you know, with f f four lines, uh, you know, a look and the composition. Yeah. And you get very carried into the the time. Yes, of, and of uh, you the know, movie. I've never had a movie actually put me, and it might be the lens he used too, but I've never had a movie actually put me in an era like this. Like it's it's more. Uh, Boogie Nights was great, seventies, early eighties, but this movie you really feel like you're sitting in a theater in the mid nineteen seventies. Yeah, he amazing. used a lot of telephoto lenses. He mm. wanted to give you a feeling of um, almost like there was another sort of a spy in the room, a mm. sense of. Voyeurism, and it's funny that, that I mean the look that he went for Thomas Alfredson. We're talking about uh, he is very he's unusual. Very he's a real he's an original piece, Thomas. And he, when they were looking for the uh, when they were discussing the palette, the color palette of the movie, and looking for the for, for that look, he did not reference other films. Mm. He 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 and his DP, a, a guy called Heute van Heutema, who shot this beautifully. Um, he, they discussed the. He wanted to capture the smell of damp tweed. <laughs> mm. That that was the colour he was going. For. <laughs> well, that's I mean, like, I mean it's, 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 it, that's it's, interesting because wow, it actually yeah. does conjure up something it's, when you say that. It's nicotine. It's that orange yeah. nicotine cold tea. I remember it well. <laughs> <laughs> There's a scene too where they're smoking in the, uh, and this is how you know where you are. It's it, it's in the sauna, and they have just you know. You, there's a discussion going on in the sauna about something, and the one guy's just sitting there. You see a guy in the back showering, and he's just smoking in the sauna. And you're like, that's such yeah. A they great... just played squash. They just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's the Starts minister. Smoking a cigarette. Yeah. yeah, and he's smoking a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Who was the yeah. guy? What's his name? Too. I keep forgetting his name. He was tremendous. He played. I think his name is Peter. He was one of your uh, partners, the younger guy. With he's got like a long head and blonde he hair. Is, long head. He is. That's a character called Peter Gwillem, and it is played by uh, an actor called Benedict Cumberbatch. What is it? Is he? He's, that sounds he's, made up. That, 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 <laughs> it's like it's Dickensian. Isn't yes, it? it's yes. Yes. But Mr. Benedict Cumberland. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is. Uh, he's a remarkable young actor, isn't he? Yeah, he's tremendous. And John yeah. Hurt's in this movie too. Yeah, love John Hurt. John and my uh, that you know, that legend. That for mm -hmm. me is a career ambition. Yeah, fulfilled. Really? really, I have. I want. I've loved John long before I even got the idea of being an actor. Yeah. I used to watch him, and. When we got him, and he said he was in, you know, I was I was so excited, mm -hmm. and the first day on the set, I was just a, 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 a bag of nerves. That's amazing to yeah. hear that from Gary I was Oldman. Fanboy, I was <laughs> like, I would sh clean his shoes. Wow, that's so <laughs> that's messed amazing. Up. I know. Did you have a scene with him the first day? It wasn't the first day, but the first, but the but it, it wasn't my first day. But but I remember pulling into that car park where the uh, base camp and uh, and and there he was standing in the car park smoking a cigarette, talking to one of the drivers. You know. That's good. That sounds like yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Guy, my <laughs> dear boy. <laughs> um, and, and I was shaking. That it's was nice, it, but it's it's a nice feeling mm -hmm. where you can still. Where, oh where yeah, you can, you can still that you're not. I'm not, thank God, you know, I'm not so jaded that I can't get excited and about... And you very well could be, though. You know, you know you, me, meeting the, you've earned me, the right me, to meeting be jaded. A, meeting another actor, you know. Did yeah. you say hello to him immediately? Yeah, I just, you know, it was, it was love at first sight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? The great thing is, he is one of the most adorable human beings you could ever meet. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a fantastic guy. So he doesn't disappoint. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that would be that would have sucked. 
Yeah. You know, he's somebody what, comes yeah, up and they're wonderful, kind of an wonderful ass. guy. Mm-hmm. And it's got to be awful when somebody is just unpleasant uh, to work with. That cause... you've, you know, especially somebody you've looked up to. Yes. Uh, I want to know more about this movie, Jimmy. Um, again, it takes place in 73, and they it's it's hard. To, I don't want to give anything away. Um, it's, a, it's a very classic spy uh, thriller type of movie. They don't, like you said, there's no wham-bam bullshit with the camera work. And uh, the tension in it, there's a few scenes of tension. It's as good as I've ever seen done in a film. Uh, starting with, I guess, in the first few minutes, it had me from the very, very beginning of the film. Uh, the tension building is amazing. Mm. And it's like, what a, what a fucking great spy movie. Yeah. Like, you're just, you're, this one's looking, the camera's on that one, you're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it was really, yeah. really tense. Yeah, and they've avoided... I'm, I'm happy to say that they've they avoided it as I've described that the pace of it is a little it's a bit like watching a lava lamp. <laughs> it's got a pace that's like it's like snow falling. Mm-hmm. It, 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 and you hear things, you hear sounds in the movie, but but it's not that he's amped them up. It's just that he surrounds them with silence. And so it, it I mean, he gets a lot in. And it's a big book. We've had to really sure. mm. cut that cut that book down. Um, uh, but he, but you never feel that he's he's. Uh, there's a pace to it. Yeah, he's taking his time. Yet we have. Uh, yet yet we get all the information across. And um, he is he's done a. He's he's not. They haven't pandered to that thing of. Right. Well, let's do. Uh, born Bond. Right. Right. And uh, which I love. And, and I think they, I think they're well done. But uh, but a great, a great spy story, especially set in the yeah. Cold War, because th- there was no greater time for espionage than during the Cold War. That that makes it. Uh, yeah, after after that whole thing ended, uh, people just kind of. Eh. I think technology like, as well. Te- yeah, the, yeah. The, We were just on that. It's just you're on that cusp of. Of, this is still very much a sort of analog world. Yes, you know, with yeah. Pe- with people, you know, knocking on walls and th- and, and you, you know, and reel to reel tape recorders. Yeah, and those, yeah. Trying and to those hide them and Minex by cameras that yep. they had, and and your your. I mean, a few years. We're in seventy three. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had Steve Jobs. When was yeah. that first the compu- digital? Uh, the, I mean, age it all it, mm. all it all it all changed. And yeah, I that think had, that whole stuff had to be on tape and. Film and and uh, files in file right right in, paper files <laughs> you know a piece of paper you know top secret yeah was then taken down to a to a, a dungeon somewhere <laughs> and and filed away I mean it was that a very a, a very different world and there weren't mm. uh, cameras every single two feet so you could kind of do a little bit it's like there's a scene where the guy has to grab files out of an aisle that he's not supposed to be grabbing and it's just you like, why were the cameras? Oh, that's right. It's 1973. You could yeah, do certain yeah. things. We actually had to shove something into your briefcase <laughs> instead of just taking a quick cell phone picture of it. Uh, well, this is what I want to ask you too. In the, in the, uh, they, they're all, all the offices are like these mini standing structures they're in this like giant modules, warehouse. Kind of like it. Yeah. Yes. Is that so people couldn't listen in or put their ear right to it? That, so? that was an invention of the director. Yeah. Huh. The, the the sort of MI6, MI5, MI6. Um, uh, uh, as you can imagine, they were in very uh, they were they were in old Victorian buildings. Mm. So um, the halls of of MI5 were were very narrow, and he felt that that cinematically would 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 be a little dull to and, and, and restricting and and mm. and we've seen it. Wow. So he had this idea to have a sort of the it's like MI6. Inside MI6, right. so he has that building, and he wanted to open the space up. And he and he and the um, the designer um, Maria Jerkovic, who should get an Oscar, I'm telling you for the for set this. design. Oh. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, she and Thomas came up with this idea of uh, opening up the space, but putting people in these sort of 70s prefabs almost. Right. Yeah. Did you actually talk to people in the intelligence community? Or, like, when you prepare for something like that, um, because, again, I was amazed at the stillness. They told you so much about who you were and what your life is just by your showing your daily routine of just this odd, lonely swimming and coming home to an empty house. It was a really amazing way to show that this guy's just lonely. (laughs) Um, Mm. Did you actually talk to people in the intelligence community there? No. What I did was I 
I mean, the, the, the source material, the book, is. I mean, everything you want to know about playing Smiley hmm, is, right. is in that 500 and whatever pages. Um, but we had access to John le Carre, who wrote the book, who was MI5, MI6. Mm. So that was one-stop shopping. Yeah. Right? yeah, you, yeah. You, you know, I didn't, have to, I didn't have to work really much outside of the, of the, of the, of the book, the script, and the man himself. Mm. And uh, so it was. It it was. You, you know, you just had access right to the right to the man. Do you do you need uh, some kind of like a- access like that, or or many times can you just read a script and not really have to delve too deeply? Yeah, into you asking me or Gary? No. Oh, <laughs> oh, <shut up. laughs> no, you know what? There's a um, uh, there's a, 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 a quote by the acting guru. Um, Meisner, Stanley mm-hmm. Meisner, Stanford, Stanford Meisner. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> who said that acting was? Uh, he said living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's that puts it. At, uh, uh, you know, but some people uh, are much better doing it than others. Yeah, <laughs> it's but you really need. Hard. But you do. Yeah. In, you know. But you have to have a certain, downplaying a little bit. Isn't you know, it? you've got to have intuition. That, that is a big part of it. You know what the and, hardest and, part is for me, like besides memorizing the dialogue, um, <laughs> which is critical, is the listening. When you when you watch somebody listening in a yeah. scene, it's like it's so hard to look like you're taking information for the but first time. But listening is active. That's it's not. You're not just standing there. It's not just hearing. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's very good. It, yeah. It's action. Yeah. You know, and um, uh, not actually another quote. Uh, by the by, the same by the same man, it was uh, uh, an ounce of behaviour is worth a pound of words, <laughs> and you, wow, yeah, and you sure get that with, you get that with Smiley. I've used just yeah. the opposite, <laughs> yeah. 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 a yeah. pound of action, and forget the words. <laughs> <laughs> I love his laugh. It's, uh, it is odd that sometimes you, watching a movie and watching a well-acted uh, movie, you see people after delivering a line do a little face twitch or or just a. a a snicker or something that really makes it something very subtle, and that's not yeah, in it's the subtle that's not stuff. in the script. Right, that's what makes uh, a, the, an actor. It makes great. the performance. I, I'm, I'm telling you, what makes an actor. What great. was your favorite? Uh, <laughs> what was your favorite role? I'm an ass. Because there's so many favorite movies role. that we all want to talk about. But what was what was your favorite role to play? Well, I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed enjoy this yeah. a lot. Yeah, it rates as one of the best experiences. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I, I I say I think it's it is. Arguably, I think one of the the greatest role, yeah. really, that I've had. Wow. I think it's a fun, it, it's a gift. You have an amazing this, this monologue part. in it, by the way. Is it where I you're do, describing yeah. a, a just an interrogation. The, yeah. Amazing. You should get money. It's a, it's you a, sold this movie. I'm but telling I really, you. I really, I can't wait to see but it. But got, but you you got the movie. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. And I was yeah. watching it. I'm like, what a fucking monologue! Like when you read a script. And you see, like, you have that model. That's got to make you feel good, like, you know what you can do with that moment. You know, oddly, funny is enough. You want to, the, the more we, the more you take out, it, it is that old, like I said, you know, you could, you, you see a page of dialogue and you say, listen, you know, maybe I could do this with two lines and a look. <laughs> you know? Okay. And that is a very, that, but that's a set piece. And I think the, I think the, the, Tomas's idea was that he didn't want to go back to another flashback. And we didn't want to see Carla. Mm. Because the two people that are ghosts in his life are the wife, mm-hmm. Anne, who you never see. Right, right. And and the face of Carla. Um, you see his wife briefly through the window, don't yeah, you, at the party? Always, yeah. yeah, you always... But you see her in yeah. the back of her head. You see her in soft focus. Mm. Um and they are the, and they the, really the the two characters that 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 haunt him, right? Um, so I thought it was a great a great idea not to right. not not to put a face to them. We may do a we. There's whispers that we may do the third book, Smiley's People. Oh, okay. I did. I was not familiar with the book. There's a um, there's a trilogy. It's uh, Tinker Taylor, the Honorable Schoolboy, Smiley's People, where he. Uh, he gets Carla. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, finally, finally. Yeah. But um, so th- you know, it would be great too. But your question about yeah, because I, lo- um, I mean, he was serious black and and Harry yeah, Potter I, man. I, 
Well, Oswald. Well, true, no, romance. Yeah. No, true romance. And true romance. True romance. But yeah. you get, you get, you know, you don't often. It was two days right. of work, and you don't often get a chance to come in and, and play a character. You like a character that. like that that really stands out in two days' work is amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Absolutely. I think, well, with the with the eye and the scar and the wig and the uh, th- thing, Fantastic. I thought, well, yeah. I'm only I've only, I'm only in it for, for three minutes. So I'm yeah. well. <laughs> make a splash. <laughs> make a splash. Yeah, but it, it was the, the, the finger sucking too. Splash. I want to make a splash. <laughs> a splash. Come on. <laughs> oh God damn, Roland. I know they're saying Gary's other interview. They're saying you got to wrap up. He's a busy guy. Someone's way. We got to respect your time, yes. Mr. Roland. Um, one, one, honestly. One of the greatest actors of all time, and I'm not just saying yes. that because you're here. Um, I put you in the same category as Brando or any of those other guys that did oh, well, roles like the Young Lions or all these different accents or all of these different. Uh, you never knew who Brando it looks was. Different every movie, too. every time, yeah. especially when you see his old stuff, right? And you do the same thing. Uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, I loved it. Uh, when is it out? It is out. Um, is it's six ninth of December. Ninth yeah. of December. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so December probably a, a week from. The second. In theaters I should probably know Friday. that. I just, did, I just did nine minus seven is two, like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> next Friday, Jimmy. Okay, next Friday. <laughs> next Friday. Oh, God. And I guess, next Friday. I guess that's uh, it for today for us, because I'm going to try to bother Gary for a photo. Yeah. Yeah, so, we so all are. Yes. Can yes. we get photos? Please. Yes, of course. Photos right. would be great. Right. Yes. And, uh, thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank yeah. you Tremendous. so much. Please come back Pleasure. and see us. Yeah, I will. The great Gary tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Anthony Show continues. continues. This is After ONA Live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. Yes. What's Roland doing out there? Roland! He can't hear me. It's soundproof. Roland! Roland! Somebody tell Roland to come in here. I'm waving my arms like a maniac. It's After Opie and Anthony Live, brought to you by Trojan Bear Skin Condoms. Trojan, America's number one most trusted condom brand. Oh, you got to do... I was yeah. just going to say, you got to be feeling good. Yeah, yeah. It's... Uh, oh, really? Boost your mic for Gary Oldman. Yeah, yeah. He was awesome. Big, I, I didn't hear the interview because uh, of those people. It was great. You should have seen Jim's face. When he found out that not only Gary Oldman knew who he was, but uh, had admiration for him. Really? He said, I've got great admiration for what you do. And I, I, Opie and Anthony were... No, no! Don't say that! Well, in English terms, I mean, hey, that's pretty cool what you do. <laughs> I understand now. I was wondering. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but... Uh, but his movie was awesome, though. How we're, it, it, it's very... Uh, and it, it kind of shows what you do for the show. When, generally speaking, somebody like Gary Oldman probably would not do this show. No. Was it tough? Yeah. It was. Yeah. You had to pull like strings and convince some people, and yeah, because he's a Oscar. He's an Oscar. He's an actor. He's the actor. guy. I mean, he's. I was going through his stuff for his bio last night, and he's the guy. Like the list of actors that credit him as their influence. It's like Johnny Depp and and then Harrison Brad Ford Pitt said and he was nervous working with Gary Oldman. Harrison Ford was. Yeah, because he said Gary Oldman was a powerful actor. So it's like it's amazing. I mean, and he, and he really is. But and I would hope though. That interviews like this remind uh, other actors well, that this is a safe place. Like Gary Oldman has a great time and on another here. Another one is coming too. Gary Oldman's friends coming in next on January. Are you allowed to say? I don't know. He's a big one too. He's a, he's he also he's an actor's actor too. Is he is he big commercially? Because Gary Oldman. Well, yeah. Well, he won two Oscars. He yeah. has. He's a two other, time. his friend. Yeah. Or, or you know, his friend won one Oscar and like three Golden Globes. So we're talking about an Academy Award winner. Yeah, another one, yeah. It's Jack Nicholson, isn't it? I can't say. I can't confirm. It's Jack. I love it. He was great in Cuckoo's Nest, and I just watched About Schmidt for the hundredth time over the weekend. What a movie. The juxtaposition between his character in Cuckoo's Nest versus him getting old and being in About Schmidt is really something to behold. I mean, I don't know if you... Those were the two... Because I watched Cuckoo's Nest like two weeks ago. Yeah, I think and then the, the next Nicholson movie I watched after that was about Schmidt. Yeah, I think the last thing he actually did was like Johnny Carson, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> you think that was the last? Yeah, that was well, the last like, press. Like, well, the camera was like extra, and that will catch him for like a two-second clip. Mm-hmm. Like, how are you? He goes, yes, and then we'll keep <laughs> on walking, and he won't stop. Well, I feel like you know now that we've done Gary Oldman, uh, who else did we just have in here not too long ago? I mean, we've had what's her face, 
What's the, what's the woman who you cried about because they almost canceled? Oh, Glenn Close. Glenn Close, when you had your breakdown. but we And, had... and, and she's going to be nominated for an Oscar this year and win, and then I'm going to say, shit on all your faces. <laughs> exactly. You made me have an emotional breakdown Mr. to uh, accept I think, I think Glenn Close. Mr. Knob, or, it, and they already said, this is her year, she'll win the Oscar. That's amazing. And once she wins the Oscar, I'm going to go, see, idiot, this is what. But you'd think people like that would, would alert the Hollywood community to let them know, look, once you cut Mark Wahlberg, that's who I was thinking of who was just in here. I mean, he's not the actor's actor that, you know, somebody like who we had in today was, but yeah. he's uh, he's an A-lister for sure. Yeah. And I mean, I, I he's not an Academy Award winner, but who's to say? Yeah, but uh, Gary, your oldest friend who will come in. I got to so. know who this friend is. Is it a male or female? Male. No. It's a male. Or they, as Roland both- says, mouth. Well, they've both been in movies together, too. So They've been in movies together. But Gary Oldman's done like 70 movies. I know. That's why, <laughs> that's why, I, that's why I gave you that clue. Done. It could be Heath Ledger with the clues you gave me. I know. That's why I gave you that clue, so you won't know who it is. And it's Academy Award winner, though. Yep. Heath Ledger didn't win that award, or no, did he? No, and then he won a few Golden Globes, this guy, too. Did Heath Ledger win the award for Batman? No. Uh-huh. Um, who could it be, then? I don't have any clue. Give me another hint. One more hint. Oh, you'll find out once the mics are off. Oh, well, I want to know now. I want to tell the people. They, they well, I don't They'll have to, to. Well, if I tell the people now, they're like Twitter. I don't want nobody Twittering this guy. Or and anything. then they end up canceling. Yes, yes, yes. T- they'll, they'll find out in the new year. It's tough to be you, Roland. It's, but you'll tell me once the, once the mics are off. Oh, yeah. You're, you'll, you'll know in the email. Yeah. And I'm not gonna... It was amazing seeing Gary Oldman in here because it's like, it's not one of the. Because he's not like a big, famous, you know. TMZ guy. He's not like Mr. Blockbuster. He's a consummate actor. He's like an he's a, he's a, he's a, an amazing actor. Yeah, and the movie is freaking phenomenal. And I mean, part of that is the reason he's not so well known because people know him by his characters less than they know him by who he is off screen. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like when, when, when Gary- he was in Hannibal, like he's a creature thing. You forget all these yeah, movies. Yeah. Like I'm going through all these movies that he's in. Like, and he doesn't steal the scene. He just goes in, he plays the part as it should be played, and, and you completely get lost in the character. He's Commissioner Gordon. I mean, if you, if you, for those of you who are very uh, uh, his, historically illiterate, you could see him in the Batman movies. Yeah. He's Commissioner Gordon. And that's why he has a mustache now, because he just rapped. Oh, doing the third one. Yeah. And, but he is, he's not Gary Oldman when he's in those movies. He's Commissioner Gordon one minute, and he's a cop with glasses and a mustache. And then you turn on Sid and Nancy... And he's Sid Vicious. Yeah. It's incredible what this guy can do. I, it, it boggles my mind because, for instance, Ben Affleck, that's a bad actor. Like, I don't know if I'm trampling on your bookings or if I'm upsetting publicists, but he's not going to come in here anyway. He's very bad at acting. I, I think he, he approaches it differently than others. Yes, yes. He approaches it very differently in the sense of how much do I get paid for this? I'll read the lines as they're written. He's not good at acting. The movies he's directed I th- that I remember haven't been bad. Oh, also, um, the guest coming in is Gerard Butler's friend, too. Oh, Gerard Butler's another big guest that we had. But ben A- Gerard Butler is a better actor than Ben Affleck. Because Ben Affleck, you watch him in movies, and I've never, ever... I love some of his... Uh, like, I love Boiler Room, for instance. That's my favorite movie that Ben Affleck is in. Mainly because... He plays himself in that movie. He's just a douchebag. He's, I mean, and he strikes me. I don't know the man personally, but I'm assuming he's somewhat of a douchebag nah. because... Do you know him? I met him a few times. He's not a douchebag. He wasn't a douchebag to Super you. Super nice. This is all assumption on the part of me, just based on what I see because... You're talking crazy talk now. <laughs> you think it's insane. It's all crazy <laughs> it's talk. It's insane. Do you know what it is? What? You're just pissed off that man brought shitty cookies I'm and, still... claiming, and claiming that your mom is a bad baker... But in reality, Matt's mom's all over the map of baking. It's just horrible. It, it, she's like the she's like the Jackson Pollock of baking. Yeah, baking. And it, and Jackson like, Pollock was very overrated. Yeah, like I mean, chips, sure, some people said he was a genius. Five six chips here in this cookie, and then twenty chips in the other cookie. Yeah, it's like De Niro and Casino, an equal number of blueberries in every muffin. Yes, you know, and I mean, that's I mean, that's a philosophy that one should live life by. Being your mom's. Carrot, delicious, heavenly carrot cake, cupcake. Three, three icing carrots on every cupcake. And it tastes delicious constantly. <laughs> exactly. It's like my mom's cupcakes are the Gary Oldman of baked yeah. goods. They're dependable, they're excellent, and, and they're the consummate professional. Matt's mom is like the, like the sloth from Goonies. Of baking. <laughs> yeah, kind of a lot of, uh, a lot of CGI and makeup uh, thrown lot, on a, a shitty performer. Mumbling, going, like, all right, yeah, we'll have one. But... 
What I was saying, Roland, I understand you're trying to get me off course. Yes, I do. What I was saying about Ben Affleck, what? That's, that's why the entire company enjoyed my mom's cookies yesterday. Hey, look, except it's Ty- for... It's Tyree of a Wimpy Kid. Except for <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid. That's what it looks it's like. the worst haircut I've ever seen. So far, it's I've a heard great haircut. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Ed Grimley, and Alfred E. Newman. Do we, uh, uh, Ron and Fez intern, yes. Hi, this is UCB Fred. I just want to say, I, when I first met Matt, he kind of reminded me, he kind of had like this kind of caveman look. Like imagine like you were, you were climbing the Alps and you stumbled upon a cave and you brushed off some <laughs> snow and you saw this face looking at you. But I'm not like, like a good looking caveman, no, like no, Brendan Fraser. Good looking you know, caveman. No, wait, wait, like Brendan Fraser in Encino Man. Like no. that was a very good looking a caveman. A hot caveman. But that's not you. And now, yes. and now the on. caveman is just, you know, it's the part of the movie where they, they make him over and he still has that ca- those caveman features, but he just looks, you know, he's got like gel hair. <laughs> like a caveman. I have evolved. Like a caveman <laughs> trying man. to, a, a caveman trying to fit into modern Ooh, society. Salvador. But just, here. Sal, I mean, are you talking about the haircut? Yeah, yeah. Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> you think Pee Wee Herman? See all. I, I see no resemblance. And he's not talking about Paul Rubin. He's talking about the know, character. It literally goes up with the cowlick and everything. So so far, I've got nothing but compliments. No, that's on not my true. Haircut. Look at all the people who just said negative yeah, from things. you people, but from people but who what... actually know fashion and good looks. I've got nothing but compliments. <laughs> wow. UCB it's... Fred comes in here dressed like a million bucks. At least his shirt's not even me, ironed. It's all wrinkled. Let me finish. At least sixty percent of the time. You don't shower for six days. And by the way, wait, wait, Matt, your shirt still has the creases in it from where it was folded. <laughs> who are you talking to about shirts? <laughs> the, Did you just buy that? No. Those in glass houses, Matt. This exactly, is what, Matt. Uh, this Listen. is a, one of the perma iron shirt. No, it's not. It's got fold yeah, marks can, in it. You can barely. It was folded, but you can barely see that it was folded. And that's the point then of the how shirt. How did I see it? Well, I don't know. It's right there. I'm there's fold marks across. You. You're not two feet away from me. You're eight feet away from me. And there's fold marks running down your entire shirt. Sam, anyways, I got nothing but compliments on my mom's cookies. Is yesterday. that like nothing but compliments on your haircut? Yes, because I've got it's lies. I, it's not. Just I've got every person, you men me, and what do I do with them? Men and women in this company yeah. who have seen me have been like, "Wow, you got yeah. a haircut. You look amazing. You look so amazing." Great. Who said you look amazing? Oh, Several people. You have a guest coming. Oh, I do, Matt. Hit the brakes. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jimmy's going to come to to interview the guests. Jimmy's coming? Yeah. Great. Who's the guest? You you want to say it off the air? I don't... John Walsh. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay. John Walsh is coming in? Are yeah, you, you might, I, sticking I around? You might as well. I was going to leave, uh, but I'm like, I might as well stay for a few minutes. I was going to ask him for a picture, and I'm like, let's help him push the show because it's coming back on. What's the... America's Most Wanted? I think it's going on Lifetime. Again, it's coming back? Yeah. It's coming back to Lifetime Television starting this Friday night. Okay, Friday night, Lifetime Television. You see what we do here? Friday night, Lifetime. Yeah. It's amazing. This show cannot be kept off the air. This show shouldn't be kept off the air. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it won't be. It, re- it refuses to, to submit. I'm going to get it. All right. Thank you, Spencer. It's a really weird public service, the show. And, and when they yank it because of, I mean, I'm, I don't want to repeat what I'm going to say what I'm going to say when John's here anyway. <laughs> yeah. But, but he, he's written a couple of books, both of which were very, very good. Um, Tears of Rage, and I forget the... Uh, I forget what the follow-up was. Well, listen, you talk about turning lemons into lemonade. This is the guy. Yeah, well, that's I mean, probably not the right term to use, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, he took a horrible situation and turned it into this giant uh, franchise of a show that's helped thousands. Yeah, and he's had a lot of uh, a lot of terrible people got put in jail yeah. because of him. Thank um, God. You know, I've read the story of what happened to his son. It was just, it's horrible. It's, it's a horrible I know. fucking story. I like, know. Most people don't even, they don't function after that. You know what I mean? Like they're just done. But he, I mean, he did an amazing job. Is he coming in now or? I'm, what are we looking at time wise? What, what's what time wise? How about time wise? Like, um, the rapid- should I do my? Should I do this now? Yeah, read, read it. Okay. All right. All right. Before John Walsh gets in here, John Walsh, the only thing he loves more than uh, putting bad guys oh, in jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Roland. The only thing John Walsh loves more than putting bad guys in jail is Argentium. Of course. Yes, is. what is Argentium? Uh, everybody knows at this point. It's Steven Singer's new Super Silver collection. That's right. Steven Singer's brand new collection of silver is made from Argentium, the king. Of course that was going to cue when I said king. Steven Singer, this bed doesn't make any sense. What makes sense is Argentium. You can go to Steven Singer... Uh, and get it. See it for yourself. The co- collection starts at only $149. Uh, it's more pure than sterling. It's brighter than platinum. It's the greatest thing you could ever get. And with the holidays coming up, what could possibly be a better gift 
Go online to IHateStevenSinger.com. View the collection for yourself, and you can have it shipped directly to your door for free with Steven Singer's free shipping, 365 days a year. And he gives you a 90-day full money-back guarantee, but you'll never use it. I never have, and I've done business with him so many times. Uh, call him up, 1-888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER, or visit him online at IHateStevenSinger.com. You can even... See the man himself. See him in person. It's like meeting a celebrity and getting a great deal on jewelry. He's on the other corner of 8th and Walnut in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And when you see him, tell him Sam Roberts said hi. And then question his choice for the Superman bed for his live reads on After Opie and Anthony Live. I just don't understand them. I thought you were going to say it's, it was, it's like meeting a celebrity and an ass. <laughs> yeah, both that, those things. Steven Singer has the rare combination yeah, of being... I mean, a celebrity and an absolute ass. He'll give you a, a fantastic deal sure. and whatever jewelry you need, but he's a horse's batoot. Yeah, he really is. And he knows it. As a person, he's garbage. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. happens to have a good store with very good products. Yeah, and he hires the right people. That's what Steven Singer does. I mean, yeah. he's an ass, but he hires the right people to keep around him and make him look good. So uh, I understand he just got busted make sure watching visit porn him. on a plane on a Delta flight. Is that what he did? First class, yeah. Is that him? Yeah, I think it was him. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, He's not doing very well as the coach up at Syracuse. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing that for a while. and um, Wrong guy to hire, I guess. Wrong guy to hire. But 35 seasons strong for Steven Singer. Absolutely. And between that and his Penn State duties, <laughs> the same joke three yeah. times. Look, he's a child molester. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. You get what we're saying here? All right. Are we ready for John Walsh? I'm ready for him, but he might be uh, in another interview. Uh, but I've, I've been a fan of his for many, many years. Yeah. I mean, I used to watch America's Most Wanted all the time. And, and it went off. It, it was canceled before on Fox. Yes. And the people brought it back. Uh, it's been it's been off the air for a long time though. I don't know how long. But can I have the video for Gary Oldman? Of course you can. As a matter of fact, as soon as Gary Oldman came in here and started complimenting you, I just left the camera on a shot of you two together. Oh, that's perfect. So you can see the interactions going on. There he is. How did you, how did you feel when he he said, "I have great admiration for what you do"? Oh, it was great. I mean, uh, I gave him my number. I'm like, if you want to come to uh, the. Uh Comedy seller one night. Let you, me know. You think it's sad that I was uh, more excited for CM Punk? No, I understand. You're a fool. <laughs> I thought you were going to say fan. No, he's, you're a fool. But um, he really is one of the greatest uh, actors. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about it before. It's amazing. Like he just transforms characters. Like he he completely transforms himself. Like you forget half the movies he's been in because he it's not him. It's it's whatever he's playing, and that doesn't happen with everybody in Hollywood. We were just talking about. How horrible Ben Affleck is in movies. I've never watched a movie that Ben Affleck is in and said to myself, that's not Ben Affleck. I've always oh, said, okay. oh, there's Ben Affleck. He memorized all his lines. Yeah, I, I th I'm trying to think. I, I think I've seen him in a couple of things I, I liked. I look mean, when he Gary, could, when he, <laughs> fucking Gary he's just Oldman. looking at him. He's, the he's out there signing a couple of things. A giant Harry Potter thing. That, and that, like, he's been in like huge franchises as well as tiny movies, and he's just not like. A douchey, like, celebrity. He's an actor. Yeah. And there aren't many... Like, you were talking about comparing him to Brando and stuff. Yeah. There aren't many actors left. Everybody's a celebrity, you know? Yeah, and I meant that, too, because of the, because of the way he commits to every accent and every role. Like, when you would watch Brando, um, and he's like, you know, Mutiny on the Bounty or Young Lions, like, we played a German, and he was always somebody different in, in these different movies. And, you know, Oldman is the, uh, is, is the same. I mean, every time you see him, he's... Oh, he's, he's giving you a he's salute. He's giving us the salute. He was awesome. Uh, as he in takes here. off. Yeah, he was tremendous. I wonder if he stays in character between takes. I should have asked him that. Like, it seems like when you're working with an accent like that, like, it would be impossible to drop it, go back to, you know, your regular, yeah. and then come back. I want to know, if did he does he stay in uh, character in between takes, Gary Oldman? Go shout down the hall and say, hey, Gary. <laughs> No, don't yell. Don't <laughs> yell. Sound that way if he, if he's still there. I he's don't know. He's so good, dude. Drexel, I'm glad he liked that role. Well, it reminds you that there are good actors. Like, because when some people, like, you know, Hollywood stars or whatever, you just watch him and you're like, okay, I mean, he's good sure. looking and I understand why he's there, but it's not exactly rocket science. When he does it, it's a different deal. He's a different guy. It's like when I, when I see uh, Brad Pitt in a movie, I just don't like him. I know I'm in the minority. A lot of people love Brad Pitt. I think he's awful. Mm -hmm. He never. He ruined uh, Inglorious Bastards for me. Like his part ruined it. Yeah, yeah. yeah up yeah. against the guys he was like he was in scenes with that German dude. 
Uh, wasn't that the guy who played the German Hans? Right, 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 right. Oh, he was great. Fuck, we won the Oscar. Um, w- what about you? Don't like Leonardo DiCaprio. That's I never said that. He's okay. Um, I, I love I love him in certain things, and I think he's miscast in a few things because he's so famous and so handsome. What uh, do you like him in? Titanic. He was very good in Basketball Diaries. Um, you what's catch he been, me if you can. Uh, Gilbert okay. Grape. Oh, what's he been? Gilbert Grape. Uh, Gilbert Grape. <laughs> uh, catch me if you can. He was very good in. So you like him younger? Because the thing, the only yeah, yes. I love. Uh, <laughs> I love Leonardo DiCaprio, but the problem is that he looks so young. Yeah. In a lot of movies, he looks like he's wearing his dad's suit. Yeah, I've heard that before. Huh? What did like, you say, Eric? You're talking he's like 18 that in the, feet from the mic. <laughs> he's like that in the Basketball Diaries. If you see the promos and the trailers, he looks like he's wearing his dad's suit. How old is he supposed to be in Basketball Diaries? I don't know. Young. Maybe he's actually wearing his dad's suit then. Maybe. He's supposed to be young in that movie. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be kind of young. You rock. <laughs> He's a you, young boy. You fool. Yeah, you really blundered there. <laughs> where's Where's John Walsh? They said know. a minute. Roland keeps saying a minute and then running out of the room. He'll be here in a second. This is Roland's, uh, Roland's little game, though. I want to do a fucking scene with Gary Oldman. Well, you should have asked him. He's gone now. Hey, what's that thing you're holding there? You think he's good with improv? You think he could bounce off you well? Yeah. Because <laughs> the thing about improv is you're only as good as your partner, and I know how good you are. Yeah. What do you mean? We're not the we're not, the case is not closed. <laughs> uh, My gun and badge are on the line here. You just break every rule. Gary would start, and you just answer no, or, or, or I don't know what you're talking about. Or, yeah, or if he said something like, "What do you think about this case?" I do. What do you mean? I'm a painter. <laughs> yeah, you've got to take control. Of this yeah, situation. I was just completely. Cause you're never supposed to say no in improv. I would just just say no. Like David Brent in the British Office in the <laughs> scene where uh, yeah. with the hotel clerk, that famous scene where he's yeah. just completely the entire time. He's trying to make sure that he's the one in charge, and he's yeah. just going to change whatever the scenario is to make sure it's him because he's an obnoxious asshole. I said this, Neil Sadaka is going to be here later too. I wish I, w- I could stay around. I cannot. It's very, it, it's very random the people that come to these. I, I do have, although uh, I certainly understand what Opie expresses annoyance at, at certain things the company does because he's right. Mm-hmm. Um, but there is a fun part of working here that I really do love, and I think he would agree with that. The so, celebrity pictures? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't know why I had to say it like I was masking. Yeah, it. you're right. <laughs> Funny yeah. you should say that. Oh, I never considered that. That's the element. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, David. Intern David. Intern David. All right, what's John Walsh doing? Taking a dump? Eric, Eric's pointing to something. He's right there, but he stopped. What's well, he's... well, is Roland or Spencer bringing him? Just tell him to pick him. Oh, well, tell him to God. bring him. Eric, you might have to take charge of this situation. What are they the doing? The other way. Look, we only even talked to him for five take minutes. Well, can, can taking they, can, photos. We've we got shows we got, to do. The show's going to be over soon. Well, we want to taking photos. And we, I mean, I, I do it. But come <laughs> yeah. on. What the fuck? Jim's in here. There's nobody possibly valuable enough that could be taking these photos. Plus, we're now stalling longer than the actual interview is going to yeah. be. Yeah. I understand taking pictures, but we're over in 23 minutes. Yeah. We're trying to help you, John, on a platform bigger than the one you just talked on. Where is he? I mean, he doesn't know what's going on. They're just telling him what, what's going what? on now, Eric. Sex? Roland and Liam and other people are there with him, but John keeps stopping to talk to anybody that's in the hallway. So Tell him there are people in we, here we that want to talk to him with They're an audience. They're doing their best to get uh, him just down. Tell him, come on, we, we got to, let's go. Stop fucking yapping. Exactly. What do you got to talk about? Same show. It's been <laughs> forever. <laughs> Run. Where is he? Eric's looking out in the He's hallway. To some old lady down the end of the hallway. Uh, Who's down at the uh, end of the hallway? We'll just have them grab him because literally, all Jim wants. To, he was just, I, I want to interview the guy because actually I like him a lot and I really. Oh my god. Jason in Pittsburgh was also way more excited for CM Punk. Isn't that fascinating? Than Gary Oldman? Yeah. I guess if you're a big wrestling fan, he sure. did win the championship. By the way, I was happy for that. And he knows who you are. He's yeah, a fan of do. yours. You know it is. Gary, not only did he... CM, <laughs> is my that friends. That's yeah. you call him CM. Yeah, it's uh, not uncomfortable at all. Here he comes. Is this him? No, I don't know. Yes, there yes, he, is. he is. Okay, he's, he's coming a very, in. Uh... I can hear his voice. Adam Walsh. Hey guys, John Hi, John. How what are did you? I say? Hi, John. How oh are my you? God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> how are you? It's a good pleasure. Sit down, whatever you want. Tell me, I'm going to come over there and shake your hand. Please do, John. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We were talking about you before you came in, and uh, we're happy that we, we have to wrap up in like 20 minutes. We want to get you in just to help promote the show, because I'm, I'm very psyched that it's back on the air, um, because it's, it's not just an, an interesting or fun show to watch. It's a public service. Well, uh, I'm thrilled to be going to life, Lifetime. I was, I was shocked <laughs> in last May 
when Fox decided to take us off primetime. We were their first hit. 23 years wow. there, caught 1,200, almost 1,200 guys, and we had our highest ratings in 10 years. And uh, I was really surprised by the uh, Kevin Riley is the guy that's I've been through. I think 10 network presidents, but wow. he's oh the God. he's the 10th. And he decided to take the show off the air. And you know, there's always the big public outcry and the backlash. And I'm doing some specials for Fox, but the the good people at Lifetime said, "We get it. We we get your show." We want you to come. We want you to be on Friday nights, 9 o'clock. Um, and uh, we support everything you do. I'm, I'm really thrilled. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a new paradigm for me and a new experience. But we've, even this summer when we weren't on for the first time in 23 years, we caught five guys from our website. Alone. Oh, really? People never stop calling the That's 800 amazing. number or going to the website. And, and your books, by the way, uh, Tears of Rage, I read. And I don't remember the name of the follow-up, but uh, the follow-up was also great. I appreciate that. And uh, you really hit this emotional, because th- people know your story and how terrible you came to do this. And there's something about you that just really resonates with people, and uh, people love you. Well, I, I think people identify. I mean, we're a country that has 40 million crime victims every year. I mean, this is the wonderful, beautiful country, America, with all the freedoms, but we have a huge amount of crime, and we have a huge amount of violence in this country. And and uh, I figured out years ago, I didn't figure out, it wasn't my idea, how the people could fight back without being vigilantes, how about, about getting justice for people and catch the worst of the worst. I mean, we have caught 17 guys off the FBI's 10 Most Wanted. We have caught guys in 35 countries, some of the worst serial killers and predators, because people, they want to do the right thing. I think if you give people a great personal risk... But What's I the website? Is it johnwalsh.com? AMW.com. Oh, AMW. AMW.com. Okay. And we get millions of hits. And I think we're usually the second or third most popular TV website in the world. And, and I give people a chance and say, don't tell me your name. You can remain anonymous. No cop's going to come to your house. Uh, I remember when Ronnie Chasen was murdered, the Hollywood publicist, in, in, uh, a few months ago. Oh, in she LA. was shot, right? Right. Yeah. She was in shot her, in, in her Beverly car, Hills. right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. right in Beverly Hills. Yeah. I never got so many calls from heads of studios and agents and wow. saying, John, saddle up. Beverly Hills PD don't have a clue who Ronnie, who killed Ronnie Chasen. Could there be, uh, you know, the horrible murder loose in Beverly Hills? I aired the show, get a call, very, very scared tipster says, I live in kind of a rundown place. I'm down on my luck. I think the shooter's here. He doesn't leave his name or address. He calls back. One of my hotline operators say, John, this guy wants to talk to you. I don't really talk to the tipsters, and I'm not at the hotline. I call him back and say, you can do the right thing. And he says, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of retribution, but I give the address. I, I, I trust America's most wanted. Wouldn't you know? They circle back. The cops are waiting for this guy. He co- shows up to this apartment. They got him surrounded. He kills himself. Right. But if you remember that. Yeah. And it solved this case. And then they had to wait for the ballistics sure. and all the conspiracy theorists and all the tabloids come up with their bullshit. But it was the guy and the bullet and the, and the ballistics match. But it was the public who saddled right up and solved Ronnie Chasen's murder right is, Isn't it great when they save you the money from it? When a guy does exactly what he should do. Oh, my gosh. You, you, you're, you, you, you know, I, it took 27 years to solve Adam's case by constant badgering by my wife and I, by, uh, by my wife going out and getting a pro bono detective who was a friend of mine and a pro bono former DA to reopen the case and a wonderful new chief to solve the case. Oddest tool, you believe it was? Oddest tool, without a doubt. The FBI believed for years, and they bought, and they, they just blew the case. And, and it took 27 years for them to man up and apologize to us and say, yes, if Otis Tool was alive, we would have indicted him. He died on death row, not for Adam's murder, but he died of AIDS and cirrhosis. But uh, these guys, it's we, I'm not a vigilante, and I believe in in innocent until proven guilty. I believe that, that the evidence has to be overwhelming. I'm a great believer in DNA, but we keep guys on death row for 20 years. It costs millions and millions and millions of dollars. I think every death row case should, if there's DNA, it should be reopened and unequivocally decided whether this guy is guilty or not. And then do what other countries do. Two years, three years. I know we've executed people that are innocent, but it it, it just, 
it, it, it's, it's a process that dehumanizes the victims and the bad guys are in there watching color TV and talking to their lawyer for 20 years while your wife that's been skinned alive by this guy has been dead. And, yeah. you know, it's, 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 and I'm, not, I'm not advocating vigilantism. I, 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 well, you express, John, you express – this is why people like you too. You express the anger of a, of a father whose son was murdered. You, you don't come from a, a detached – uh, talking head point of view. Oh, we have to. You express the anger as well, which I think really makes people feel connected to you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for years I was the angry, bitter, heartbroken. I mean, I'm still the heartbroken dad, and that that I'll always be the father murder child. But I was that bitter, angry guy. And then I figured out, you know, that you you change things through legislation by good legislation, and you change things. We got the Amber Alert passed. We got the Missing Children's Bill passed. We got other people to saddle up and help us with legislation to direct that anger. But yeah, I I, I was there for years. That bitter, bitter, very angry, you know miserable person and then i you know i think it was my wife that f- focused us in and said you know john we we forget who the real victim was adam was the real victim maybe we could change things and maybe we could help make it harder for these guys to do or what they do or make it easier to for parents to get help or to maybe be proactive and make it safer for children so. how is there like how is there a recidivism rate like i don't know how they let them out or a great movie a great show like with chris hansen yeah it was a little cheesy he'd walk in but yeah. you know what these are guys who are trying to fuck kids and, and people said, oh, it's, it's entrapment. You can't entrap somebody to want to fuck a kid who wouldn't do it. It's like it was a great show and public pressure or a pressure from uh, being sued or whatever. They took it off the you air. You know, we live in the most litigious society Ugh. in the history of man. And I, I've read so much about it. Our lawsuits in this country are 600 times greater than the closest country, which is West Germany, I think, and England. Wow. So everybody is so politically correct and so afraid of being sued, etc. But the rate of recidivism, I, I've been hunting pedophiles for multiple years. They'll tell you that it's incurable. It's a, it's a compulsion. I've done many guys that have gotten out to hurt children again, to kill again. I've profiled many guys that were, you know, the chess teacher. They were the soccer coach. They were like the guy at Penn State. The uncle. Who creates a charity to cherry pick in, the, right. in like a private hunting ground. It, it is a compulsion. And until we figure out how to cure them, because not every one of them was abused or molested, right. it's a compulsion. Until we figure out how to cure them, how to change their brain, what happened in their family life, etc., I know one thing. They have the highest rate of recidivism, and children are at risk, and they will do it again because it's a compulsion. So we have to figure out how to separate them from society, or at least, and that was the Adam Walsh Act was for when President Bush, Bush signed four years ago in the Rose Garden, was to track the worst of the worst. We have 100,000, the U.S. Marshals and the Justice Department say, that there are 100,000 level three, not the kid who peed at Mardi Gras, not the 16-year-old kid who had consensual sex with the 15-year-old girl. He's black. His father father doesn't like him. She's white. Not the Romeo and Juliet. These are rapists and child molesters, repeat offenders who have cut off their ankle bracelet or who have violated their parole or probation at large, 100,000 of them. Why not put that as the top priority? Why not hunt those bastards down? Get them off the streets. Let you guys know if you have kids or you have a nephew or niece are coming over that this guy lives down the street. He's a level three rapist. He's a level three sex offender. I think that's a simple right that we need to know where these guys are because you can't lock them up forever, although I would. I don't know why I, you can't. I, I would throw away I, the key. I think the only pedophile that deserves mercy oh, right. okay. yeah. is, is, is the one that actually says, hey, look. I'm, no one is catching me and turns himself in voluntarily and says, you guys didn't know I was doing this, but I need help. That's let, the guy who deserves help. Let me help. tell you something quick. Sweden, socialized, sophisticated, highly educated country, castrates, physically castrates sex of second offender rapist and pedophiles. You know why? They said a sophisticated country like us, we haven't figured out how to cure them, but we want to make our women and children safer. So we castrate you, second offender. That's Sweden. That's fantastic. Interesting. And, Interesting. And it is great that there's one outlet, like you said, in this lit- litigious society uh, that's human. Like the America's Most Wanted is the one place that people can just react like human beings and try to just have good guys 
Stop Bad Guys. Uh, it's coming back this Friday, right? On Lifetime. On Lifetime. I'm thrilled to be on Lifetime. The people at Lifetime really get the show, and we're going to kick some butt. Kick what time is it on? 9 o'clock on 9 Friday p.m. night. Still doing some special for Fox. I love Fox, but uh, they cut me loose, so... Uh, my new home is Lifetime, and I appreciate your guys' support. I hope people have watched. We have caught the worst. I'm doing some really tough cases this yeah. Friday, some really tough cases, and we need the public support. Well, well that's great. Thank you so much for stopping by, We love you, and we love what you do. And, nice uh, to meet you, you guys. You've made a tremendous difference. Thank you for All having right. me. We're done? Uh, yeah, we're wrapping up now. Uh, After Open Anthony Live has been brought to you by Trojan Bear Skin Condoms. Trojan, America's number one most trusted condom brand. Not as trusted as America's most wanted, but still very trusted. <laughs> Uh, stay tuned. Ron and Fez are coming up next, and we'll be back with more of this tomorrow. The Opie and Anthony show is now over. For real this time. Check out the ONA show on Facebook at facebook.com slash Opie and Anthony. And catch Opie and Anthony live Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern. Ron and Fez are next. Hey!